Why are you in jail? I can't explain it over the phone. Why are you calling me then? It's not real. Mom even found the fake uh, one. The only Mom thing that's not even... real? My hey, relationship with you the last 16 oh years. That's the only thing that's not real, Jeremy. Why have their... Vo Jeremy, you have to be honest. You have to... <laughs> Never Raya, mind. I can't explain it's like it I'm asking a dog to beep. You have to call Amir. I am not doing anything for you. Rania, I love you. You don't. I do. Obviously, 100%. No, no, you're wrong. You're wrong with all your so, heart. You're wrong with all your heart, and you won't trust me, and you won't listen to me, and I know I, that I I've lied. I don't trust Hala. any... Uh, Hala. 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 I know I've lied. Point, Hala. I don't Hala. care what's going to be posted tomorrow, Jeremy. Rania, I know. All what I care about, the rough night that I had last night, and I didn't get any sleep, and I was scared that somebody has the keys to the house and they can has, get in the house. Nobody has the keys to our house. Nobody has access to our house. Nobody's ever been in our house. She has a selfie in my mirror in my house. Rania, Bolahi, that's a fake fucking It's picture. not. Okay. I made sure it's, it's legit and it's real. Okay. It's not fake. Okay. She was in my house twice. No. She's the same girl that I saw her coming out of your that car. That is incorrect. That is incorrect. 100,000%. Anyway, Jeremy, I know you don't love me a long time ago. I do love you. That's Ron. okay. I do love you. And I love our daughter, and I would never ruin our I've house. I've been going crazy ever since I saw that picture. That but it's somebody not was in real, Rania. It's not real. Mom even found it, the it, fake it, one. The only Mom thing is not even real? My hey, relationship with you the last 16 oh, years. That's the only thing that's not real, Jeremy. Oh, Rania, Wake Hala, up. Rania, Hala, Wake Hala, up, Jeremy. Hala. Wake up, Jeremy. Oh, my God. The only thing that wasn't real, it was that you told me you loved me for 16 years. That was Man, a whole lot. I love you so much. I love you so much. And I hate you so much right now. And I understand and that. And I don't want to see you ever again. And I was doing what I had to do to get out of this. No, you were not doing what you had to do. That that bitch is, is destroyed your life, and she didn't do anything. She didn't help you with anything. All what she did, she stole your money. She took your money, and she came to our house, and now she knows where we live. She's and never been to our house, Rania. She's been. To us. Wallahi, or maybe wallahi, more. Wallahi, on She has been. Stop. No. No. Enough. It, 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 there is no time to, to. There is no time right now for you to lie. Enough. Rania, wallahi, I'm not lying. Enough. 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 Okay. Okay. Enough. okay. <laughs> oh, my baby. <laughs> are you, are you don't have a baby. Shut up. Just call your mom. I was going to call her and ask, ask her what's going on. Why did you call from jail yesterday? Please, Rania. Listen to me. I'm telling the truth for the one time. What do you want me to listen to you for? You're in jail already, and God only knows what time you're gonna, what day you're gonna come out. And when you're out, you do this to me. Rania, listen to me. I'm not doing anything, Wallahi. Okay. Why her picture? The same girl that I saw, and not somebody else's picture it's not together. Not the same my... girl, Rania. What? It's not. That girl that got out of the car is not the girl in the picture. I'm sorry, Rania. I'm telling you the okay, truth. Okay, who's the girl that listen, got out of the car listen, and who's the girl listen, in the picture? Listen, listen, listen Rania. Listen. you got to tell me. Okay, I will tell you everything, but you need to listen to me. Rania, I'm in jail and they just revoked my bonds. I might not be going anywhere ever again. I know. I have no reason to lie to you. I'm not lying to you. The girl Jeremy? from next oh, door, I, I, Rania, I, I, let me finish. The girl is from next door. I picked her up at 7-Eleven. I took her to the house, and while they were moving that old lady out, that's the truth. I swear to God. I don't know who that person is. I swear to God. The other picture, and Mom already found the proof, too. You can talk to Mom. She's even found the proof. The other picture is of Jennifer. But it's edited on top of the video footage from the police body camera in our house the other day. No, Somebody she took copied it in our in our cam in our mirror. The mirror no, is right there. Branya, no, it's not. You can, it's you can edited. Lie to your mom. Branya, it's edited. Even mom sees no, it's, it's not. edited. No, it's Two not. pictures late. Oh. You know, and that picture, I don't know. 
you may think it's fake, but I saw where the, the mirror was, and I don't know. You know, I think maybe Jennifer took that picture of herself and sent it to cause problems. So. She wasn't in our house, Rania. I would never she do that. She wasn't in my house. Oh, my God. Yes. She would never do that, Rania. I would never There's do that. There's just some days, you know, the, the, the couple some days that we had the, the issues. She wasn't in my house. That's Allah, you know. Don't, no. don't put Wallahi on your on your Rania, I wasn't even at the house when the cameras had the issue. You, you, I fed you, the dog you, and you saw me in the car leave. You saw nobody was in the car. No, Come you on, were in Rania. the house. You oh, were in the house, on. Jeremy. Just the reason that the fact that you're still lying and you I'm don't not, even want to come clean right now. I just came situation. clean. I just told you who's in the picture, but I'm telling you, you that is not at our house. You, 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 I don't know who you are. Honestly, I don't know who I'm married to. I don't know who I had a baby with. I don't know who you are. This is all going to be on and the internet, everything you're saying right now. Is this what you care about right now? Let like me ask when you a I question. That, Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a you question. Hey, 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 I wasn't texting anyone. Let me ask you a question. How did you hmm. get that picture? She sent it to me. She sent it to you? Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. You want to know how I know that's not true? Why? Because I changed your phone number a week ago. You changed what? I changed your phone number a week ago. How do you change my phone number without letting me know? Because you were getting harassing texts and fake texts, just like you are now. Oh, the, only people, the, the only I people, know. the only people that have your phone number now, Rania, The only people that have your phone number right now is the Orange County Sheriff's Office and Sergeant Fiddler. What so is my what is my phone number now? <laughs> call, uh, call somebody. I don't know. I always, uh, call no, I can't. Don't say it over the phone. It's going to be on the internet. The whole purpose of me giving. I but like. Uh, Uh, call my mom. She'll tell you what it is. Call my mom. She'll tell you what it is because she'll see it on her screen, on, on her call log. Rania, listen to me. Listen to me. You are not listening to me. Rania, the only person that has your cell phone number is the sheriff's office because I had to register it. And Fiddler has your phone number. And now all of a sudden you're getting text messages supposedly from I am her. not getting text. It was an email. That doesn't make sense. You just said it was a text. It was an email. Then that's even more fake, Rania. Come on, man. Why aren't you seeing that? Why aren't you seeing that? Why aren't you seeing that? What? how am I going to do this right now? You left me with a house? With a baby? Rania, the mirror's working on it. Hopefully within a week or two I'll be home. I know. I don't know what to tell you. I will tell you that I'm here because I was trying to right or wrong. But I can't explain more. I can't talk more. You have to trust me for once in your life. You don't want to. That's your choice. I did. For 16 no, years. No, you did it. You did it. You accused me forever, and I didn't do anything. I, did I made one mistake. You. Rania, this listen. Is what I listen. Rania, I made one mistake. I made one mistake, and I'm so sorry. You did not make one mistake. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. You destroyed our marriage, dude. Rania, I love you with all my heart. I've done nothing else. I've been nothing but faithful to you for three years. You listen. I've done nothing but been faithful the to you. The will not send this picture to me. Why this one? Why You're, didn't they vote Rania, somebody else? Rania, you are so full of shit. Why? They won't Because vote somebody else. they Seriously. and everybody else the person trying to you tell on me. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? What? They want me to divorce you? And tell on me. Tell on you what? Whatever. Whatever they can get from you. They're waiting for you to do what you're saying so that then they can start asking you questions. The only thing I'm going to do is get rid of this marriage. I'm not going to do anything else. And I I need my sanity. I need my life back. Rania, I'm not doing Tell anything. I haven't this, been doing this, anything. This I haven't been doing life. anything. I love you, Rania. I love you with all my heart, and I haven't been doing anything. I and maybe one day when I'm gone forever, 
you'll understand that. All I will ever ask you to do is tell Amira that I love you and her very much because she won't have a daddy very soon. I can promise you that because I'm done. And if I lose you, I'm really done. I'm not doing anything. For three years, I've been nothing but a faithful, good husband. I swear to God on my soul. I swear okay. on my life. Okay. Just, just say whatever you want to say so we'll be on the internet. Okay, yeah, I'm well, going to let you say whatever you want to say. Okay. Okay. Tell my daughter I love her. Yeah, your daughter that you haven't seen in a week? Ranya, I've done nothing to you. I've been faithful to you for years. You've done nothing to me. Oh You've been God. faithful to me. I'm just going to say, okay, so I won't get you in trouble. Okay. <sighs> Whatever, Ranya. Yeah, exactly. Thank you for using Global Telling. That's hard to talk about yourself unless you're a narcissist. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. So let's just go ahead and no process, move on, take off this no contact. Oh, mm -hmm. I shouldn't have said that. Hello? Hey, you're calling my cell phone. Oh, uh, I, I'm sorry. I wrote it down as your office. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I'm That's sorry. Okay. L listen, I know I'm not going to talk about it on the phone, but other than the fact that me and my guy, we were riding the speed No, limit. we're not talking about it on the phone. You cannot use these little stupid ass traffic stops to add felony charges to people. You can't do this shit. I can't go to the arraignment. They said I can't go up because I'm not a victim or anything. I wish I could go. You know what I'm trying to say without saying it, this phone call? Mm. No, it's I don't. Bullshit. But yeah, it's well, bullshit. Well, you trust me, so. And he's like, what are you talking about? I said, I know for a fact in that video, I'm one traffic, or I'm sorry, I said the motorcyclist is one. I want that on YouTube about Stephen Negron. I'm done. I'm fucking done. It's just like Windermere. You know what else he said? This we probably won't air, but they're recording it. So, you know what else he said? He said he saw the Windermere video from my body camera. He's so full of shit. That's what he said. Whether he's full uh -huh. of shit or not, I don't know. He he seemed pretty adamant. He didn't, and but then he did ask me a couple questions about it. So I, I'm guessing he maybe didn't see, and he was trying to. Why do you fish. always give me the benefit of the doubt? Ramsey should never get the benefit of the doubt. That's how he got you last time in that little room in October. He never got me. The only thing he got me was that mm. little room in October. Unfortunately, is I told him that I was I had a short un, uh, affair against my uh, with my wife. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was the biggest mistake that I ever said. All that other shit that's been yeah, there and edited, that that's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. That's the only thing I, I regret. I should have never said that about my wife. Aww. It's over. I mean, that's so long ago, though. It doesn't even matter anymore. Every day, okay, I understand I'm wearing a uniform and I have a duty belt on. I'm riding a motorcycle and I'm going mm -hmm. to do a funeral, so it's not your everyday average mm -hmm. Joe job going to, you know, McDonald's mm -hmm. or, or Burger King or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Sure. Okay. Yeah. But I, I'm like literally like any average Joe citizen getting on the highway yeah. to go to work. I'm going down the road to work. We have to do this, and you're dragging me down well, the highway. Know, they're they're dragging me to... for concealed weapon, but it's in plain view on my duty belt, just like yours. Is that concealed? No. Yeah, you can't have that. That's interesting. It's in plain view. Go back and read your statue. So anyway, <laughs> some deputy. Who the fuck are you talking to now? I, there's just deputies and <laughs> fucking corrections talking. officers that are talking. Yeah, Be I very know, careful of the audio you put up, Jennifer. Be very careful. <laughs> Please edit it properly. Sergeant Dillon over at Orlando Police Department when he rolled oh, up on me. <laughs> yeah. Um, he told me he, over, and I wouldn't show him my license, so I made a complaint against yeah, him. Yeah, I races. and I told he, my and, name is Jessica Bolden. Dude, and fucking what? He dragged you? Yeah, he was taking. He was trying to take my helmet off, and while he was doing it, he was yanking my helmet, and he was trying to pull it and pull it and pull it, and it dragged me like two or three feet down the road. Yeah, and how did your uh, mom know? Uh, Choke has the phone. He probably texted he her. Phone. I told him to call her. But he has your phone? Yeah. Oh, well, I, I, I have it now in my property. They didn't take it. 
he he was texting, and then the deputy that came to, because you know Vittler wouldn't take me to jail. He didn't take me to jail. He had a unit come and get me from like a explorer with a cage. So the officer that came to get me with the cage let Cho keep using the phone to text my mom. And then when he put me in the car, he took my phone from um, um, from Cho. And uh, who called the lawyer? Choke. He texted Amir. I oh. was sitting in the car. Wow. I didn't know that Choke was that smart. Honey, he was sitting there with me and my phone. And I was like, go to this. I was in handcuffs. He was sitting right mm -hmm. next to me. I said, go to this phone number and text it. Say, Jeremy just got arrested. And called the bondsman, too. No, Amir called the bondsman. I just talked to Amir. Amir said he talked to the bondsman. No, oh, that's not what your mom said. Amir says the shit's already all over the Internet, everywhere. Everyone, real well, world police is already I posting about up. it. I said, I even have the email, and I'm getting it to Amir. Um, um, uh, Amir is going to pull up my email address. I gave him my email access. He's going to pull up the email. I have the email. Listen, I love you. I'm going to call you back when I get to the next place because people need the phone, okay? Okay. Please, I love you uh, so much. I love you, right. Rania. Rania, I love you. Uh -huh. Your guys came yesterday from Texas? Yeah. And they did the free for Leanda? That was mm -hmm. very nice. Yeah, they were awesome. On. Yeah. And they told Jennifer as they were leaving, uh, don't we don't want to see our names on your blog. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got we've got skeletons in our past and we don't yeah, need them out. He's there. a felon himself. He's he's yeah. in fact he's yeah. a, he's an SO. <laughs> yeah. He told um yeah, he told Leanda that um it's a shame because they they're allowed to use sights, lights and blue and red lights and sirens and everything in Texas. Yep. Yep. So, Every yeah. state except for Florida. Every yeah. state except for Florida is almost yeah. they just let them get away with whatever. Yeah. And they let them get away with whatever in Miami. It it's just here and it's only yeah. Fiddler again and it's just me because of who I am. Just when I, I saw that uh, picture and I knew it was fake and I knew it was I just I don't fucking think it was lost fake. It. Well, then that means she got in my house it. somehow without my permission. Well. Because I, Mom, I've never taken her to the house. I don't know, Jeremy. I mean, let's, you know, I think she was at my house. I think she, we looked it up. She was on the one on the ring. She came to our house. So I don't want to argue with you, and I don't want to, like, throw you under the bus or anything, and we're just with her. We're just not talking about it. Then tell no, my wife I love talking. her. That's all I need you to do, and tell her that I care I about know. her so much. Why are the cameras off? I don't know. Somebody's doing something. Yeah. Um, I don't understand. So uh, I don't know the password for the cameras. It's Do you know by any chance? All small? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lower? Yeah, yeah. No, it's not working. What is the email? Uh, is it VPU? Uh, it's not working. It's not working. So somebody changed the the password. Okay, I love you. I love you. Okay, bye. No, I love you. Thank you for using Global Telling. Uh, go. I need. I need you to send the screenshot of the picture to a mirror. Uh, I think I have it. What? I think I have it. All right, I think let's I have get it, rid yeah. of the other stuff, but let's definitely show that. You know what the other okay. stuff I'm talking about? Yes. Okay, I love you. I love you. Okay, bye. No, I love you. Thank you for using Global Telling. I love the. It was just bullshit. I don't even want to get into it. I'll tell you later. I'll let you see it later. It just pissed me the fuck off that as soon as you she knew you were going, your bonds were revoked. She goes and changes the changes the locks. Uh -huh. That pissed me off. It really pissed me off. And it's been almost four hundred dollars on that, and not give you anything. I'm sorry. If I don't have anything, I've lost everything, including that, the house, her. You understand? Is she a loss? Well, your so-called friends are also... Are you going to file when you get out? Are you going to take half of that, whatever the fuck you have going on with that person? This person fucking changed the fucking locks on you. Listen, that's not a conversation I'm interested in right now. <sighs> oh, my God. If I told your mom, first of all, I can't. But if I told... She would fucking lose it. So much. I do care, and I do. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye, baby. I need your um, online uh, user ID so I can change the address. Because I'll be damned if it goes to her. And me and Sandy are fine. Me and Sandy are good. 
she was talked nice. to Sandy? We, talk, we talked last night. We're good. Okay. We're good. And she said everything's okay? Yeah, she would only give a check to me, so now she only trusts me. One more time, what? I just had to rearrange my whole fucking afternoon for your stupid fucking wife. What about it? I'm just checking on you, seeing how you're doing. Yeah, you're not just checking on me either. I am checking on you. I wasn't going to ask you to yeah, do but anything not just, right but not just me. What? But not just me. Yeah, I just checked on you. Yeah, but not just me. I haven't called anyone else right now. You're the first call I've right made. Right now. Uh, okay. Okay. What do you mean? It's okay, it's fine. Because I called my mom and Rania? I don't care about your mother. I'm assuming that means you got the cameras on? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Fuck the cameras. Oh, okay. So that's a no? Why are, why are you so upset? Because I'm tired. I'm not married to that thing. You're married to it. I'm tired of that. I have my own shit going on. Okay. What, what's and then I have to deal with you. I have my own life. I know. I, this is a lot different of a conversation than we had earlier today. Yeah, because everything was fine earlier today, and I didn't know you were calling her, like, whatever. Do whatever you want to do with your relationship. I'm done. I called one time after you told me there was a problem, and my mom told me there was a problem. I don't, even, I don't even know who I am anymore. I don't even know what I am anymore to you. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. To me? Yeah. Because I call after you tell me there's an issue with the cameras I'm not that my mom's telling that. me about. I'm talking about me calling the cops and you being in jail. I, it's never going to be the whoa, same. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, first off, you need to stop talking so freely. Mother. I'm not mad about you calling her. I feel so much guilt. I feel like I yeah. feel so guilty. I, I, I have to send an email to that crazy bitch. I can't do anything, so good luck with your wife fucking flirting with other men while they're, you know, changing the locks. But I can't see that anymore. Um, so I don't know. What are we going to do when you get out? What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't even know if we would still talk. I just... I already told you I'm that not nothing's going to change. We're just going to have stricter rules about certain things. You just need to walk away. The you know, time for that right there. I, it, it, but it, it is. is. The time. No, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's you, not. Because you, won't, you don't even see it. You, you, will, you will walk out and you'll go right back to it. And yeah. this person won't even put $5 on their account to talk to you. I had to deal with you for your stupid fucking wife. I had to deal with that bullshit. And then today, I'm contacting your attorney. No one else has. You know they're talking about Cancy now, right? Now they're saying oh. that, like, <laughs> um, that fucking loser, Jay Horowitz. I said that um, really? in, a, in a video. Yeah, in a video, I said he's a fucking loser. So. You think they, mon they literally monitor this mm -hmm, shit? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What are you doing? Hello? What are you doing? You said you wanted to leave, but I ran. What can Amir do? Okay, we know what happened. Okay. What can Amir do? What Really and truly, what can Amir do? Um, you can be there and you can sign whatever declaration page that you signed last time, and you can tell the judge that these are lies. I, I hear and really and truly, I, I do love you, but I don't give a fuck about your wife or anything like, like this right now. I don't give a fuck about it, and you shouldn't either. Does Redhead and, and Nusamana know who I am? Mm-hmm. Okay. But they know that you are very close to me. They don't know the to the level of the next level, and you need to keep what it that, that way. They don't know, no. Jen. They know how close you are at the office with me. Okay. Okay. Oh, they don't know we're together. No. Oh. Oh, I thought they did. I was gonna start talking. Mm. I thought they knew. Listen, Blondie, I need you to work on that. I did. Okay, so they don't know I'm the girl in the pictures. No, they know you're the girl in the picture. But they don't. They don't. They even think they it's believe okay. that picture is fake. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jen, you have to just understand things. Okay. So. You're, you're using someone else's stuff. No, whoa. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I didn't say anything. I didn't. I don't know what to do. I. You talk too much. You want to know too much. No, I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know it. Stay calm. I don't want to know anything. I don't want to know anything. I just, I, I just want. I need to get you out of there. Yeah. Focus on that. Listen, I have. And I will. 
I have to let this guy... Honey. Go ahead, go ahead, keep talking. You said keep talking. What's up? Okay. Honey, I I need to get you out of there. We it's are okay. not involved. No, no, no. What was she doing at your office uh, in the middle of the night, by the way? <laughs> you can't answer those questions right now. Oh, I okay. mom told you. You know, you can ask to see that picture. My mom has it if you wanted to, and you can swear I, up and down. I don't, wanna, I don't know if that's, I don't know about that. I mean, You could tell them, sit there and tell them how it's fake and it's not real, and you didn't do that, and you never sent that, and, you know, no, you could I at least... No, I never sent anything, but I don't I know, know if but I you could at least sell that, that shit for me. Sell it for who? Huh? For sell it for who? Which family? family? My whole family? Well, yeah, but be specific, including who? Just tell them that it's fake and you know it's fake. And that- I still have time for your, her crazy Egyptian ways. I, I'm not interested in it. And then you can't even really go home because you got a lunatic there. So it's just, yeah. Well, you know that she won't put money on your on her phone. She doesn't want to talk to you. You might have to start taking stuff from the house, too. I don't know about that either. Maybe you don't think you've gotten to that point, but maybe you've gotten to that point. You need to shut it up afterwards, Jen. What? Dude, what? You can't my name. Gentleness, you can't. You gotta understand we, that you can't what? have this. Wait. Oh, I already know. Oh, I already know what it is. Well, how the fuck do you know that? Oh, I have your. Yeah, I have it written down. I already have your social, honey. <laughs> and I, yeah, I already have your social security. That's really okay. concerning. But anyways. Well, we're almost married at this point. But go ahead. You know, know. too much. It's, it's ridiculous, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I know all of it. Yeah, that's so a problem. I'll pick it up. They said it was a very bad time to fucking come to jail. No, that's not how I set it up. Oh, it's all under one account. Did you not want me to do that? No, fuck no. You can't put them all. Under oh, one account. fuck. Okay, all right. I'll, I'll. I don't know. I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. I just put it all under one. So I'll take it off then. Are you I'll, I'll, I have. That means that she would see you at the office every time you go to the office. Yeah, I'm done think, caring about what she thinks to be. Yeah, I'm you. not. I'm not, honey. I'm not. You, you're going to fucking... You're going to make me lose everything. you got to stop. you got to stop. What do you think? Yeah? <laughs> you and well, I'm not together. I want to come home, too. I you and I'm not together. What? Even if we're not together. Just relax. We're going to be together. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, we're going to be together. We're just going to have a lot more rules. But we're going to be together. I'm not going to end that. You're just going to have to stick. We're going to have to have better rules. Because this can't ever, ever happen again. For English, for a collect call, press zero. Please enter your 12-digit TID number. Oh, and your account. Please enter the area code and please hold. To accept this call, your current balance is $36.08. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hey. Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so is this the last time you think you'll be able to talk? I don't know. The, you can call me any time. You know that. It doesn't matter. Yeah, doesn't matter. they're going to let us out later tonight for an hour, they're saying, but I don't know. You know, they say that, and then nothing here has been exactly what it's supposed to be. They That's don't let us out when like. they're supposed to. They don't eat us, feed us when they're supposed to. The food is mm-hmm. really, really bad. You know, I was hoping I, I was hoping it would, but I, I forgot they only do delivery there, I think, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Oh, is that what it is? And I ordered on the Thursday, yeah. So yeah. I talked to them. I'm going to call them again. I called them. Um, I'm going to call them today again. And I said, hey, what's going on with my order? Um, because they were saying that your balance was too low. But I know me and your mom put money on your trust. Uh-huh. So I have to contact the commissary again about that. But, no, they said it's fine. Have phone number? Yeah, I have the, I, the eye care or commissary. The eye care. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh. yeah. I talked to them this morning. 877-615-3296. Something like that. Yeah, I talked to them this morning. I know, but do you Why? have this number? Okay, I'll write it down anyway. Go ahead. Yeah. Oh, tell me. 877. Uh-huh. So it's 1-877-615-3296. Uh-huh. It's 96? Yeah. I'll call it. I'll yeah. call it when we get off. 
Fantastic. I, yeah, I talked to the girl. She looked it up and everything. She was just saying, oh, well, no, you're, you're, everything went through. It's going to arrive to him on Tuesday. It's just right now his balance is too low for another package. And I'm like, but I just put money on his account. And I didn't even know your mom had put money on, too. So that's why I need to talk to them and find out where your money's going. Mm-hmm. You're not buying anything. <laughs> no, I haven't. No. Yeah. So I, and it's only $2 a fucking day. So if I'm, if I'm putting, you know, $10, $15 and she's putting $10, $15, there's no fucking way. Right. Yeah. Because <sighs> ordering well, yeah. eye care is stupid. It's just better to just order the eye care. Yeah, so I, I, it's a, honey, close that door. It's, uh, it's uh, deodorant, shampoo, conditioner, washcloth, toothbrush, toothbrush well, a thumb toothbrush, um, you know, like a finger toothbrush, uh, toothpaste, uh, I think it's a deodorant. And then the other one is like m and Snickers, Reese's, uh, coffee, um, like cappuccino, stuff like that. Yeah, the, I'm the coffee get pack more. or you got the refresh? It's not, it's not, see, but they don't have a coffee pack. It's called... It's called cho- chocolate or something like that. They have different packages. They don't have one just for fucking coffee, but they do have ones that have more coffee. But I didn't know. Yeah, that's the I one I, I want to get. But we'll get that <laughs> next time. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, the one it's you like got, fifty dollars. Oh, it's fifty. But that's fine. I'll get it next week. The one I got is twenty six, and then I got you a twenty six dollar refresh, which is all the deodorant shit. Right. Tem- can you send my mom the link for the fifty dollar one and have yeah, her do it? Yeah. yeah. Send yeah, her the yeah. link. Text her the link so she orders that because yeah. she's gonna order I mean, one and she doesn't know which one to get. So okay. You can send I'll that. I'll send it to her. I mean, I wish I had more money, but it was sixty five dollars after everything. Oh, I know that. I know. I know. Yeah. I know. The whole thing's yeah. a mess, and everything's a mess, and my account's a mess. Did we take care of BB and T? Oh my God. Yeah. I will. But here's the other thing. They don't have money. I need your parents to pay for the gas. Um, the guy put gas in his in his in the vehicle. I have the receipt. There is no money for me to give him gas. <laughs> you need to text my mom and explain that, and you need to call okay. BB and T right now or a- okay. after a mirror. No, after a mirror. Yeah, after a mirror, and send that email mm-hmm. to that lady and call BB and T and take care of that and yeah, tell them okay. that it's brought. And we need to get that right. money back now. Um, okay. and a new card issued now, and we need to change the address. But it's gonna be. I was just gonna say uh, to your mom. No, oh yeah, shit. I don't know what to mail it to. No, no, you. Uh, yeah, I Why? guess whatever. Sure, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> what to you? I don't That's... care anymore. I just need shit squared away. Yeah, you can't. You cannot send it to her. As soon as you got off the phone with her, she called someone. This guy comes over, and she's. I mean, I'm not. Whatever. I'm not. I'll tell you later. I don't. Whatever. Um, she has him change the locks. Three ninety one. She couldn't put ten dollars on your account. She paid three hundred and ninety one dollars for him to change all the locks. Do I don't know, know where that? she. Put, I is they were at the front door talking and laughing. Ah, ha, ha, ha. All this bullshit. Um, she paid three ninety one. She paid him uh, with a card. Um, she can't put ten dollars on your account though. And then I don't know where she thinks she lives, but in the state of Florida, you can't lock somebody out. So you're getting back into that fucking house. That's that's it. Um, and then she called the guy again to come back at like four o'clock because she was like, "Oh, something's wrong with the lock. Can you fix it?" I like, what the? F-? It was just bullshit. I don't even want to get into it. I'll tell you later. I'll let you see it later. It just pissed me the fuck off that as soon as you she knew you were going, your bonds were revoked. She goes and changes the changes the locks. Uh-huh. <sighs> that pissed me off. It really pissed me off. And it's been almost four hundred dollars on that, and not give you anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have to fight. We have to go and talk to Sandy. If I don't have anything, I've lost everything, including that, the house, her, everything. You understand? Is she a loss? Listen, I can't say names right now, so I need you to just listen to me. Okay. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about Sandy right now. Mm-hmm. I hear you. God. I should have told you. I need to know everything. No, you don't. I should have protected you. I shouldn't have told you. you now you're going to be built, built, like thinking of that. Jeremy, my, ner- my nerves are so bad. I'm so anxious. I've never, I, have, I haven't been as anxious in so long. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's I know it bad. doesn't matter. No, it does. And I'm sorry to hear that. 
that this was really bad. I know. This I have to get. Really I'm talking to you. I have to like, get you out of there. This is like the end of Metro State if we don't get this shit squared and we don't cover tomorrow. Square and fine. PCI is right at the door, apparently. Well, I your think. so-called friends are also inviting them in, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh. Here's that. Yeah. When you get out, when you get out, you'll handle... You'll handle the funeral stuff. Are you going to file when you get out? Are you going to take half of that, whatever the fuck you have going on with that person? This person fucking changed the fucking locks on you. Listen, that's not a conversation I'm interested in right now. Oh, my God. If I tell your mom, first of all, I can't. But if I told, she would fucking lose it. Just not talk right now. No. No. I'm sorry. This is really bad. This Why is, is it so quiet out there? Is, this is the worst because we're all stuck in cells. We can't come out. We can't watch. Are you in nothing. one cell together, or yeah. in a separate cell? Mm-hmm. Oh, so we're just sleeping in. Okay. I'll figure I, I, Amir is the most important. I got to get you out of that. You at least have to go to like minimum or some shit. This is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. I have to get yeah. you out of there. I have to get you out of there. I got to figure out. Or I, 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 we have to get you out of there. If Amir is going to, and I'm going to talk to him, but I also may need to talk to, who do you talk to, the warden? What, who do you talk to? I don't know. It doesn't matter. They look at classification. I have 21 charges, dear. Yeah, but what's that 21 charges for petty theft or some shit? Like, come on. Mm-hmm. It's bullshit. Yeah. Because I have the two gun charges on the on the one. Remember? That's fine. I never exchanged, I never was in jail for that because they gave me ROR's. Remember? Mm-hmm. So I wasn't even in jail for that. That's why I didn't know. Now I'm here because they revoked it and I'm stuck here. Mm-hmm. You need to focus. We both have to focus. And I don't know what you're going to do when you get out. We'll figure that but out. But I'm right telling now. you right now. Okay. Right now, I can't talk about all that. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'm going to come home to a business, then. <laughs> so, if I don't come home mm-hmm. to a business, then it doesn't matter anyways. Mm-hmm. After 11 what years? What are you talking about? You still have Postel. You still have all the other ones. Today? We haven't done tomorrow yet. I don't know why Choke's not calling you. I don't know fucking what the fuck is going on. I'm going to call him, and I'm going to tell him, if you're not there tomorrow, or, no, fuck that shit. If you don't text me and let me know today, you know his if name? you will be... His Adrian. real name? Yeah. Adrian Hernandez. Check the Osceola County Sheriff's Jail. I don't think... He, no, but he texted me a couple of days ago and said, oh, he texted me... Yesterday, actually. He's not in jail. Okay. Well, Why would he be in jail? Because he's always driving that car without a license plate. He still doesn't have a, no. a valid license? Oh, my no. God. So, he texted you yesterday? What did he say yesterday? He had a dentist appointment today. And I what? said, I don't... Well, I didn't say... He said he had a dentist appointment. Show the thing and brush his fucking teeth. Okay. I don't know so how that's he right. Yeah, he told you that yesterday. So, call him or text him that we need him tomorrow. I texted him this morning. I know. I said, I said, listen, I know, you hear I me? Know, I know. Just stay on it, okay? You don't think that mm-hmm. I don't text and call these guys like 15, 20 times? I text Oaks like 15 times, all the time. <laughs> I, I swear to God, you think I don't. Why do you think I'm tired? 
I text Oaks and Choke like 10 or 15 times to get them to confirm, and I call over and over like mm-hmm. a child. And there's nothing I can do. Yeah. I need them. Mm-hmm. I need this. I need tomorrow square. We can't mm-hmm. miss. We can't send Sandy only four or three instead of four like we're supposed to. We can't send two to post L instead of three like we're supposed to. We're mm-hmm. on a fucking thin line. Mm-hmm. And and although they no, care for me, is getting three. What? So no, Purcell is definitely getting three. Yeah, so is Loomis. He even mm-hmm. told me if you guys send two bikes instead of three, I'm not gonna pay you. Wow. Yeah, dude. So what the fuck? I'm telling you right now, you got to stay on top of them. You need to call Oaks and talk to him and be like, listen, man, can you at least come and do one or two? It's it's bad, and we need you. Mm-hmm. And Jeremy needs you. You know, I know you don't like begging. You're not begging for you. You're begging for me. Mm-hmm. I'm begging you. I need you to do these things, or else we're in trouble. And also... um, Scott and Ed are supposed to give us two checks tomorrow. Okay. So, because the check that lo- got lost that one time. I completely forgot until he called they me. They never got it. it? They never gave it to us? No, not until just now. Or they're Do they know? It Saturday. Yeah, Ed told me he's going to give it to us on Saturday. Okay. So. I'm, I'm trying to do everything I can. Just do what I, right. okay? I am. I will. I am. All right. All right. <laughs> I miss you. I, 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 it, the line's recorded. I know, me too. Trust me. You don't need to say it. Trust me, I do. Okay? Yeah. I do. And I and I do also. Yeah. All right? But, yeah. you know, this number, yeah. this number is to who? What do you mean? It's not, nobody knows this number, right? Mm-mm. Okay. Nope, not a single soul, except for your family. I'm not giving it to anyone except maybe Amir. Yeah. I might be able to call you later tonight, and I can talk to you about that, you know, about Amir and stuff. So, but honestly, if you have a pen and paper, now that sure, Amir... Sure, I, I, I've been writing, I've been writing. You have one shit. minute remaining. Dad. So Amir, Amir, mm-hmm. BB and T. No, and I'm, okay. Whatever. Uh-huh. And then uh, um, M M. The um. The lady. Michelle. The lady got an email her today, and then try to make yeah. up something for, you know, Sandy, and talk to her. Mm-hmm. Try to do that. Stop. He doesn't like me. I didn't even know I she didn't care. like me. Listen, we only have a minute, and then you need to call okay. Oaks and Choke and get them to come in. And when I call you okay. this evening, I hope you tell me everything's good. Talk to Amir, oh. please, okay? You have my number saved? Yes, I do. So much. I do care, and I do. Okay? Yeah. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye, baby. Current balance is 30 Three dollars seventy three cents. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's going on? What's wrong? Nothing. Nothing. Just wanted to talk. Oh. Okay, I did. I did half of it. Okay, so um, I I I left a message with Is Marie. And it was too long for her, apparently. So she was like, oh, that's just time to call you. You know who Is Marie is, right? Uh-huh. I did the bank stuff, but I couldn't talk to people about this. Okay, here's the thing. I have to talk to someone, but I can't. We should have put my name on the account. Right. We should just put my so name listen, on the account. So listen, my name, mm-hmm. you need to act with a deep voice and just be Jessica for a minute. Use that deep <laughs> Jessica voice. And take out a piece of paper and pen. And I hate to give this to you because this is, this is, you I know what to do. You need to shred it up afterwards, Jen. What? What? Gentlemen, my name. Gentlemen, you can't, you got to understand that you can't what? have this. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead, hon. Wait. Oh, I already know, oh, I already know what it is. Well, how the fuck do you know that? Oh, I have your, yeah, I have it written down. I have your social, honey.
Yeah. I, oh, tax ID. Hold on. Let me write that. Hold on. Hold on. You know everything else. You need to call and just be me and tell them that I'm in the hospital. Say I was in a car accident and I've been in the hospital and I just woke up and see that my account's all okay. fucked up. Yeah. Okay. And say that's right. why I sound Can like a girl when I'm talking. Again? One. Tax one. I, I, four, all I need to do is... Mm -hmm. Four, six. Five. Yeah, and I yeah I already have your social security. That's really um, concerning, but anyways. Well, we're almost married at this point. But go ahead. Mm, I don't know who you are, so. <laughs> um. What else? Yeah, so I had to talk to them because they were like, "Oh, did you notice any fraud?" And I'm like, "Uh." And I said, "Yeah, you know, I put yes on there." And then I said, "I had to talk to someone." So I right. and I need I need your um online. Uh, use your ID so I can change the address. It's so that would be damned if it goes to her. It's Metro State. It's not going to her anyways. It was going to the old mailbox. We never took care of the mailbox at our office to oh to, to just have mail there. What, but, do, um, so do I have the keys? You know that ring of keys? Is it on that ring of keys that I have? Yes. It's number The one that opens the front door? 18. Yes. It's at okay, number... Right? Yes. Number, at okay, 1718, it. it's number... Okay, I'll, then I'll get it. So then you don't have to change the address. But the username okay. is lowercase m, and then it's, you know... Mm -hmm. Okay. So. Okay. The password is, you know, that. You know, know. too much. It's just ridiculous, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I know all of it. Yeah, that's so a problem. So I'll pick it up. They said three to five business days, so I'll pick it up. Oh, they're mailing it now? Yeah, to the old one. Oh, okay. Apparently, you, but I... Okay. So we need yeah, to I just have to automate it, but I wasn't able to say, yeah, this is fraud. Yeah, you need anything. to call in and dispute all those charges up until the total tire, the first total tire for one, the 150, 150, I think it is, 157 okay. or something. And then hopefully the other money is squared away. But then, listen to me, once that card comes in, you need to give it to my mom right away mm -hmm. you can't have you can't I gotta trust you that money if I don't have money for the office they're gonna come kick us out you know that they're waiting to kick us out I know but they already sent us to notice not notice but you know email but uh, your mom said she was gonna take care of that I, I gave her I gave her and, and New Smyrna the um all the information so I they didn't take care of it yet I didn't know that. This is the first time hearing that. So, yeah, um, I, ga I gave them the mailing address. I still need you to give them the debit card when you get it, mm -hmm. okay? And I need you to um, dispute those charges, okay? Okay. So, please call and act like me when we hang up, okay? Yeah. Can you do that? Well, how's it? Yeah, what are you doing now? Well, we hang up. I'll let it finish, I guess. I just got out of the shower, so, you know, they're about to lock us down for until I don't know when. Oh maybe I'll get out tonight, or maybe it won't be till tomorrow. So. Do they, do they, what kind of products do they, I mean, is, what, I wonder if the refresh was worth the money. I don't know. Probably not, but it's probably good enough. That's all that matters. Good enough is okay. good enough for now. Okay. So, it's not, it's not like it's... Been. Huh? I should have got more food for you. I don't know if you like ramen noodles. All they have is crap food, like ramen noodles and stuff. No, I know. It's all crap food, and they have the ramen king bag or whatever the fuck it's called. But yeah. the refresh will have, I think it has some food in it too, though, doesn't it? Or no? No, it's just, no. The refresh oh. just has, like, lotion, body wash, shampoo, conditioner, yeah. uh, a washcloth, deodorant, just to make, I don't know. I don't know who the fuck they're smelling good for, but, you know, just mm -hmm. to make you feel normal, I guess. Yeah. Well. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Just one day at a time. I, I have moments of calm and then I have these moments of panic. Sure, yeah. I've been living that way for two years. Yeah? Yeah. How I feel now is how you've been living? For two years? The panic, mm -hmm. the constant stress, yes. That's why, unfortunately, now my marriage is falling apart. And unfortunately, I'm a very angry person. Well, I wouldn't say that on the, on the line, but go ahead. Yeah, well, I, I'm... 
I'm dying inside. Please, I know. I just need you to hold on just a little longer. Just, we got, we got this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Whoever drives the 250 tomorrow, they need to be careful. You know the thing. They you know can't. The, what? They can't. The tires are all flat now, and, and your parents are saying they don't. They they're not. They can't get it fixed now. The 250. Yeah, all the tires are completely flat. Remember, we never changed it. We just need to put air in them. Did somebody flatten them again? No, no one flattened them again. It's just the two, the two on the two on the driver's side. I'll tell these idiots to put air in the tires. They're fucking idiots. I'm 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 done being nice. I thought you said the funeral car, not the not the. It's fit. both. They both were down today. Did you watch the cameras to see if anyone did something? No one that came by. I watched the cameras. Well, we never. But, I. But the funeral car has new tires. Okay, maybe they just need air on them. I I don't I don't know, honey. They're not. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello, this is a prepaid call from Jeffrey. <laughs> An inmate at the Orange County Corrections. To accept this call, press your current balance is $25.73. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello? Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm trying to get everything together. Xander does not have a check, and we're not moving unless they have a check. Okay, don't play that game. Just, I'll get it. We'll get it next, on Monday or Tuesday. Just calm down. How is everything else going? Has everyone, who did, who showed everything, up? Everything, I'm talking to Sandy. Everyone showed up. Uh, Phil was supposed to, but he didn't because he's Phil. Um, so, but everything is going smoothly so far. Xander so far is the only, the only bump How many in have the road. we got done so far? Um, uh, I don't know, like two, two or three. Oh, okay. These are all late, these are all afternoon things. So, Okay, uh, so the first three are done on the list? No, the first three are not. The first one's done. I'm going to the second. They're on the third. They're on the third? You're going to the second? Who's got the fourth at 2 o'clock or one thirty? Just calm down. I have it. Okay. I, did the, okay. I did the schedule. Okay, all right, okay. Everything's good, though? Right. No one else showed up? Reggie didn't show up? No, he was never going to. Texas guys never showed up? Yeah, they did. Oh, they did? Yeah. Come to a fucking law. God. Ken showed up? Yes. Okay. Just... Carlos showed up. Good. Uh, Marilyn? Yep. Marilyn showed up. Marilyn's really good. Good. Uh, Preacher yeah. showed up? Yep. Okay. Just not Oaks and Choke, right? Oh, now they have to check. When I, when I said we weren't going to roll... Now they have to check. You can't say <laughs> things like that. Oh, I, the joke's listen. not there? Nope. Okay. And Oaks did not get a check. He was like, oh, we'll have my brother. I said, no, we can't do that. I'm sorry. Can't do that. No, nope, we can't do that. Nope. Never been you allowed have to come to in and get it. Yep. Right. All right. It sounds like you're doing good. Just keep up the pace. Yeah. Just get them all done, okay? Yeah. About and me roll. and Sandy are fine. Me and Sandy are good. She you was talk nice. We, talk, we talked last night. We're good. Okay. We're good. And she said everything's okay? Yeah, she would only give a check to me, so now she only trusts me. Okay, good. All right. Um, all right, just keep rolling, okay? Just keep doing what you're doing. Did we get the 250 fixed? It was just the tires fly, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Uh, what are the two te Texas guys on? My motors? One, one is. Okay, the owner, the owner guy? He's yeah. On mine? Yes, he's on yours because number two doesn't have a plate for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, two doesn't because that's the one that still ruined the clutch. So it's right. okay. He's fine. I know he rides good. So mm. oh, look at that. Fly to Florida to be on motor one. Tell him to take motherfucking pictures. Put it on YouTube. Hey, did you get right. Ramsey's interview up? Up? No, I'm 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 doing something. I, I'm doing it so. Okay. All right. I haven't gotten it up. I'm I know. not. I'm, I know. I just don't want to. I'm just very. I know. I, I know. know. I'm just really. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I just don't want to lose subscribers in this downtime. You know. 
so. All right, well, that's great. That's good news. That's good. That's good. That's great. So Beach House was fixing the cameras today? Yeah, well, I don't know what she's doing. Okay, everything worked out with her, though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, everything worked out. So, Do you she's like, I'm glad he, you're here. <laughs> you said that? Yeah, I'm like, oh, okay. Because yeah. <laughs> they did know I what know, time it I, is, but they know that it's not time that I can fight right now. So, anyway. I know. Um, do, they, do you know the app that you can download to put money on my account? There's an app? There's an app now for downloading, so that way you don't have to drop the money off here at the jail. You can actually do it on the app. Um, no, I didn't know. What 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 is what is what is the app? I don't know. I don't know what it is. But the thing is, is um, I, I need my mom to put a little bit of extra money in so I can order a radio because I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. I think. I so. told you that. You said no. Yeah, but what is the I, name of the app? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I really I'll, don't find, know. I'll try to find it. Well, ask one of them. I told you that. You said no. The radio is thirty dollars, so I need to get at least enough by by tonight in the account, so I can order it tomorrow, so I can get it. I'll tell. Today. I'll tell her. I'll tell yeah. her when I get there. Yeah, at least thirty dollars um, or enough money that will tomorrow. Well, I just put another ten. I know it's not a lot, but I mean, I'm, you know, I'm using my own money. I just put another ten dollars in there. I don't know. I can't see it, so. I don't know if you guys can actually see the account, how much money I have. Yeah, I just, it's just a trust. It's just a trust account. Yeah, see, I don't know if that's the commissary account or the trust account. I don't know how that works. Oh. Um, uh, oh, see, I think it's different. Account or the commissary account? The, the trust. The trust, okay. Yeah, okay, it may trust, right, yeah, so, sorry. Is it the yeah. same? Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, no one else put anything in there unless they're doing it. I don't know if your mom. But they already took the two day, two dollars a day, plus then the five dollars for the medicine. But then I put ten dollars in there. So what the hell? Where did that go? Two dollars a day plus two dollars a day plus five dollars for the medicine. So I don't know. Right. Plus then two dollars to book for five dollars for booking. I've done twenty (laughs) dollars. I don't know. I really don't know because I haven't ordered anything, obviously. So. Right. But if she can at least make sure that the balance is, like, tell her to put, like, just tell her to put, like, 50 in, you know? Mm-hmm. So, um, is Ken staying until 2 today? Obviously, it's 1 o'clock. I don't so. know. I don't know what he's doing. I, I'm kind of over, and he's doing that whole, oh, fuck, I keep missing my turn. He's doing that whole thing where he's, like, riding in the front. He did start taking some flights, but yeah. it's, just, it's just fucking annoying. Like, how yeah, might be riding a fight, and I'm acting right. like a fucking motorcycle. Yeah, especially when you have so many vehicles, and then you're you're running thin, you know, yeah. right to light, because he's just in front. I understand, but again, it, it's, he right now, he's a body presence, you know? Like I said, by the time he comes back next year, either I'll be in prison, or this will be done, one or the other. So, inshallah. So... Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, Xander sends me off. Yeah, I know. Just calm down. I'm assuming that there's no emails from anyone or anything from Amir or, from no. Her or anything. No, no. <sighs> okay. All right. Well, I, I, uh, I'm very happy that you're there and you're taking care of everything. I appreciate it. Okay. I want you to know I'm tearing myself apart in here. What do you mean? I should have just left. I should have left another night. I shouldn't even have stayed and tried to talk you out of it. Then I, I, anyways, I can't talk about it on the phone. So I should have yeah. just left. But then I don't know. If, then the then there would have been a warrant or something. You know, I I don't know. You know, but at least I would have been able to have been home. I, I don't know. I know. As long as Z Dog's happy and Kaylee's happy, that's and no, no. Postel needs to be happy and Kaylee needs to be happy. Well, it's not Postel; it's Pistachio, and hopefully okay. they're happy. Aren't they? Aren't they going? Aren't they there now with them? The other team. I'm. I'm headed there now. So it's me and Marilyn. I'm trying to get um, Preacher to get over there because Xander's only paid for three, and there's three of them already there plus ten. That's four, and they didn't right. even pay. So he can right. just come with us. I don't have time for it. 
Uh-huh. And this guy from Texas, he knows how to do escorts. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't need assistance. Yeah, but he doesn't know he, where he to go. I guess. Mm. Anyways, as long as it gets done, that's all that matters. Yeah. So. I just don't want them to get all the way out to freaking Apopka, and I'm like, can you turn around? I'd rather you turn around now while you're down the street. Why would they turn around from Apopka? I'm confused. No, because they're headed to Apopka. Right, right, right. I don't want to have to ask them to leave Apopka to get to Orlando when they're already in Orlando. Right, right, right. And they haven't left yet. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I mean, I know what you do. I know, but, you know, me and uh, Miss Marina were talking about that. You know, we just, uh, we're not with that chasing checks down. You want a service, you fucking pay for it. And that's right. it. Yeah. Asking people to prepay. Yeah, well, they've always worked with me. So, one of the things I forgot, I did forget about Hayes Brothers. There's one for Mr. Hayes today, and I completely forgot to tell you, and I forgot to tell you to call him. So, it is what, what it is. What time? It is. What, I, I I don't even know. Is this I an afternoon so. one? Yeah, it's afternoon. I think it's one thirty. For, so forget it. We have two yeah. at one thirty. I know. Forget it. It's never gonna I happen. I know. So even if you weren't there, it wasn't gonna happen. You should probably, if you can, look him up and just call his funeral home and tell him we're not gonna make it, unless he tells us it got pushed to three o'clock or some shit. So. Mm-hmm. But anyways. What's all rolling right now with the 250, the slick top, and the ghost, and the Tahoe? No, no, just everything except the 250. The 250 tires are still bad? No, we just didn't need it because oh, Carlos oh. got on a, on a bike. Oh, but what about the funeral car? What? What is he doing? What? Why is he sitting here? What the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, he just got here. Funeral car, Marilyn is. Oh, he doesn't know he still has flashing lights on. Um, he just got here. No, Marilyn's driving the... It's not acting up the, on him? No. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's weird. I just got here. He just got here. Okay. I'm trying to find the hearse. Is there not a hearse? Oh, it must be around the bus. Where um, are you at? Yeah. Uh, post office. <sighs> yeah, post but where is whatever. that at? Where is it at? Ivy Lane. Oh, uh, I'm sure it's in Ivy Lane. Uh, what time did they roll? Oh, yeah. One thirty, but no one's out here. Yeah. So I think. Yeah, I need you to. I need to. I need you to. Move. All right. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That sounds good. I'm trying. They're doing good. I know. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Okay, I'm gonna move up here. He's good in the back. I'm just gonna keep him in the back. He's very, very good in the back. Who? Um, Marilyn. Oh, good. Yeah. yeah. Where's Ken at right now? He is going to. He is going to force it. He's going to a manual. Okay. But I don't know who's. I don't know if. The beast of done Xander, they're full they're bullshit. They're bullshit. Um, I don't know if Joe and his friend are gonna make it. Huh. And that rolls at one thirty. I I don't know. Oh, okay, I yeah. Okay, right, yeah. If you you have a cigarette uh thing? Yeah, I need one. Yeah. Um Hard yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so who's at po- uh, Pistachio right now? Me Did and Marilyn. And I'm asking Preacher to come. Yeah, but Preacher probably needs to go to, to Snowbird if if the other guys aren't going to get there in time. But doesn't Posto always ask for three? Yeah, they do, but Ken's by himself, right? At Emmanuel? Right now. Right. Yeah, it would be I'm better sorry, to put... It would be better to put Preacher over to Ken real fast. Oh my God. I just told him to get over here. Hold on a second. Well, I mean, unless those guys from the other one are going to be there in time. They're not. They're all together. So if one isn't going to make it, none of them are going to make it. Um, when, we're, when our call is done, 
I have to call him. I hate to do this, but I have to. I, I can't talk to you. Yeah, I understand that. I understand. As long as as long as as Snowbird's not by himself, you know. Mhm. So. So once they yeah. ran Sanders, then they were you were gonna separate those two, send them to Ken, and then and then uh, Preacher was gonna come to you. Yeah, he was gonna come okay. to me. It was gonna be me and Preacher in Maryland. Okay. Well. And Phil fucked me, of course. He always does. So, um, the, there's one for A Community. I think I'm going to put Marilyn, Preacher, and that guy Carlos on it. And then there's one more after that. And that's it. That's for Loomis. Don't forget at uh, A Community, there's two. Two checks. You have Got one it. minute okay. remaining. Wow, we've been talking 15 minutes? Yeah. Right. I miss you so much. I, <laughs> I miss you. I know. It's not the same. I know. And, you know, they might not, if they don't revoke the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. Even Amir said they could put me on house arrest for bond, you know what I'm saying? That would be... That's better than, that's better than being in there. I agree. And house right. arrest, you can stay, I don't know where you would stay. I'd have to stay home. So, anyways, listen, it's going to hang up. Okay. Please All right. Finish the day. I'll try to call you back later. Okay. If not, okay. tonight, okay? Okay. Right. Bye. Bye. Thank you for using Glow. Please hold. Hello. This is a prepaid call from Jeff. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. What's wrong? Nothing. I just had to rearrange my whole life for your stupid fucking life. One more time. What? I just had to rearrange my whole fucking afternoon for your stupid fucking wife and her stupid paranoia about fucking cameras. Uh, I'm over it. I'm done with it. I'm not doing. An, I'm not doing another fucking thing. Okay. 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 Calm down, please. And we can't talk too much, please. So, how are you? Huh? Yeah, what about it? What? What about it? I'm just checking on you, seeing how you're doing. Yeah, you're not just checking on me either. I am checking on you. I wasn't going to ask you to yeah, do but anything not just, right But not just me. What? But not just me. Yeah, I just checked on you. Yeah, but not just me. I haven't called anyone else right now. You're the first call I've right made. Right now. Uh, okay. Okay. What do you mean? It's okay, it's fine. Because I called my mom and Rania? I don't care about your mother. Oh, well then why are you upset? I'm tired of everyone tiptoeing around crazy. Uh, okay. I'm tired of it. You're tired of what one more time? Everyone tiptoeing around crazy. Okay. Well, listen, I really need you to calm down about that. I'm fine. Oh, okay. I'm just That's done. Fine. I'm, I'm just letting you know. If anyone asks me for another thing, I will say no. I will not do it. Okay. I appreciate that, though. I appreciate you've done you this much. I'm assuming that means you got the cameras done? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Fuck the cameras. Oh, okay. So that's a no? Why are, why are you so upset? Because I'm tired. I'm not married to that thing. You're married to it. I'm tired of that. I have my own shit going on. Okay. What, what and then I have to deal with you. I have my own life. I know. I, this is a lot different of a conversation than we had earlier today. Yeah, because everything was fine earlier today, and I didn't know you were calling her, like, whatever. Do whatever you want to do with your relationship. I'm done. I called one time after you told me there was a problem, and my mom told me that there was a problem. So I called one time. I could only call one time. I don't understand what the what the problem is. Why are you getting all worked up? At the end of the day, my daughter's still there. I wanted to hear my daughter and things. What are you doing? What, what are you doing? Nothing. I need you to calm down, honey. Okay? Mm-hmm. Just 
just relax, baby. Figure all out the steps later on as time goes on, dear. Just relax. Anyways, how's everything else, hon? Uh, huh? I'm just tired. I know. We're all tired. Hopefully this will be over soon. Then we won't have to worry about all this. You know? So. I don't know. What? I don't, I don't know. I just think I'm, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm tired of everything. I know. I know. It's very hard. And it's very hard that more was added, you know? So, one day at a time. But we can't fix anything if I'm in here. Can't resolve things if I'm in here. Can't move forward if I'm in here. So, you know, I, I hear you. I understand. I, you want to know how I understand? Because I'm living. So, I hear you. trying to have a good conversation, um, and you're not talking, you're... I, it's hard. It's hard because I I have to sit there for an hour having to work this shit out to hide shit from... I'm tired of hiding who I am. Fuck that shit and fuck her. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of that. I'm tired of it. You ask me, I'm telling you. Okay, and I'm listening to you. I don't, even, I don't even know who I am anymore. I don't even know what I am anymore to you. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. To me? Yeah. Because I call after you tell me there's an issue with the cameras I'm not and my talking mom about telling that. me about... I'm talking about me calling the cops and you being in jail. I, it's never going to be the whoa, same. Whoa, 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 whoa. You, first off, you need to stop talking so freely. Okay. 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 You need to knock it the fuck off before something happens and then I get in more trouble because you're not listening. Okay. I'm done with that. Okay. Okay. I understand what you're saying. And I apologize mm -hmm. that this situation is the way it is. Mm -hmm. But we can't fix it and we can't resolve it until I'm home. So being upset about it and arguing about it on a jail phone is definitely not going to resolve it or fix it. It's probably only going to make it worse, which then there would be even more problems because that would mean more charges, and then that would be a serious problem. So I need you to just relax, okay? Getting all worked up like you do is the problem that we have. Really? Come on. You know what's right. If we can just can stop arguing, if we can, if we can stop arguing and stop fighting, things would be so much better. Everything else is going perfect with us. I'm already doing enough guilt for. I can't even say what I did right that day. I can't even say for. Well, I, I already yeah, feel guilt for. I feel and guilt I for that. them I coming out. That. I feel I guilty that. that they came out. I get it. I understand. But feeling guilty about that and then being upset and then getting mad because I'm calling my wife to talk to my daughter or call my mother. I'm not mad about you calling her. Okay. Go then ahead. you need to calm down. And we'll figure it all out when I'm home. I already told you, as long as everything's okay, there's nothing going to change right now. You're still in my life, so I don't know why you're getting all worked up. I, I, I didn't tell you to leave. I didn't tell you to stop. Uh, of course I'm disappointed. I'm, this is a serious problem. We need to fix it. But again, we can't fix it while I'm here. Right? I mean, stop. Yesterday was an amazing day. I was very proud of you. Nobody's ever done that for me before. Not I even heard a tranny did it. 
she didn't do it. She just took down the escorts and wrote them down. We had so much staff, and Ken ran everything. Fuck. That's true. Yeah, it was different yeah, back then. That's totally true. different. Yeah. Totally different. Yeah. I had so many employees. I had, I had Drew and Alan. Come on. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I had, I had so much staff. Yeah. So, you just need to calm down. You I know, but I stop just letting that it. demon come out because that's going to no, be the I fall. Know. That's going to no, be the I feel, mm, I feel so much guilt. I feel like I yeah. feel so guilty. Right, but I understand. That's but so arguing bad. and fighting with me isn't going to fix it, honey. Causing problems mm -hmm. on, on the outside isn't going to fix it. No, Causing no. problems with her, even though you don't like her, or my family is not going to fix she it. She called my son fucking retarded. I, she and I, we still haven't had uh, that. This has not been resolved. That will be a day. Well, I, I will deal with that. I will deal with that. I haven't dealt with it. Listen, I, I, I need you to calm down. I am calm. Hey, hold up. Oh, anyways. Uh, anyways. Alright, so, I love you. I, I know, I know we don't have a lot of time to talk, but I just, I just, I don't know, I feel, I'm just really down. I know, me too. You don't think I feel down, locking in a room? for 23 yeah. hours out of the day and I'm staring at a wall. You know, I get it. I oh, understand. Okay. Yeah, so, I yeah, get it. I, I know you feel bad and depressed. But just look at it this way. You're home and you get to you get to do things. You know, I, 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 I'm sorry. Right. But, so, anyways, um, you know, if anything, you can... You know, you can fix things. You know, that's the best part about it. And then I can come home. You know? But what if I can't fix it? That's the, that's the other thing. What if I can't fix it? What if what's Osceola can't fix it? thing? What? What Osceola thing? I said, what if I can't fix it? Oh, I think you said the Osceola thing. I'm like, what? I don't know. There's nothing, there's, there's nothing going on as far as your cases. That, yeah, you know, I know. Obviously, you don't worry about that. So. Uh, yeah. You should be able to. You already did the, the the one thing. You know, you're doing the emails. You're doing everything you can. I mm -hmm. I can't I can't imagine that it would be any more. I mean, you know, stay on stay on a mirror. I don't I don't know. I know? I don't know what we're gonna do. I mean, you need to talk to your family. I I have to send a letter. They said, they said don't. No, no, no. I'm talking about the rent. I I, I have to send an email to that crazy. Bitch, and I have to tell her that it'll be there by Wednesday. But they need to have it. They need to have that check, or we're gonna get tossed out. Well, they have to do more than 30 days notice, so you can't get tossed out that fast. But you need to also explain to her that the bank account was hacked and it was used illegally. I understand. So I understand, know, but I don't even want them to start the process. Yeah, I understand that, but. It, 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 it's not usually, the process doesn't usually start when you're late one month. That's not possible. Oh, but, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, this isn't, okay. I mean, uh, it's not like, a, like an like apartment. Or, or, yeah, like two or three months, you know, they might start some kind of shit, but this okay. isn't like that, you know. Okay. And, you know, I don't know, so. All right. Mm -hmm. How's everything else? I, I guess fine. I don't know. I haven't. I just. I don't know. I didn't do anything. I went to the office for a second and it was storming. I don't know why I went there. Uh, the ring. I don't even have access to anything. So good luck with your wife fucking flirting with other men while they're, you know, changing the locks. So I can't see that anymore. Um. So I don't know. Mm -hmm. And that. So I'm done. I guess it's best for the best anyway. So I, don't, I can slowly get uh, off. I don't know. I'm tired. Okay. Well, we try to sleep, and uh, we'll talk more later. It's not. It's not. It's not a physical tired. It's an emotional tired. I hear you. Then maybe we need to sit down when I come home and talk, honey. Well, I don't know when you're when you'll be here. 
I don't know well, when you'll get out. Well, honey, I mean, you have more power than I do, so... No, I really... Yes, I you did really my part. did. I did my part. Oh, well, I mean, you did more last time, so, I mean, it's up to you. You know, I can't tell you what yeah. to do and what not to do. So. Because I didn't know them like that before, because I, I didn't know who to talk to, so I was emailing a million people. Uh, um, uh, but now, you know, I did the declination and I did the um, email to uh, her. I don't know what else to do. Well, then relax. Why are you stressing? You know, hmm. all I ever said was, you know, do a follow-up email, but you don't need to do that tomorrow, obviously. So, I mean, relax. You have one minute remaining. How's YouTube doing? I thought you were working on that. You were all excited. I, I, I don't know. Uh, okay. Well, I, I don't know, honey. I mean, I can't. I'm not there. So I, I can't. I can't hold your hand, honey. I, I, you're, you're stronger than this. You need to tighten up. Come on. Knock it off. You're, you're, you're stronger than this. I, I, I have to go. Okay. It's gonna hang up. And I'll try to get in line, but I don't think it's gonna happen today. So, but I'll try. Okay. All right. Hey. Stop. Tighten up. Just relax. Tomorrow you'll wake up and you'll have new ideas in your head to do more things, like email more people and try harder. You'll figure it out. And then I'll be home and we'll figure it out. Okay? <laughs> all right. Relax. Go to sleep. All right? Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Hello. This is a prepaid call from $31.42. Sense. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. You. Hey. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Just relax. Hey. Oh. I just haven't been away from you for this song since we've been together. What? I just I haven't been away from you for this song since we've been together. I I know. I know. I know. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to sound like an asshole, and I'm trying to tell you what you got, we got to do to make it to where I'm not away longer, you know. So, and only you have that key, dear. What are we gonna do when you get out? What do you mean? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't even know if we would still talk. I just. I already told you not that nothing's not going to change. We're just going to have stricter rules about certain things. And one of those biggest things will be the way we communicate with each other. That doesn't mean we're not going to be together. I already told you that. Nothing's going to change there. At least not today. So, you know, but this shit can't ever fucking happen again. So, I don't know what precautions we need to take, what rules we need to uh, put up, but when crazy clocks in... You just, need to, you just need to walk away. Yeah, the problem is that sometimes walking away causes somebody to send text messages or information that shouldn't be sent. I walked away. Why? Right. Well, yeah, right. On the phone when you walked away. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I, 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 I was worried about you and your safety, and I fucking sat there like an idiot. I should have got in the car and drove away. That's what I should have done. I don't want to talk about it on the phone, but when we I talk in person... So... My only thing is, I just... I I know what you're saying, that this can never happen again, obviously, but... I mean, while it's happening, okay, it happened. Let's just be adults. It happened, okay? So while it's happening, ha I mean, nothing's going to change for us. It needs to. It needs to. No. I, we need to stop our... It's not just... It, it, right, but it's not just how we communicate. Obviously, that's an issue. Obviously, that whatever we decide to do as far as us, we'll decide later. But even if we decide things the same, I'm very annoyed because I understand that your family's helping and I get that, but other people are sitting Listen, around this isn't eating the time for that right there. I, it, but it is. The time. No, it's not. No, it's not. 
No, it's you, not. Because you won't. You don't even see it. You you will you will walk out and you'll go right back to it. And yeah. this person won't even put five dollars on their account to talk to you. I, I totally agree. I like that. I totally agree. But remember how I said that you always like to use the times that are problems to go ahead and try to use that problem to then instill something that shouldn't be talked about at that point in time? I guess. I'm not sure. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. This is kind of one of those times where that kind of shit right there we'll talk about for sure, but that's this isn't the time. What the time is right now is everything in our arsenal and everything in our power, we make calls, emails, we do what we can to get it resolved. Worrying about all the other shit, that's not going to fix anything. And the, and the longer the longer it takes, the more damage is going to happen with businesses, money, and finances. You think I'm completely stupid and lacking empathy. Of course I understand that. Of course I, I, I understand that. I, I understand that, honey. I get it. I get that's the position you're in. I do. But again, all I can keep saying is, is you're the one in the power in that position. And I will do what I will, can do tomorrow, but I can't do anything tonight. I did a lot on Thursday. I immediately went there. I, you know I don't like going to that office. Okay. But I went you did over a great there. Job. To, I, I, I told you Saturday was amazing, and you were amazing. I'm and not I talking appreciate. about your office. I'm talking about Amir's office. Oh. I went over. I, I, I sent her an email on Friday. I mean, so I did that Thursday. sent an email Friday. Held everything together Saturday, Sunday. I I mean, I tried to see the cameras. I had to deal with it for your stupid fucking wife. I had to deal with that bullshit. And then today, I'm contacting your attorney. No one else has, to my knowledge, that you said they have. I know my parents. And then I had to I had to deal I had to deal with the fucking rental people and explain to them. Luckily, the lady was like, okay, she understood, and she'll let them uh, have it on Wednesday. I hope they actually do it. I don't know what's going on there. Uh-huh. I haven't even tried to catch my fucking check, so I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. Well, that, that. was there tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow is avi- it will be available. Tomorrow's she Tuesday. She said it was today. I haven't oh, tried well, it today. Oh, today by five, yeah, or something like that, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I'm just tired. Relaxed. I, I am too. I am too, honey. I know you're tired. I know you're there, and I understand, and okay. I'm sorry that you're there, but we can't talk about what, whatever. Right. That's why, honey, all I'm doing is asking you to fix what you can. And we do what we can with what we have. And if that's enough, great. If it's not, we'll figure it out at that point. But I know what we have and what we have the availability. So, Everyone's working really hard. I know they are. Well, and I know you're doing more than anyone. And I appreciate it. And that will be ever so remembered and appreciated. That's why I'm okay. not just walking away. So, maybe, maybe so you, you need to understand that. Mm-hmm. You need to understand that I'm not just walking away. So, I care about you. You know what I do and everything else. So stop. Stop trying to make a point when shit's wrong right now. That's you. That's what you like to do. This isn't the time. Mm-hmm. So, I need you to stay calm, and I need you to relax, and I need you to fix the things that you can. That's all I ask. Mm-hmm. And like I said, at that point, once you've done everything you can, which we know there's more you can do, once you've done that, if it still doesn't work, then that's where we're at. So, I, I, I know Amir's working on it, but again, you have more power than Amir at this point. When it comes time to that. And this is going to be the last call today because they, they, mm-hmm. the whole COVID, this thing's, a, this is fucking. Mm, mm, mm. Are you wearing masks? Mm hmm. Did you have your coffee? Mm hmm. Yes, I do. But I will tell you, you I'm already talking. 
So there's a good chance that I'm probably sick. So I came to fucking prison. I came to jail to probably catch some fucking disease that I never had before. You're coughing? I am. But that's very hush-hush right now because it could just be allergies. Oh, my God. Yeah, no shit. And in two weeks, it could be a lot worse than what it is. Or it could be nothing. But I'll tell you right now, this is a problem. This is this whole thing's a fucking disaster. Anyways, how do you put that pressure on me? I'm not putting any pressure on you. Not at all. I'm not. I'm not putting any pressure on you. It's my fault. I have the business. I've been doing what's happening. What happened to that? What? They're saying we gotta go. What the fuck happened to the owl? This this fucking shit, dog. Huh? Yeah, what? What happened? They're the bullshit. That's what happened. You have to go? Soon. You can calm down. It's almost it's almost time to go to bed anyway. Yeah, I haven't oh, used no. the restroom. I haven't taken a shower. Nothing. So. Okay, then they won't let you use the bathroom. No, I, yeah, of course, but I mean, um, I, I don't want to shit in front of a bunch of other guys. Okay, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I, I don't know either, Darren. I'm in the situation because of my business, but you have the power right now. So. Okay. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> I'll okay. call you tomorrow, okay? You. Hopefully when I call you tomorrow, we're talking a little different, okay? Yeah. All right, honey. Just do what you can, yeah. please. I'm fucking begging you with all my heart. Yeah. Okay. All right? Yeah. I, I, I just feel like you didn't do anything today because you think that I'm going to come home and just leave you. You know, and that's what? not right. I, I don't know. I don't know. What? I don't what are you know. talking about? Because you just said That's that. That's not what I'm doing. Okay, because you kept asking me what's going to happen when you come home. I already told you no. what's going to happen. All that's going to happen That's not what I'm doing. I would never... Gonna, okay. All that's going to happen differently is we're going to have different rules about walking home. I, that's it. I'm not... So, I just... That's not what I'm... I hope so. Because, I, dude, you have the keys, not me. If I did, I wouldn't be here. If I had the keys, I would have been on the phone until she fucking got tired of talking to me. So, I don't know what to say. You know? I'm also embarrassed because we're in the same situation again. Yeah, no shit. Me too. And every officer that comes here and makes fun of me? Motor One Moo and all that fuck shit? Because I started this stupid vlog shit? I didn't want to come back here either for no reason. This is wrong. Hear me. Everyone thinks I'm lying. About what? Everything that happened. Oh, it didn't I, happen or whatever. Yeah, I understand that, but that's not what these people, the court system, thinks right now. Mm -hmm. I don't care what the general public or the, the population thinks on YouTube. They're not mm -hmm. the fucking judge. Right, right. We can have 10,000 subscribers saying that you're wrong and I'm right. It doesn't matter. The judge isn't going to fucking let me go because of that. That's Only true. you have yeah. that power. It's so, weird that they, the judge doesn't believe me, but then the judge believes me. I don't understand that. No, that judge made up his mind that day. And you know what he made up his mind is? Is that I'm a white man dating a black girl, and that's what it was. <laughs> Come on, man. He was already here. He made the decision before he even stood up. Okay. If you don't realize that, hon... Come on, even Amir understood. That's why Amir and I didn't fight. He already made his decision. Yeah. 
He was just going through the process with you. Come on. He wanted to violate my bond last time when Biddler arrested me. That was the same judge. But because the sheriff's mm -hmm. office reversed the charges, he didn't have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Come on. I need you to just keep it together, please. You have the power now. Yeah, you keep it together. I will do, I'll do it in the morning. I'll, I'll call her in the morning. Okay. All right. And you, you call me, you usually call me on 1130, right? Well, well, if they, if they let us out tomorrow, yeah. I mean, they're not letting us out right now. We're getting lucky to have this few, few minutes. I might not okay. be able to take a shower and shit. So, I, you know. Anyways. All right? All right. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Try to sleep. All right? Okay. Bye. Thank you for... Hello, this is a prepaid call from... This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hey, what's going on? Hello? Hey. Hey. What's up? I miss you. I, I know. I know. So, I miss you too. I'm sorry. Okay. What you doing right now? Um, I already called them. I left messages and I sent them emails and copied in the mirror. So I already did that. I I'm just waiting. Okay. I called her and I called um. What's that lady's name? Erin McCauley. She's a she's a director over the victim services. And then obviously I called Michelle and I left the messages and I sent them emails and I copied in the mirror. So okay. I did that this morning. That's good. I'm assuming you said I filed the declaration and all that bullshit. Oh, I didn't say that in there, but I I did reference. Yeah, I did reference the. Uh, I did reference the. I can do it again tomorrow. I I just want. To, I don't want to like you know like if you call and you leave a voicemail and you email you know I don't. I I don't know if I should. Yeah. So I've been thinking about um. A jail. Are you okay? No, I'm not, but it's okay. And on it's Ramadan, so I'm not eating at all. And now I'm not taking no, I mean, my medicine. Like, so. Oh, my God. No, you have to take your medicine if your blood pressure is high. You'll die. I can't take my medicine during the day. So. Oh, they give it to you at night? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, ask them to give it to you. Go ahead. What, were you. what were you saying? What were you saying? I was thinking we should do a jailhouse call. You should record it and get it up. We should talk about, you know, everything about the fans and everything, and then we should do the we Ramadan can't. challenge. We can't. Why? You know why. Who says I'm not, it's not being recorded by my mom. Okay. Right? Okay. 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 All right, yeah. we'll do that. You want to do it tonight, or you want, no, you want to do it? No, I'll do it on the next call. When I call in, you just start recording. So you can get all that good shit. You know, this is a call from a jail correctional so they have all that so they can jerk off to the T V screens with that shit. <laughs> Cause that's what, and I'm gonna talk about you know, that, what's going on and I'm gonna yeah. talk about you know, my strong jaw, my rigid back, <laughs> all that bullshit. I'm gonna talk about Hillbilly Redneck and how, you know, he's probably loving it, you know. Oh, he left comments and he's just like, Oh, I hate her voice and I'm like, oh, shut the fuck I didn't respond. He wants like yeah, he's like, I hate this bitch. Like, what? Yeah. So. Yeah. Anyways. So, yeah, just, yeah, so I figured that's what we would do, and then I would do the Ramadan challenge since today's the first day, you know, and and okay. talk about the Ramadan challenge, and then we'll do, like, an update every week if I'm not home. I don't know what the fuck's going on. So. Okay. I mean, so, okay, tell me, what, okay, first of all, do you want your family to have access to your, because somebody's been in your, I don't know the answer to that. I would need to talk to my mom. I don't like who is in it. Who's in it? Probably Leanda. You but know. why are they in it? Who knows? She wanted access today, and I told her she can have access, so she can keep track. I said, but you right, but you didn't say that. Yeah, but you didn't say this. Yeah, I don't know. Somebody's been going through all of your emails, like opening everything. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if you want me to change the password or what. No, no, no. There's nothing to hide there. That's There's nothing in that email box anyways. So. I know, but, I mean, I just want to make sure people aren't where they're not supposed to be. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'll talk to them. Also, the other thing is, is I, 
Did you talk to Amir about Wall? Because we need... I text... I, uh-huh, I'm listening. I text him, and when I sent him a text, I said, I said, you know, I talked to Justin, and he wants information, you know, he, I, about the stuff that he wanted. He never responded to that, so I'll ask him again today. Or maybe I, you need I, to call his Marie, because sooner or later, they're going to take him off suspension, and it's only two I know. weeks, okay. and we're running out of time, and we haven't done, I, I don't know what Amir has done. Maybe Amir has done everything. I don't know. Maybe he submitted the videos. We don't know. But I will call, I'll call Justin Wong and see what he has received. Plus, you need to give him. your statement. Uh, you you got to get that done before the two weeks is up, or else they're going to put him back no, on the road. Okay, you know? fine. Okay, just, yeah, I'm here already done. Okay, go ahead. And, um, and you need to verify that they... that they insisted on taking me to jail the other day, because they knew that it would put a wrench in this process. This has nothing to do with that. I don't know. The guy, Lieutenant Dillon, was there. Lieutenant Dillon's the I one don't... that wrote your best friend's motor t- tickets. I know who I know who these people are. You don't have to tell yeah, me. I know exactly who these people are. That's fucking ra- Vittler. So I know. None of this shit makes sense. I'm telling everyone. I know that. I'm telling everyone that the victim didn't write this. The victim didn't write that. She refused to cooperate, and they even say it in the report. And they're all like, "That doesn't fucking make sense. How this is still happening? How you got arrested?" I was, they're like, "Was she bleeding?" I was like, "No." Did she have marks or bruises? I said she might have had on her foot, but it wasn't. She, I mean, it wasn't that bad, you know. They're like, oh, you're you're getting railroaded, and it's. I mean, I know they're all jailhouse lawyers, but this is fucking. Um, um, well, should I tell them? Should I tell Ismery to have Amir come in and talk to you? I mean, you need to talk to him. He. he oh, listen. To pay for him, he's gonna charge me to come talk to me. I don't need to talk to him. I don't need him to come here. I need him to do his job. If he texts you and says, hey, I need him to call me, I'll call their office line, and they can then take a collect phone call. But if he doesn't need to talk to me, he's not going to tell, he's not going to come see me. There's no need for that. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'll, I'll call. What do you need your family to do? Because to my knowledge, they haven't done anything as far as telling him anything. My mom said that they talked to him and told him that I'm blue band and all that stuff, just like you. There, there's nothing oh. much. They, and they didn't. He didn't ask them for money right now. So they said when he asked. Is that yesterday? If they, uh, Sunday, Sunday. They said oh. if they if he asks, they'll they're okay with it, but it's gonna be a problem. But he hasn't asked. So and I'm not gonna push it with him. And I'm not. You don't need to say anything about money either. Let him just ask on his fucking own. You know. I didn't say anything. He just I brought know, it up. I know, it was like, I know. I know. I know. Of course, I'm not bringing up fucking money. Right. He just brought up that he's working for free again. I got it. Right. I know. I understand. That's what he likes to say, and he wants to feel the victim. And I don't mind him being the victim, and I'm going to pay him. It's not that I don't pay him. So he just knows that if he's not getting paid this second. So, anyway. What else do you want me to do? Just tell me now. Justin Wall. Yeah, we um, need to find out about that. You need you... to make it clear to Ismarie that there's a good chance that, you know, the suspension's about to end, you know? So... Okay, so. Do, I, do I text Amir or no, as well? Or just call her first? Either one you want. Just whatever you want to do, okay? What else? What else? What else? Am I, what else? That, that's it. That's it. That's okay. It. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, um, I'll call back in a second, and then we can record it, and I'll try to make it cool, try not to edit too much out, and we'll go from there. And how's the views doing on the other one you put up? I haven't checked it since last night. I just stopped looking at everything. I'm just too tired. You know, I know. I mean, it's... Have we heard anything about the money from them at all? No, I I will deal with it. I, I know. I know. Oh, okay. No, I understand. I understand. I understand. I'm not trying to be a pain. I want you... I don't... You asked me what else there was, and I'm just okay. these are things okay. in my head. So I'm sitting here looking at a wall, going, "How come we don't? We we probably have like three or four thousand dollars in fucking YouTube, and we can't get it out." Well, you know? it's not that much, but yeah, I know what you're saying. But what, what, what do you mean? It's estimated for 28 days at one thousand nine hundred dollars, one thousand eight hundred dollars for the last three months. I know. I don't know what's going on. I I fucking yeah. hate this. I fucking yeah. hate it. It's not like other sites where it's just black and white, you get paid. 
it's, right. it's fucking stupid. I think we have to update. We have to. Um, here's the other issue. You need to tell me what your first car was for BB&T. Yeah. What was your first car? Please. Uh, what? Car. Are you kidding me right now? No. Okay. All right. Because I have to log in to verify, so be, and then I have. To... It will be Tuts. It will be Egypt, and it will be police car. Mm-hmm. Okay. Those are the only questions I ever answer. Okay. Okay. I just, I get what you're trying to do, but I'm just a little nervous about that call. Which call? I don't want to, I don't want it to seem as though we're talking. I'll, I'll try to make it as clear as possible. But I just, I don't want you to get in trouble. Right. I hear you. We're, um, I mean... We're, we're, we're just, I'm not talking about a case, I'm talking about YouTube, so I don't think that matters, I don't know. So. Okay. Yeah. So, I, 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 if you want a call from, uh, I can't, uh, I don't know. It's what fine, I, I, don't I just, I want you, I, I, I understand what you're trying to do, I get it. I, just, I don't want to lose subscribers. We need our money. I need to get paid. We need some kind of front money coming in. All this is coming to an end real fast. You know, mommy's fucking, not going to help fucking, too much. So, you know, the family's not going to come together and pull money out of other investments that we have. They're just not going to do it, just like the last time. So, you know, this is this is a serious... And this, this weekend comes up, and I can't be home... You know, if it's a busy weekend, we're in trouble. You know, I, I don't know what to say. I'm not well, we only to have one so far, and no one else has contacted me, so. Well, Post will text you on Thursday. You said they have your number, right? Yeah, yeah, she has it. So, um, just one step at a time. That's all we can do. You know? Um, you know? We, we got one, but for some fucking, I don't, I don't understand what. Oh, I already told you it's the Daytona Beach. I don't understand that stupid shit. Just find a fucking... Yeah, it's the Daytona Beach. From, like, I don't know where to Daytona. It's just so... So dumb. Just get a fucking funeral escort company out there. I I, I don't know. Oh, Whatever. yeah, well, we need to make it happen, so... Um, we need to figure it out, that's all. All right? You need to get mm-hmm. and get somebody else. I don't know. Or how many it's worth. So you need to start looking into that now. So that way we have that squared away. I hear you, and I understand. Everyone gets an extra $10 on that. I understand that you're not going to do it because you're not going to drive the highway, even though you can take back roads. But, you know, that pretty much burns your whole day. So if there's no other mm-hmm. escorts, then take back roads and take your time. Get there when you can. But... I don't know what else to say. But we're not going to tell her we're not doing it, so we need to be there. Um, You know. Anyhow. What else can I do? I don't know what else to do. Just nothing, really. I mean, I got the, the candy and the coffee. I'm so happy. Of course, I can't eat and drink it right now, but I did yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So... Um, Were you able to take a bath and stuff? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been able to take a bath all the time, but I mean, now I have the soap and stuff, which is great. <gasps> did, so. did you get the soap? Yes. Oh, okay, that's good. Right. So, just that's one day fun. at a time, I was just okay. kind of hoping that Amir talked to you or something and told him he has a bond here or something. Oh, God. <sighs> I looked at when I, I don't see anything filed except for my declination. I mean, I will... Like I said, when we get off the phone, whatever, I'll call her, and then I'll text him. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I mean, is Marie, and then I'll text right. him. Yeah, because we need to know what to do about Wall before it's too late, because they only have two weeks or three weeks or something like that. So, <laughs> I'm sure the videos he, I, I don't know if he got them over or not, I don't know. But we need to make this priority, too, you know? It's like there's a lot of priorities that we have to keep our fingers on or else he's going to just come out of hiding, and he's going to come hard. So. Oh, our time is almost up. I don't... Are you sure you want to do this recording? Or do you want to think about it? It's up to you. 
I, I would like to do it. I mean, I'm, I'm not calling. You have one minute remaining. I'm not calling. But it has... I'm calling your phone number. I'm not calling Jennifer's phone number. I'm yeah. not breaking any rules. Yeah. So, I'm not telling you to go talk to Jennifer. So. Right. Um, I mean, if I told you to go talk to Jennifer and do this and this and that, that's freaking... Are you going to call me right back? Uh, i got to get in line, but yes, probably. Okay. All right? All right. right. Okay, bye. Bye. Please hold. Hello, this is a prepaid call from an inmate at the Orange County Corrections. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hey. Hey. Hello. Yeah. So I just spoke to Hey, I just spoke to Carol. I'm sorry, I'm trying to send emails and I gotta text your mom back too. Okay. Oh gosh. Um so I just talked to Caroline and she was working from home. She had her kids in the background too. Okay. Anyway. Um so I was just telling her uh well you know, she pretty much as soon as I said her name she knew exactly who I was and what what was going on. And so um she was saying that um she said I told her everything I'd done, you know, as far as phone call you know, voicemails, emails Jacqueline, you know, she's like, there's pretty much nothing else you, she's like, you can do right now. She said it's pretty much up to uh, Mr. Dan. And she was saying, um, he's, she's like, she, she's like, I know he's working on um, the, filing the motion to set a new bond. So that's the first motion he's working on, uh-huh. is to set the new bond. She said to get you out of there. So I don't know what she meant by that, but she said that will get him out of there. That's what she's saying, out of 33rd. Okay. Um, so she said to file the motion to set the new bond. She said she's like it will not take him very long. She said I know he's he's working on that right now, and it will be filed very soon. So it sounds like it's going to be today or in the morning. She said he's uh-huh. working on that right now. She knows that. Um, and she was just saying, um, do you want me to have him call you back? I said sure. He never does, but um, she was like, yeah, I'll have him call you back. But she's like, I know um, that that's the first thing he has to do. She said to get him out of thirty third. Um, that's how she said it, thirty third. And then she said, um, uh, he's filing a motion very soon. I okay. guess it's complicated not complicated, but I guess he has to you know, he it has he's to be. put it all together. Plus he's got right. to on from all Ceola. Right, all exactly. The- and the, and the, and when I talked to him yesterday when he was saying that he had reached out to the bail bonds over the weekend, that I already knew he was working hard. He doesn't have to work on the weekend. Right, he could have right. been like, Fuck this good, I'll wait until Monday morning. The fact right. that he reached out to him over the weekend. Oh, and I also told her, I said, listen, I understand, you know, there's an issue with money. I Maybe I shouldn't have said anything, but I, I said, I understand. But anyways, go ahead. There's an issue with money, I said, but I, under, I, 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 said, and I have to make it clear that I, you know, whatever. I said, I'm talking to his family only. His family's talking to me. We're communicating. And if they have to, they are willing to, you know, put something, you know, shouldn't towards. At all right now. But okay, whatever. Anyways, go on. I have to. Okay. I have to get you out of there. Right. I understand, but they're not willing to do that if it's not necessary. So if it's not okay. necessary, let's not do that, and let's not okay. buy right. that. Okay? Okay. All right. I'm okay. sorry. I'm I not... have my money. I have my credit card. They know that I'll do that. So just like Do you also, have money on there? Uh, it doesn't matter. We'll figure it oh. out like I always do. Okay. okay? So, I'm sorry. I was not, just Okay. Trying... I'm not upset. I'm not upset. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm not upset. What about anything? Of, did you tell her that uh, you need to talk to Amir about a wall? About wall? Yes, I did. That part she kind of like blanked out on. She was just like that part. But I think you should just con- you know once he contacts you or if you want to email him about it because that that is obviously that's not their priority. From what oh, I got I from her, is not that was not the priority. This is something that she knew about, so that's a good sign because I guess he had been talking to her about it. But the other stuff, I mean, I guess. I don't. I, I'm, I'm assuming if I know Amir, I don't really know him, but he's in contact with Austin. Austin Moore is his go-to person, and he knows what's going on there. Obviously, they know where you are. So, it's, I mean, but I'm emailing this guy right now. Um, Who, Wall? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, you can do an interview. I don't know why you didn't. You just need to record it. I will. I told, and I told him I will. Yeah. I mean, you you already told me everything. I mean, the only thing you can't forget is that you you heard me say that he's following us. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's the right. most important. Though everything else, even if you accidentally forget to say something, that's the least. It's on video. If they want right. to know what happened before when we got on the highway to when he I turned mm-hmm. my camera on. That's what they want to know. And I told you how he was waiting for us and following us. You you even repeated that to me multiple times. So I mean, right. you know. 
and that's why you were so shocked that he was lighting us up. You know, so it's right. That's 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 what they want to know about. They don't want to hear any of that other shit. They already have it on video from his mind, Reeves. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right. But and also the stuff about your favorite attorney. I'm definitely gonna say that. My favorite attorney. Yeah. Okay. That guy, Mike. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you talk about how that video and that evidence went missing, hell yeah, yeah, you, I I don't, Mm -hmm. I don't want him to get in trouble at all, but God fucking damn it, if that's not, if that just doesn't show corruption, and they made him Mm -hmm. do that. You know they're talking about Cancy now, right, now they're saying that, like, (laughs) um, that fucking loser, Jay Horowitz, I said that, um, in in a video, yeah, in a video, I said he's a fucking loser. Um, because now they're trying to say, like, me and the sheriff's officers are working together. What is wrong with these people? Okay, You're the if one the sheriff's the- office is working together with you, then wouldn't that, wouldn't that mean maybe you should shut the fuck up and quit talking? You know, not you, I mean, real, you know, them, you know what I'm saying, real world. Oh, oh, they think they, they think they can go off, go after the sheriff's office now. They don't know what, they think because they're in another state or whatever that they're safe. They don't understand the sheriff's office will fucking tear them apart. You're going basically for like Nina's under, like the guy underneath yeah, him, yeah, his so, friend. And you might want to back said, the fuck up. Even I've said over yeah. and over, <laughs> Nina and, and Candy's and, and the sheriff's office is fucking right. great. It's three, four deputies that are fucking out of control right. that are rogue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Somebody, somebody left a comment about that. And I said, I said, if he thinks he can go after the sheriff's office, and go unscathed and have no issues, I said, good luck with that. I said, best of luck with that. That's not something you want to play with. Like, you can deal with Riddler and Ramsey, but when you start going up, you know, up the tier, up the the ladder, yeah, they're not even involved. Yeah, exactly. I I know where it stopped. I guarantee it it stopped at the captain or the major. Right. I guarantee Mm -hmm. you it stopped at the captain or the major, and it never got past the captain or major to operations major, to the operations under sheriff. Because if it would have got to the undersheriff, the operation undersheriff, and then to Candy's and or Demings, or, uh, 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 what's her name? Um, shit. It doesn't matter. We, Demp, have, we don't have time Demp, for that. Demp. Her name's Demps. <laughs> it it, it would have got to, uh, to, to Mina, because as soon as I talked to his lieutenant, they were fucking calling. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, no. But I already know. Somebody in the motors division let them get away with murder, basically. Mm-hmm. What in mm-hmm. the fuck? They have people in deep scrub clothes coming into the... Ho- to the Are dog, they scrubbing everything? Dog. What's going on? They're fucking... They're... they're what Are they coming for you? No, 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 no. They're going for that guy. Um, they're... Um, they're going to take him out of there. Not, no, they're not taking him out. They just brought him in. But he's going yeah. into another room. Yeah, he's in another room, but they're hazmat dressed. Anyways, so he's getting out. We'll see. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I was like, I was like, that's that's a completely different type of beast. You think you have issues now? You think you've gotten away with shit? They will come after you. They, right. That's that's. It's not because it's not about like oh, it's the sheriff's office. The sheriff's office has too many connections to the mayor and this person and that person who will fucking tear you apart. Right. I don't think that's what you want to do. Yeah, you'll they'll get a cease and assist with that kind of shit. Oh yeah. 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 So and yeah. then when I'm begging for help, they might be willing to help. So mm-hmm. but anyways, as long as we can get Wall squared away and we can get her squared away. Yeah, that's all I care about. That's all. <laughs> you yeah. can get the video up today. You know, I'm wondering what Jennifer's probably gonna say. She'll probably be like, Oh my god, he's putting videos up without my permission but you know, <laughs> she'll understand too. She'll understand. I fucking too. hate you. You do know that, right? I do. I, I know. Hate you? <laughs> I know. It's, I, it's, it, if it wasn't for the fact that she's a pain in the ass and I care about her, I, you know, it is what it is, though, you know, but you just got to get the video up for her, you know, or for me, and that way, you know, I don't have to talk to her. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. But anyway. I know. Yeah, I know she misses you and she loves you a lot. Yeah, well. So. I know. And she hasn't really been eating, so she'll probably be skinny again, which you hate, so. Mm-hmm. Crackhead bitches. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'll be fucking phone calls don't end up on the internet. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm fucking over all of this shit, dog. I'm done with it. Yeah. What's our what's our views at? What's our subscribers at? Show me before I go. Uh, I I I don't. Oh, hold on. I don't wanna. Hold on a second. Uh, hold on. Jennifer used to tell me um, like every day, like fifteen times a day. I have to pull mm, it from you, like pulling teeth. Seven thousand eight hundred thirty-one. You almost got. Ah, you're going going to the beach soon, bro. <laughs> I thought that was. <laughs> and that video long. that video got nine thousand in like one day. Wow. Right. You understand yeah. that you told me yesterday it was at 7,600, and now it's at 7,800, so you gained 200 people yeah. in one day? Yeah, Bro. yeah, yeah. Because they thought it was over. They're like, oh, that's over. It's like, no, you forgot. One crazy still on the loose. Right. <laughs> so. crazy, crazy cycle on the loose. Crazy cycle on the loose. <laughs> yeah. One guy was like, sexy voice, batshit crazy. I'm like, what? Thanks. What is wrong with these people? They're haters. Oh. Haters. I know, I know. Haters. haters and then, oh hate my god, the women, hate. the women that have been fucking cheated on. Oh my god. They're probably like, like if you she should, deserves it. She deserves oh, it. Oh yeah. Some bitch was like, some bitch was like, you need to be in prison. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> she was going on and on, and I wanted to be, and I'm probably, I'm going to say it at some point. Like, if you spent more time in the bedroom than on the internet, maybe he wouldn't have cheated on you. I'm just saying. Just a thought. Yeah, listen, dog, you got to calm what down with fuck? that. What the fuck? Can't, can't, pour, can't ruin housewives' views, especially <laughs> if there are subscribers. They'll quit me. She's not a subscriber. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, one of the things we need to start doing is you need to start giving me, um, comments of the day, you know what I'm saying, and giving me their names so I can shout out their names. i got to start shouting out their names. Oh, okay, deal. okay. You know what I'm saying? I forget to do yeah, that. Yeah. I always forget. I get going. I get on these rants, and that wasn't too bad, like seven minutes, eight minutes. I should have went. No, I thought it was going to be long. Yeah, I was going to say, now I'm like, now I have to stretch out the video, but yeah. I well, thought I mean, it was I, can, really I can call back and try to add some real fast, but I don't think, I don't know what else you want me to say. You need to find out what's going on with the house. I wish my mom still worked at the jail, because... Mm. Um, she was actually an RN at the jail. She probably would have been the one giving you your fucking medicine, yeah. so she could tell me what the fuck is happening. Well, you could record. I could record. I say I'll say that I can say some stuff real fast, and you can just like. Yeah, like two minutes. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, never mind then. Unless you want to call back, I'm not. I'm not doing a video today, by the way. Why not? God, no. you're lazy. The, the oh Jennifer, my God. I know. The Jennifer on the other. <laughs> Listen, that bitch was on it, like you like fucking going out of style. Well, you're, I can't pay you like I pay her. I can't. I won't. That's bullshit. You mean dust and and pennies? Is that what you mean? Whatever you want to say, whatever you want to say. At least Jennifer does her job. That's all I gotta say. Shit. I want to. I want to hookah so bad. Like I just want to like. I, I want to hookah so I, bad too. I need a cigar. I, I am that. so grateful now. Like, I, I, I feel like I wasn't grateful for what we had. And now I'm just like, holy shit, I would give anything mm -hmm. to just, like, have that. Right. <sighs> I can try to call back, but I don't know. I'll get in line, but I don't It's know. okay. No, no, no. It's okay. Just call me later. It's okay. You don't have to oh, rush. Okay. I, I want you to put figure out what's... Lazy-ass motherfucker. Lazy, 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 lazy. No, but I want you to figure out what's... I wish... I only know one person in there, and I don't fuck with that bitch anymore. That's my son's brother. Well, they're, stri they're stripping their, their gear right now, so. They, they probably were cleaning out his room and shit. No, 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 no. They locked him in there permanent. Oh, he's in his own room. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, I was, like, are, I was like, how are they going to put them with you? That's a lawsuit. That's why I was like, how the fuck? I can't believe they're putting them in the same dorm, period. Yeah. Lottie. They probably don't have room. They probably don't that, have any that's else to put That's one of the biggest in. issues that they're having right now. Yeah. So. That's why they need to release you. I fully agree with that. They let niggas go for fucking gun charges and shit and letting them go. Giving them wow. a fucking armed robbery with a mask and shit. They're all kinds of crazy shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what's the sweet one you ordered me again? Cho chocolate, chocolate. He likes that. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Did he tell his his people to order it? <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Well, you should be getting another one. I think if you have one minute remaining. Yeah, your your mom is sending you another one, so yeah, you'll be getting another I big only chocolate. Give me a week. I think it's so. at five. That's what I was told. But then what's even funnier is I ordered canteen yesterday, 
And mm-hmm. apparently, since this is my first time being this far, I didn't know what mm-hmm. I was doing, and I ordered one of everything. I didn't order the 12 of everything. So I thought I was going to have food, and now I don't. So I don't know what I'm going to do for Ramadan. It's a little a little scary right now, but I'm not worried about that. If Amir can get the motion in this week, that's all I fucking care about. You have to eat, though. I, I feel like you can ask Allah for forgiveness. Yeah, well, I don't want to. He's he doesn't right. want you to be a fool, remember? God doesn't He's want you to be a up. fool. That's true, okay. but at the same time, he already is going to make me pay for my mistakes. If I get home, that's my that's my gift from him. So. Yeah. All right. All right, honey. I'll call, call you. Call me back if you can. All right. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hey, what's Hello? going on? Hey. Hey, I'm sorry I missed you. I was on the phone with. I was on the phone with them for an hour. I didn't even expect I, to be on the phone with them that long. Sorry, I figured that. I figured that. I figured that. So what's the story? Okay. So I already talked to Amir about it. He, okay, let me, okay. So just let me explain to you what's happening. Uh, that's so, not, um, that already is not good, but go ahead. Okay. So I talked to Michelle and, which, um, what should we call it? Sorry, I shouldn't call her that. Aaron. First thing they said to me was, um, you know, they were they were very nice, very very nice to me. They're like, you know, just make sure you're not recording. We know some people got. Into, I said, I'm not going to record you. Don't worry. They're like, and we're just asking. You know, we know about your vlogs. I'm like, what in the? Even they watch it. <laughs> they're like, we know. So can you please just keep our names? I said, I would never do. Like, I would never put your. You know. So even they know about the YouTube. So everybody fucking knows about it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so long story short, sorry. So when I was talking to them, they were saying, well, they would, you know, they have to get the whole, pa- they've gotten some of it from OPD. Um, they would have to, it's on um, Michelle's desk right now, but it literally has COVID on it, meaning the person in the state attorney's office who is handling it has COVID. So um, obviously that person's not there anymore. She has to go and get it, but they have to do like a special procedure or whatever to get it out. Of the, do you know what I'm trying to say? I don't know. What the, I've never been around anyone with COVID, so I don't know. So it has COVID on the, our forms. And so so then she was saying, um, she was like, well, you know, I saw your declination. And she's like, and then I obviously I'm looking at their report. She said, I know you didn't make a report. She said, but um, it's, you know, obviously it's completely different. She's saying, um, you know, you made a sworn statement. Um, it was notarized. Um, she's saying ethically, I don't even know if I can move forward with it. She's saying, but here's the issue. She's saying, but if I can move forward with it, she says, I get all, you know, the, she, because she hasn't heard the 911 call and all the other stuff. She's like, I get all the body camera stuff and I feel like it's enough to move forward. She's like, then I'm not really sure what to do. But she's like, right now, I'm still, I'm not sure if I have enough to even file. She was saying, but if she did, and she, she was supposed to talk to Amir today. I don't know if she actually did. He told me he would let me know. Um, she was saying, "What?" Um, I she said, "You know, he has like one of two options basically." She said, "Do you think he would do um, like a like a 26 week batters intervention?" You know, even though she knows what I said, she knows what I'm saying. She knows that I did a declination and what the declination says. Um, she's also looking at their their report and versus mine. She's saying, if I don't have enough to, or if I have enough to file, would he do it? I said, well, I'm not even going to get into that. That's the first thing I said. I said, I can't get into that. I'm not going to say yay or nay. I'm not his attorney. I, you would have to, I said, I don't know what he would do. I said, that is, that would be him admitting to, even if it was just like, okay, you take it, you do this, and then you're, you're out. It, wouldn't it be you know, him admitting to a new crime or something? I said, I, I don't even think he would do something. Like, I don't, I don't, I said, you know, and I and I was nice about it. But I was like, it's kind of unfair to kind of, you know, ask me what he would or wouldn't do in the legal sense. And then she was saying, well, what if we do something where he agrees to that and he's released and we, I, I file something where everything is reset, all of his bonds are reset, um, and he has no hostile contact with you. She, so she, she was just basically just talking aloud and just saying what she would offer and what she would, you know, tell Amir if she's able to file anything. I don't know if she's able to because she's saying ethically, if I'm saying this on paper and then the cops are saying something else, she doesn't even know if she can move forward. So, I mean, obviously there's way more to that because we talked for an hour, but um, I spoke to Amir after and I told him and he was like, no, he said, we're not doing um, the, the program. 
um, he was saying, I, he said, like, I get what she's what she's trying to say. He said, I would have to hear it from her. I said, I know, obviously, the way I speak, I'm, you know, it's not always clear. Um, I know what I heard, but I, I can't always explain it well. She, and he was like, that's fine. He's like, don't worry about it. He's like, I, I, I kind of understand what she's saying, that she doesn't know if she has enough to even file, but if she does, she's basically going to offer him something where he can just hurry up and get out. I said, yeah, that's basically what she's what she's doing. So he said he would talk to her and that he would talk to me and let me know what was going on. But I don't know. I know he had a lot of stuff. He said he had a lot of stuff in the courts today. So that probably didn't even happen today as far as, like, maybe them even having a long So I'm not bonding out this week. I'm not getting out this week. That's not what I'm saying. No, what, that's what, what we're saying. You, that's, that's what we're saying. How did you get that? How did you it, how did you get that from what I said? Because she didn't <laughs> drop the charges, and he didn't say that he filed the motion for bond. That's those are the only that's two what, things. No, 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 no. You didn't actually. That's not what he said. He said no matter what. He said I'm going to I'm going to move forward with reset the the bond hearing. He said I he said I'll you know I, I'll talk to her. He but he said no matter what I'm going to go ahead and just move forward with that. Yeah, That's when are said. we moving forward with that, though? That's the whole, I mean, what, he keeps saying, I'm going to move forward. Today's Wednesday. When is he moving forward? You know? I can, um, I'll reach out. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, he did say that. I, I, can't, I wish I could record, you know, I can't record people, but that's, that's one thing he did say. He said, I, you know, I'm, I, I understand what she's trying to say, but I'm going to just move forward with this, with the resetting of the, the bond. Right. I mean, what do you think about that? I don't understand why it's like that because I, I, I don't know. I don't get it. Well, she's saying ethically she may not be able to. I mean, I guess when you're a lawyer, just like when you're a doctor, there's certain things that if you can't prove, like if it's, if it's not, you know, clear, then you can't move forward. If someone's saying it didn't happen, then you can't move forward based off of just what the cops say. Right, I understand. But yeah. one of the things that the female said to me after oh, they no. took me away from Jennifer was she made a statement oh. on the video camera. And I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I wasn't there. So she said, I don't have to have her write it on paper. She said it on video. And I was like, well, I don't know anything about that. So that's exactly what I was told. So I don't know. Well, that's a, that's a cop versus an attorney. Like, come on. They're, they're cops. I mean, not uh, saying that they're stupid people, but... They're, what they have to, what they have to prove is probable cause. That's it. What an attorney has to prove is beyond a reasonable doubt. That is much more difficult. Right. That's not. That's why a lot of cases when they when they get to a courtroom they never really get there <laughs> because it's so hard to prove it. And that's what she's trying to say. Is I don't even I, know if I can file on this. Right. I understand. I mean. Right. I I, I thought that because the declaration was done from Jennifer that it would automatically yeah. automatically be we're not moving forward like well like it does cause time. an issue it causes a problem 100% for her sure. that's what she yeah. said mm -hmm. well I don't I don't know then I mean whatever Amir says and whatever she comes when is she supposed to reach back out to you um they were saying on Monday mm. yeah. okay I mean, I don't know what you want me to, I don't know what to do. I, I don't, I mean. There's nothing to do. I'm stuck here until Monday. And if not longer, I mean, Monday will be when everyone starts listening. No, she, uh, no they listen to me. They talk to me for an hour. No, I, I, I get that. I get that. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I get right. that. Monday will be, she'll have the evidence and she'll make her decision. And for mm -hmm. some reason, I, I know Amir said he's filing to move forward, but it's Wednesday. So, I mean, unless he files today or, or tomorrow for Friday or Monday, I, it's next week, no matter what, or maybe later. So, I uh, mean, I could ask, I mean, I don't, are you, are you saying you don't know why he's, I don't know what he's doing. I, I just know that he said he, he's going to go ahead and move forward with his motion. I did, I do know that when we talked that day, the day that everything happened, he said that, like I told you, if he doesn't get it right the first time, then... Um, no, I, I understand. So it, it's, it's different from guys that are in there for one thing and one thing only, and, and or two things or two things only. You have a, a more complex case, obviously. So, um, 
you know, if he gets it wrong. I get that, and I'm stuck fucking in here because of this. And I'm counting the days before they move me to the main jail with the main problems that are floating around. Right now I'm in a COVID lockdown, hoping Mm -hmm. I'm not getting COVID. And then in a, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to have to move to the main with the other blue vans that are killing people for fun because I have so mm-hmm. many charges, not because I'm a, a violent person. So. Would you, would you accept that, what she was oh, saying, no. or no? I'm not going to accept anybody's deal. Okay. I mean, what if one of the biggest problems, there? one of the biggest problems that we keep running into, one of the biggest fucking problems we keep running into, because mm-hmm. I heard Jennifer say it in the courtroom over and over, is that we're mm-hmm. still dating, and that's one I of the never biggest said, no, fucking no, no one ever, problems. Mm-hmm. Jennifer keeps saying, and she said to the judge that we're dating on and off for three years, instead of saying we okay. dated before, and I haven't dated okay. him in a long time. Well, I, well, I know that they never asked her that question okay. on the phone today. That right. never came up. So I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, dear. All I know is I'm sitting here and I'm. I'm just. I'm just stuck here. And shit's falling apart everywhere. So. I don't want you there. Obviously, I want you home. I mean, sure, do you right want. Now. As far as a mirror, what do you want me to do? I mean. Uh, the only thing I. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he was back. saying, well, he'll catch up with her, you know. He said it like, okay, well, um, you know, he he sounded a little relieved that, you know, that she was the one that's – because she's – she, I guess, has made it her case. Obviously, she's not going to be the prosecutor because she is too high up now. But I guess she's going to oversee all of it. Mm-hmm. So. Well, I mean – um, the only thing I would ask from Amir is, is when does he think we're going to be seeing the bond hearing? Or when are we filing that motion? You know, just a, mm-hmm. a, a time, a rough time frame. Is it going to be this coming week? You know, um, yeah. I can ask him tomorrow. Yeah. I mean, I'll. Yeah, I can ask him tomorrow. Okay. So, I'm, I'm guessing that's all. That's really what you want is just to. Um, Go ahead and, and reset everything. What do you mean reset? No, I want to get the fuck out. No, no, but that's, isn't that what it is? It's resetting the bond? No, I want that charge dropped too, obviously. Oh, I mean, yeah, but I mean, that's what he was saying. That's what he the said. The priority is getting home. I, I oh. know that. I, 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 I know what the priority is. And he was saying, you know, obviously having it dropped would be the best situation, but he was, you know, that's what he was saying to me today. Because um, he told me, I texted him this morning, and I, you know, like I told you, and I said, um, I, I have that, con- or Jennifer has that conference with a uh, phone conference, and he said, okay, he texted me right back, and he said, you know, call my office and tell them, um, you know, tell them, uh, t- have you uh, go through. <sighs> mhm. I know. I know. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. Sorry. So, um, I'm, we're trying. I mean, I, I just I, I want you to come home. I I I understand what you're saying, but I I would just do I would just do it. I I would do whatever you can to come home. Do you not understand that means a conviction on my record for domestic battery? What aren't you getting? I do get it, but I want you to come home. No, I don't think you do. A conviction for a crime that I didn't commit. Okay. Last time I took it to that, I ended up getting fucked for years for my life. I understand, but this is different. No, it's not like, different. I... No, it's not different. A mm-hmm. conviction is a conviction. Accepting of a conviction is a con- accepting a conviction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. What are you, insane? No, I'm not insane. For something that never should have fucking happened in the first place? No, I'm not insane. I'm just saying that... So you want to come? I don't know what to do. I, I don't know. That's why I said. I, that's why I said to her, I can't. I can't answer for anyone. You have to talk to his attorney. I. I can't answer for it. That's not. You, know. you have one minute remaining. You call me back. Uh, I can't. I got to get in line, hun. You, the thing is, 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 is like, like you 
telling Amir's attorney's office that my family's willing to pay and this and this. Nothing has changed. Mm-hmm. Nobody's taking deals. Nobody's making payments. Nobody's doing a okay. fucking thing until I get home. Okay. Okay, I didn't say anything. I didn't uh, say you would take anything. I, I didn't it, say that. Okay, honey. Just relax. Just relax. I, I just... I... It, just calm I, down. We'll just, I'm sorry. Let's just start over when you call back, okay? Okay. I'll okay? try. All right? Okay, hon. All right. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. This is a free call from... James. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Okay. Hello? Yeah, I don't know what that was. Did you hear what it said? Yeah, I don't know. No third party? Yeah, so we should be careful. What did you say? You so. think they, mon- they literally monitor this mm-hmm, shit? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I told you that. So, but um, that's what he was wow. saying was, you know, we keep moving forward and it's going to be, he's like, you don't realize how good of it is going to be for you if you can just stay out of trouble. He's like, yeah. it's going to be, it's going to, obviously he knows something that he's not telling me. Cause he well, knows. Well, of course it's great. It was amazing. It, it, we were on a great, I guess, traje- trajectory. I don't How do you say that? Trajectory? trajectory there yeah. you go. There you go. <laughs> a great path. And mm-hmm. it's just, we still are. We just need to fix this. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. What are they saying? Nothing. The guy is fucking coming off of drugs, and he's fucking real bad. Hey, Sarge, he's real bad. He's coming off of something. Is he seizing? So, yeah. Oh, wow. Anyways. I'm sorry to see that. Yeah, I'm fucking having the COVID and all this shit, though. Hopefully I don't get COVID in the next two months, two weeks, or whatever. Shit, don't stop saying months, please. I'll just, I don't know what I'll do then. I don't, I'll just lose my mind. Mm-hmm. Um, your mom said, oh. Well, Redhead, somebody said that they called Amir, or they texted Amir last night, and he didn't respond. I said, well, I know Amir stays out late and wakes up late. Not late, but you know what I'm trying to say? Right. So I wouldn't take it personally. Yeah. And she was kind of offended. So. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah he, he didn't respond to anyone. He only responded to the call this morning. Which was pointless anyways, because they were, did what they were going to do anyways. Although you guys left here and went straight there and did your thing. so Yeah, I mean, it was still good to have the representation. Mm-hmm. You know? I mean, I think I think he kind of gave up. I was kind of hoping he would say more, but I think he realized, okay, this this person has already made up their mind. Yeah, and that's what he I'm said. Not. He's like at yeah. that point I already knew, so he's like it wasn't it was pointless. When he when he started naming off all of your cases, I that's when I was like, did you see me kind of put my head down? Mm. I was like, okay, we're done. Yeah. I was like, we're done. We're done. Yeah. Doing nothing else to say at this point. He's just this kind point. of showing off stuff. So. Hopefully we can get in front of Roach and Carson. I don't even know if they have to if I have to get in front of them because I don't need to leave here. I think Amir just has to go in front of them or have some that's kind of virtual thing. hearing. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. When I say yeah. we, I mean like yeah. whoever's over the case, whoever's handling it, whatever hearing it. Let me is. let me explain something to you though in very good okay. detail. This okay. is my one and only time. If they fix this and I get arrested for anything else, mm-hmm. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? So you have to leave that house. You can't stay in that house. Uh, I don't know how that's going to work. But you hear what I'm trying to say to you? I I do. Anything. Anything at all. And by the time I get out, my license will be suspended, so I need to take care of that, like, immediately. 
you know. How do I do? So what do I? Um, we have to go down. What do we do? Yeah, I'll have to call them. The registration's at my house. So. Which house? My house. Oh my God! So yeah, they have to go get it. They're gonna have to go get it Saturday. So. Um, they have to. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I mean, it's not like you can go anywhere, any you know, right now anyway. But that's not good. It's in the <laughs> in the drawer in the nightstand next to the couch. Yeah, let them go. Let them. I don't know if they can. Can they take care of that for you? No, I don't know how that works. Mm-hmm. I don't know. You might have to start taking stuff from the house too. I don't know about that either. Like I'm just saying, like files and stuff. You might have to start doing that. I don't have any files. You don't have birth certificate, social security. Oh yeah, it's all in the lockbox. Yeah. I'm just saying. Anyways. Maybe you don't think you've gotten to that point, and maybe you've gotten to that point. <laughs> so. I don't know. Shit, they're moving us. So yeah. Okay. You need to get that all phone right. number, but. Okay. Um, you put money on the phone, though, right? Didn't you say that? Yeah, but I'm not the new one. Oh, okay. Not the new number. All right, all right. No, the old number. The number we're on now. Yeah, I know. I... No, no, no. No, I didn't. Not, I didn't put anything on this one. Oh, okay. All right, then. Yeah, yeah. you might as well go ahead and switch it. Because they're moving yeah. me right now. So, all right? Okay. All right. All right. Bye. I, I know. I know. All right. All right. Bye. Thank you for using. Hello. Hello. This is a free call from... Thanks. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hey. Hey, what's happening? So obviously, she picked up, so I talked to her. So she was yeah, questioning you... me about how my mom knew all this information. So, you know, need to okay, maybe, and maybe need to send another text saying something like, "Hey, it's choke" or some dumb shit like that. I don't know. What well, does it matter who sends it? Listen, I can't talk about that on the phone because, you know, we'll end up on the air. So. Yeah, you sound like you just got into a huge argument. I can tell from your voice. Yeah. So, listen, we've got to get this up as a sneak peek. Or not as a sneak peek. I know. Peak, as I'm a, trying. I know. It's going to be a sneak peek. Mm-hmm. No, not even a sneak peek. You put all the audio that you recorded when I was on the road. You put all the audio when he was making the arrest. Put all the audio that I've said already. and then And then put that email out there. And then yeah. get that shit up. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Because, and then, like I said, use wherever you find the video of me at Blue Jacket Park where he's standing right next to me with my pepper ball on and never says anything. There's even a part in the video where he says to me in the video, oh, it's just a pepper ball. You're not in trouble. You're not being arrested. It's less lethal. I want that. I know he says that. Okay. So and then let's put it out. Let's put it out as soon as I know you're busy. I know you've got shit. But well, no, it's just you're, you're calling me, and I love talking to you. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, mm-hmm. you're calling me. <laughs> All right. Um, did you talk to your mom? No. Why? She won't answer. So. Interesting, because she was texting me. I'm not going to say what the texts were, but she was just texting me about. You know why would they do that and this and asking all kinds of questions. So, mm-hmm. which is weird. Well, you just like said I said, the same I said, thing. She's like, "What?" I said, "Yeah." He's saying I was hiding it in my pants because it was. He's saying it's concealed, and she's like, "No, but you don't have a gun." And I was like, "I know." And she's like, "But you carry it in plain view. You left your on your hip." And I was like, "I know." And she's like, "This is mm-hmm. not right. This is wrong." And I said, "I know." That that's the whole point. He's lying. He's saying it's a probable cause warrant or a probable cause to file charges, you know. Um, Did you ask him if his wife was leaving him? That's what I would have asked. I forgot to ask him. But, yeah. It says, says, um, felons and delinquents' possessions of firearms and ammunition or electronic weapons or devices unlawful. But... I'm not carrying a taser. Okay, we shouldn't talk about this. We shouldn't talk about this. Right. Do you want me to read what it says? on the? You can read what it says. Sure, go ahead. He says, Jeremy unlawfully carried on his possession a concealed weapon 
possessing a tear gas gun or chemical weapon or device, and Jeremy Dwight has been convicted of a felony, blah, 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 and approximately 2, 945 while traveling eastbound on I-4 um, from OBT when I observed two BMW motorcycles uh, with riders that mirrored light. Here he is with this beer old bullshit. It copied and pasted. Where's the blue and purple light? Yeah, yeah, the blue and purple. Um, with mirrored law enforcement uh, uh, with riders that mirrored law enforcement traveling eastbound on I-4. What's funny is in his body camera, he says to me, he said, I saw two Metro State guys get on the road, and I was like, oh, let me see if they have a gun. That's exactly what he says on his body camera to me. Yeah. So you knew we You're were Metro. Fishing. You knew, yeah. and you said yourself that I was going to look. So we need those body cameras because that right and there. I'm not one. Who else is motor one? No one else ever. Right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Approached 408 uh, Expressway. Man, he was following us for a while. The riders were mm. wearing the following. You see, and what's funny is, is he followed us from John Young and, I mean, uh, I-4 and OBT, where we got on. Mm. Uh, that's where he followed yeah. us from. Okay? Mm. At no time does he ever say we were speeding or illegally changing lanes. So... The riders were wearing the following highlighter yellow polo shirts with with uh, screen print markings, police-type style badge, shoulder patches, words, sleeves consisting of protection officer, which none of us have anything that says protection officer on our motor mm-hmm. uniforms. Those are only for the protection unit. Um, right, the motor officer, mm-hmm. motor unit, uh, Metro State Protection Services. I don't have protection services on my uniform. How can he read these things if he didn't know it was me and he didn't know it was a pepper ball? Um, the motor wing insignia, which is in the front, so I'm a little confused how he didn't realize that since he was only from the side of us, um, in scenario used by law enforcement, identifying them as part of the motorcycle unit. Um, the wing, the wing, the wheel wing, and the arrow through it in patches. Uh, also used by law enforcement, identifying the individual as a motor officer. The defendant was wearing two sets of black stars, but I'm not wearing black stars. I was wearing silver stars. He just copy okay. and pasted whatever he had. Right. Okay, let's not talk about what you were wearing and what you weren't wearing. Like wearing, just stop. Stop saying that kind of stuff. Well, they took pictures, and they're going to just post it. So. Yeah, we'll Which in the military... Uh, represents okay. two star general. I know, I, I know. <laughs> he says in the, I in the report. I, no, I don't have to read it. He says the exact. I want you to see the bluish purple light. Hurry up, that's my favorite. Hurry up. Mm, no, it, it doesn't have anything what? about the lights. Uh, <laughs> bulletproof vest, gun belt, <laughs> uh, handgun, or pepper ball gun. Um, mm. It says uh, flashlights, body warm cameras. We weren't wearing our body warm cameras. It was only on the helmet. Um, and it here, motorcycle. But did Ramsey get to touch your chest? That's the most important uh, part. Ramsey wasn't there. It was Reeves and not even, Okay. But not even in the interview room? He didn't even want to, not even a little bit? No, he didn't touch me. He didn't touch me. I, okay. I did ask him. I said, oh, you're having him take the handcuffs off? Uh, <laughs> he said, uh. The firearm was black in color and had the appearance of being a Glock, just like the Glock handgun I carry on my right side for law enforcement duties. Based upon previous encounters with Metro State, I know these riders were not law enforcement. Security guards were in the act of... Well, Choke actually is a security guard, but okay. Uh, I saw... I, I have arrested a Metro State employee carrying open carrying of a firearm... Uh, based upon facts, I conducted a traffic stop on the de- um, defendant for openly carrying a firearm. He says openly carrying a firearm. The defendant was then wait. The defendant was immediately secured for safety. During my investigation, I removed the firearm from the holster and could tell that it was nothing other than a, not a firearm. Um, Amir uh, emailed me. He said he talked to you, and he was asking for the uh, email, which I already sent yes. over. Just now, so. Yeah. There were no markings identifying the weapon or brightly colored orange tip, no brightly colored orange, yellow, or blue paint on the firearm to defend, differentiate the difference between a firearm or a weapon. It's not until I realized the magazine portion of the firearm that I discovered the firearm was actually a device 
um, capable of expelling chemical projectiles. There was no chemical balls in the magazine based upon my training of 32 years in law enforcement, narcotics, motors, uh, and working high crime areas. The defendant is intentionally concealing the fact that he's carrying a concealed, he's, he's intentionally carrying the weapon in a concealed manner uh, and not a firearm. This concealment is achieved by deliberately carrying a weapon that mirrors law enforcement. That's what he's saying. So he literally says it's in plain view. Mm. So I don't really yeah. understand that. I'm just, I just hope Amir goes in there and does what he does. Right. Which is make these people look like fools, basically. So. Right. I don't have anything else to do. Can nothing you get the charging do. affidavit online yet, or no? Mm, there is a case number, but probably not right now. Probably tomorrow tomorrow morning um, before your arraignment and it may be live then you want the case but number? I'm working on other things yeah I have a case number and everything yeah okay yeah huh it's yeah ridiculous it's, dude it is I don't I, I don't understand like the well, who cares where the information came from as far as like your family like as long as they have it and uh, they know what's going on with you that's not the conversation Oh, okay. Sorry. I can't believe this shit, dude. I and then they, they arrested me and towed everything and seized and, and confiscated all my gear. I know. I know. At least they didn't take my phone. I was like, oh my God, they're going to seize my phone again. Yeah, well, that's good. We don't have anything on there, though, do we? No, no, not on my phone. The thing is, is that SIM card is the one I grabbed off the desk. So I don't even know who's SIM card. Okay, that yeah, was. let's not talk about that either. Right, right. Mm-hmm. Well, are okay. you recording? Because that will be important. Because, I mean... I am recording. Okay, go ahead and say it then. I'm recording. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know whose SIM card that was when I pulled it off the desk. So they kept my camera. So, I mean, hopefully it was formatted. But I'm glad we didn't do other things on that camera. Mm. So... <laughs> I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to think right now. Um, I know. You have to stay there all day, basically, all night. Yeah, I have to stay here all day and all night, tomorrow. and then all day tomorrow, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This well, is if you're released, if you're, who's, do you want me to get you, or what do you want to do? And then just go to the we'll, office? We'll figure all that out when we get to that point. I know. I just, I mean, you know the jailhouse calls are going to get released. Come on. Not right now, though. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take a little bit of time. And that's only if, well, you know they're going to fucking try to get it. Orange County. Mm-hmm. 100%. And the state attorney's office. And then whoever he leaves. I, we don't even know who, we don't even know who has your cases. They don't even have anyone yet. No. I don't know. This is just a wreck, a mess. Yeah, we need to make Everything it very could, clear. Mm-hmm. Make it very clear that he's known that it's not illegal for me to carry it. I mean, that's yeah, what the email was saying, right? Yes. So, no, I, I, I can't even fathom. Let me read what it says. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me click it. It says, um, Sergeant, I talked to the supervisor of misdemeanors, and unfortunately, she didn't see anything illegal about Metro State guys open carrying the pepper ball gun. Let me know if you come up with any other ideas about dealing with the Metro State problem. Austin Moore. Right. So why did it go from a Mr. Mere open carry of a pepper ball gun to a concealed weapon carried by a felon? Right. Come on, dude. I want I to wear a jacket. That's why I insist when you guys wear your jackets. I know. You, you told me. A- you have you put to put it on sure the side. Put it around the weapon so your weapon's clear. They're calling me. So. Oh, uh, what does that mean? I gotta move to wherever they're gonna take me to whatever shithole I gotta spend for the next fucking 24 hours. So. Okay. Just call me when right. you can, okay? I love you. All right. Thanks. I gotta go. Bye. Bye. Please hold. Hello. Hello. This is a free call from. Hey. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hello. Hey. What's going on? 
I mean, I pretty much know everything. Your ticket is keeping me informed, so. Yeah, let's not get, let's not continue that information. So, I'm sure you can just keep that to yourself. All right. So. I mean, give the information to Rania. Yeah, just you know, Did, Ron, you already gave information yeah. to Rania, so you know, just make sure that you're advising us just an employee, because that's all yeah. that is. So. I understand. And did you talk to Rania? I talked to her once, but I can't get a hold of her again. Okay. So All right. I told her what's going on. I mean, even she's like, what the fuck? I mean... No. I don't know. I mean... He I... charged me with concealed, saying that it's, I'm hiding it, so that way he can get me a charge. So... But I mean, it's not a real it's not a real weapon. No shit. I know. It's not a real gun. And it wasn't concealed. I didn't even have my jacket on. Right. And even in my jacket I make sure and everyone knows my rule. If you have a baton on or a less lethal and you're wearing a jacket, you better make sure your jacket is properly tucked around it so it is in plain view. So you yeah. are not in violation. I Were that you with somebody you. else at the time? Yeah, yeah of course. They didn't he was right, right next to me, yeah. We're they did or the they road. didn't? Huh? Did they arrest him too? No, no, uh -huh. no. So <clears throat> we were cruising down I-4. I read the charging affidavit. No, he was following me from my office. He said he just happened to be driving down I-4 near OBT where we got on, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, he followed yeah. us all the way down to um, almost Maitland. And... Um, because he's working the new aggressive, high-risk, aggressive driving um, unit on on a, on a I-4. And okay. so he was following us to find a reason to pull us over. He never pulled us over for anything. Didn't write me a ticket, never. I even said to him, I was like, you're on the aggressive driving unit. What does the fucking have to do with me? I said, were we doing the speed limit? He's like, yeah. I was like, did we use our turn signals? He said, yeah. I said, so what the fuck did you pull me over for? He's like, oh, I saw your gun. And I was like, wait a minute, I'm confused. You saw the gun? He's like, oh, no, I saw that it was concealed. I'm like, wait a minute. If you saw the gun concealed, then how would you have seen it if it was concealed? And then I'm like, so if it wasn't concealed, then you saw it. I'm confused. And he's like, I'm done arguing with you. I'm done arguing with you. You should have seen it. He dragged me down the street. He literally, because my helmet was on and snapped to my helmet, my neck, he grabbed the top of my helmet to pull it off. And because he couldn't pull it off, he kept pulling and pulling, and it dragged me, like, I'd say maybe a foot or two, maybe three, max, before he finally stopped, calmed down, took the gun out he, that he had in my face, out of my face, and undid my helmet. And it was Sergeant Vittler. It was nobody else. It was it was Vittler. The, the, that signed the affidavit? That made the traffic stop. Oh, he was there? It was him. Oh, it was him. Yeah. Okay. You know, there's like four or five videos with me wearing my pepper ball gun and me and him talking face to face all on the internet. Mm -hmm. And him talking what? to me face to face on the internet. And I'm wearing so my pepper ball. So what do you think going to happen tomorrow? Amir said that... <clears throat> that he asked me, he's like, were you even speeding or anything? I was like, no. He's like, did you write you a ticket? I was like, no. He's like, well, I'm going to file for a motion to just dismiss it because there's no grounds for the traffic stop. There's no grounds for mm -hmm. the investigation. There's no grounds for you to say that he was wearing a weapon or wasn't wearing a weapon. Mm -hmm. So I'm wearing, mm -hmm. um, you know me, I'm, it's in plain view. Yeah, but you just need to stop it. Uh, apparently. I mean, why are you... Why are Apparently. you poking the bear? These are the things we've talked about. So, I mean, your your motorcycle, I can't get it because your name's the only name on it. But if you don't get if you don't post bail tomorrow, which I'm hoping, of course, you will, then I can come get you and take you to your motorcycle. Well, and, it's um, not in my name; it's in the company's name. It, well, she looked up Sunbiz and she said it's in your name. And and oh, the um, Sunbiz license, and, sure. Yeah, and Jeremy DeWitt, and she won't release it to me. And I'm like, well, he's in jail. And she's like, well, you have to get him to sign an affidavit in jail to release it to you. I'm like, okay, whatever. How much more is it a day? She said $21. So, you know. 
it's not worth stressing over. Sure, no, so no we'll yeah. see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens tomorrow, and you know, it might be the next day before you can get it. It's over here in Winter Garden. Where car store? Yeah, it's in Winter Garden, off uh, up here by the Starbucks. <laughs> Down so they Garden, chose the, the they chose the the tow truck that would cost the most to come get it. Uh, who knows? I just don't know, Jeremy. I just, you know. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, um, you know, somebody called Jared Dylan, and of course, Dylan's you know answering his phone, and you know, it's probably that guy that you know called you, you know, after um, on Monday um, that you told me about. It sounds like the same thing. So he's upset. I'm like, don't answer your phone, but he's got to, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So, and then I didn't answer my phone, not realizing, and, and unfortunately, I'm sorry, This it was you. So, it's okay. Um, because it was like right after he called me about that guy, and he said he used two different numbers. Mm-hmm. They'll so. ghost their numbers and then call over mm-hmm. and over and over. They yep. ghost their numbers and call over and over, and yep. that's because... Whenever Rams, whenever Vittler or Ramsey arrested Dylan and and all that stuff, they did not black out Dylan's phone number, which is actually a, yeah. a lawsuit Dylan could file. It's only a couple thousand, you know, he win, but it's still a violation of privacy. Yeah, but, well, somebody somebody's saying some pretty pretty ugly things, and like Dylan, I don't, don't please don't repeat them to me. I, I'm already not sleeping at night. Yeah. I just don't need that, you know. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, um, so I guess we'll see in the morning, right? What time? No, it's, it got pushed to one because I guess Amir is going to present stuff, you know. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. I, I don't mean for this to come up or happen. I was a little, we were literally just riding. I missed an escort, so now I'm probably going to lose that client. You know, it's part of the yeah, game that okay. they're playing. I know. I mean, I... I Whatever they can do, so I fuck with you. I know. You know? I know, Jeremy. I know. You just got to look at what you can do differently to try and outsmart them. And you should never, ever use that situation, the, you know, the non-lethal. You just need to change it up. Yeah. Anyways. I hear it. <clears throat> I mean, he he lies in the statement again, but I hear you. Well, I know. I, I and I don't. I, I do not understand. You know. How is this continuing? <laughs> How is? I mean, I do now happening? understand. I mean, I didn't understand when I got the text because I thought. There was a, a warrant out, but apparently it wasn't. He was just, he was right there. Mm-hmm. Supposedly he was just right there. I got a text at 5 o'clock this morning saying I only have a few hours left of freedom from a ghost Jesus number Christ. this morning. Yeah. How convenient. It said you only have a few hours left of your freedom today when you're out at work. So you don't think that's a little weird? It is. I got that text. Because he'd be the only one that knows what he's going to be up to. Right. Because they're they're following my emails, and they know that I got an email from a funeral home. (laughs) He just happened to be an I-4 right by my office at that time. Mm -hmm. How convenient. Mm -hmm. I got that text at 5 o'clock this morning. How convenient. And it continues, and it's not stopping. I don't, other than me just shutting my doors, I have nothing. I know. So if I shut my doors, I have no way to even take care of myself or my family or my law, my fight my case, where you can clearly finally see, with all due respect, Mom, you're a white woman that believes in law enforcement. And you're finally seeing, and you're saying to yourself right now, I can't understand how this is continuing. I don't know. I just, you know, I mean, the only way that I can see out of it is what you just said. That's the only way to get out of it. You just can't. You just can't. But I know you can't because that's your, you have every bit of your assets into it. 
<laughs> so, I mean, I just don't know what the solution is. I told you that the other day. I, I, I know, Mom. I know. I know. I mean, everybody says just shut it down, but then, you know, how, you know what are you going to do with... You know, I just don't know. So. It is what it is. I just... Hopefully, Amir can pull this out of the magic bag tomorrow, and I don't know. I just don't know how. We even have an email, which somebody bought, you know, paid a couple thousand dollars for all the emails from Vittler to everyone. And um, we know this person. You know this person. He's important in our lives. He's somebody that's in our mm-hmm. lives. Anyway, he um, he gave it to me, and the email is from Vittler going to the state for to the head lawyer at the sheriff's office and the lawyer emails him back and says would they oh shit i'm on the news right now <laughs> i'm on the news right now they're putting it on the news oh god uh, yep yeah. so it, it wasn't even concealed and here we are and they're putting it on the news so anyways um so what i was saying is is um what was i saying Oh, the email, he sends it to the attorney, and the attorney from the sheriff's office emails Vittler back and says, no, we looked into it. It is 100% not illegal for Duet and his company to carry the pepper balls. I have the email from the head attorney at the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Well, does the mayor have it? I made sure he got it today. Okay. I can assure you he's got it right now. I was holding yeah. all that for one day for for lawsuits, but now it, he's got it. Yeah. And he's also got the screenshot of my phone that says at 5.30 in the morning, your your hours are, are um, you only have a few free hours, or hours free on the streets today. How convenient. Mm-hmm. I mean... Oh, it's not like a conspiracy. It's just, it's, it's just. I mean, hmm. now I'm on the news again. I, I just. They're gonna be outside waiting for me when I come outside, like last time. Well, you know what your answer is. No comment. Don't don't play into it, Jeremy. It's your ego that's playing into it. Please don't. I don't care how right or wrong you are. Nobody believes anybody. It's just dramatization. So just let it go. I know it's hard. I'm not trying to say it's not. You want to defend yourself. I understand. And you have every right to, but it's just, just don't. Think of your family and your daughter and your wife and just mm-hmm. Ryan, you told me at ten o'clock this morning Amira woke up just screaming and non stop crying for no reason. Hmm. I was arrested at ten o'clock this morning. So hmm. convenient and weird. No, it's kinda of strange, yeah. You have one minute remaining. Anyways. All right, well, try and keep reaching out to her. I'm sure she's, you know. Please text her. Let her know that I just called you, that I called her twice, and I couldn't get a hold of her. Okay. All right? I I will. I'm going to get in line again, so I'm not going to be right away. All right? Okay. I will. Bye. All right. Love you, too. Bye. Thank you for using. Hello. This is a free call. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, it was it was rejected before, and I had rejected it. Mm, it's okay. Uh, it, there's yeah. just a long line, so I'm, already there's a long line again now, so it's fucking oh, ridiculous. Wow. Um, mm-hmm. So what are we doing? Because I was on channel 9 and 6. <gasps> oh, Wow. Yeah. Um, I'm almost. I'm halfway done. It t- it's taking a little longer than I thought, but I'm I'm almost there. I'm halfway Channel done. Channel nine said, 
funeral escort guy carrying a weapon, concealed or not, we, uh, blah, 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 allegedly carrying it concealed. How do you uh, know all this shit? I'm, there's a TV right here. Oh. <laughs> I'm watching the TV. I was on the phone. I was waiting in line for my mom and to, to use the phone. And I was calling, calling you. I was calling you, and it, you didn't answer, and it rejected. I did answer. Okay, it okay. Only, I Turn said, on, hit, on, <laughs> so I called my mom, and while I was on the phone with my mom, it's like Channel 9 was like funeral escort escort unit, and somebody that we've talked about before arrested for mm-hmm. carrying a concealed weapon, or was it concealed? We don't know. Some dumb shit like that. What did Greg Fox say? Hmm? Greg Fox, what did he say? Uh, he won't answer my calls. I'm sure he's probably not working right now or something. He was, I mean, he even emailed you, so he wanted to talk. Oh, well. So I yeah. read it again, and sure enough, when you read it, um, it says... Don't tell uh, me. Don't tell me. It says, mirroring many different law enforcement agencies <laughs> with purplish light. No! Wait, it doesn't even say blue anymore? It just no, it says just purplish. Purple-ish oh lights. Purple-ish lights. Mm-hmm. Purple-ish. <laughs> mm-hmm. I fucking hate him. Like, this is so stupid. And then he it says that we have Metro State on our bikes, which makes people believe that we're a state agency. No. Only if they're dumb as fuck or 12. But no one else. Right. No one else. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, my gosh. He's ridiculous. I don't know what to say. Well, I'm glad you were, I mean, hopefully this will help you being on the news, and it'll definitely bring back all of that attention. So. Oh, my God. I was, I just want to be left alone. I know. I know. It's, it's a wreck. It's a mess. I'm trying to get everything done by, the goal was 7.30. I think it's going to be 8. But we'll see. Whatever it is, it's going to go out, and then, People are going to see it, and that'll be that. I don't want to talk too much about that, but I will say that certain things have started going up ever since this arrest, and I'll leave it at that. What stuff? Like just views and stuff. Oh, our views have gone up. Yeah. I, I don't watch YouTube. You, you're you the only person who does this shit. Mm-hmm. I don't know what other people do. But yeah. I cannot believe this. Oh, so there's this kid in here. Oh, Talk about a fucking world, dog. So I came in here when I got transferred from Osceola back when, remember? Oh, my gosh. So the same guy that I called his grandfather or whatever? Yeah. <gasps> He's the same one? Yeah. Holy shit. Not well, only that, but he moved to yeah. Massachusetts, but he had to turn himself in down here, right? And guess what? Him and his girl are f- heavy followers of Metro State YouTube. Oh, my God. And he's oh like, he comes up to me. He's like, man, I'm watching all the videos. That clown shit was crazy. I'm like, oh, my God. This is, <laughs> this is not what I want. This is, not, <laughs> this is not what I want, though. It's so weird. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> it's so weird. What are the chances? That is so, I love that. I don't love it because I don't want you in this situation. But, yeah, that's so weird that we, like, that you met him and I was talking to his uncle or whoever the fuck it was. And now you guys are back together again. This is so funny. That's crazy. I can't. You have to get out of there. I need you to get out of there. Yeah, you're telling me. Can you find the charging affidavit yet? Oh, I didn't even, hon, I didn't even Remember look. David? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. But I don't want to waste our time. No, Anything else going on? Amir, any, did you talk to him again or no? No, he just said what he told me. That, you know. I'll be there in the morning? <laughs> well, 1 o'clock. It's at 1 tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he said say. that um, if they call me, then push, tell them to push it back. But um, he said. Um, push it back? Like further in the afternoon so, or earlier? The one, the one yeah. He, he, oh, he got saying, shit. You know, there was no reason for the traffic stop. There was no reason for the encounter. There was no reason for the communication. There was no reason for mm-hmm. the, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I sent him all this shit. He didn't respond to that, but he's probably gone for the day, so my feelings aren't that hurt. 
And I'm busy. To, I'm busy anyway. I have. I have shit. I. I have to work on this shit and. I just can't. I thought. Okay. I'm. You know. You. Well. I don't want to talk about it. Oh. It's, yeah. It's right here. 2021 CF. Blah 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 blah. Hold on. Let me read it. Not now. Not now. But yeah. Oh no. I'm not gonna. Oh, there's nothing there. It's brand spanking new. Mm-hmm. There's not even anything there. Mm-hmm. That's well, a the second first degree pages. felony. Are you yeah. fucking serious? Yeah, it's carrying a concealed weapon by a convicted Oh, my felon. God. He didn't charge me. This give you 10 fucking years. Right. He didn't charge me Holy with the shit. fucking open carry of a weapon, which is clearly what, if if I was carrying a weapon, if I was carrying a weapon, <laughs> then he could get me for carrying a weapon open carry, and that's a misdemeanor. No, he went for carrying a concealed weapon <laughs> by a convicted felon, so they would revoke my bond. I don't. I don't think that's gonna happen. I. I can't even imagine that happening. I can't. Like I that's mean, not that even is, possible. The fact that the email's clear, anyways. I mean, even the, their attorney for the sheriff's office said it's not illegal. So how did all of a sudden it become vital or illegal? Right. Um. So what your mom? Well, what your mom say? Did she they talk to you about the, the bike? They can't get the bike because it has to be me. So, oh, I forgot I to tell you that. Yeah, you have to sign it. Okay, I talked to that stupid bitch. She's like, oh, well, he has to have it. Um, he either has to come down or have a notarized letter. I said, a notarized letter from jail? Yes. A yeah, notary in jail? Days. Yes. Days. Yeah. I'm like, are you crazy mm. or high? I, like, <laughs> well, it doesn't you know, make any sense. I can tell my mom because Rania has the, the, that's why I put the fictitious name one time in Rania's name. Yeah, I'll let Ronnie go and... Yeah, and she can go with my mom. mom, right? Yeah. I forgot about that. See, that's why yeah, I did that, that with, when, with the whole 30-day thing, for that reason right there. Talk to Choke, make sure he's okay. 30-day uh, thing? Yeah, when I was stuck in here for 30 days. You see, this is not a conversation we should have on a recorded line because you said something different, but it's okay. We'll talk about it when you get out. I, I don't know what that means, but... Mm-hmm. Wasn't I don't remember. It wasn't full thirty days, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, that monkey has climbed another tree. What about Chuck? Um. What about him? Just he was talking okay. fucking crazy, as you would say. I t- let me tell you something. I took that fucking key. Hello? That's how fucking crazy he was talking. I had to. I'll tell you later when you get out. But he was talking fucking crazy. I think that key. So, if your mom needs it, just have her text me or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. But um, that's not. I took that out took because of the way he was talking. The key. Uh, I don't know what that means. The oh, key. oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Well. Uh, you need to call him and talk to him and call him around because we need people for Friday and Saturday. So that, and I'm already mm-hmm. worried about Ken. So why did you talk to Ken? I haven't talked to him. I'm no, I haven't talked to. to. I'm not talking to anyone right now. Uh, I'm sure he knows. He right, it's all everything. over the news and all over the internet. So yeah, I was I mean, gonna call him because your mom was like, I don't know. She's like, I don't ride motorcycles, and I was like, Well, I could talk to Ken, but can Dylan do it? I didn't even know if Dylan would do it, but. Mm-hmm. Apparently he's going to. So right. So I just yeah. don't know, man. This is crazy. This is gonna ruin my business even more. Mm-hmm. And then I miss with Postel. Oh, why did you just say that? <laughs> Postelloish? Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> what happened? What? How's how's Postelloish? The cat? <laughs> I miss my cat. What are you talking about? What did you mean? Why did you just say that? <laughs> anyway, I miss oh my god. Is a good cat. So yeah, so it's a problem. Is Rania talking crazy or no? I ha- I've only been able to talk to her once. I've only been able to Why? talk to her once. Because her mom's every, been fucking calling like crazy. She's been talking to her mom a little bit. Every time I call, she doesn't answer. So either she's not near the phone, and she's mm. with the mirror, or, or I mean, the line is ridiculous. The line's ridiculous. So. Yeah, she better get on it if she wants to talk to you. 
I felt I was so mad when they said call you guys. I'm like, he rejected my call, but he called me. I'm like, why would he do that? So Lord, I cannot believe that I got arrested for open carrying of my pepper ball. No, it's concealed. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, oh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know how <laughs> you have to get, to conceal a weapon? You have to hide it from view. That's what concealed weapon means. I know. How was I yeah. hiding it from view? I even said that to Ramsey. I said, then we're arguing the same thing. How am I yeah. carrying base in my pouch and a baton? They're both in pouches. He said, because you have your pepper ball gun in the pouch, so it's concealed. I'm like, what the fuck? I said, my baton's in a pouch and the mace in my front is in a pouch. How come I'm not being arrested for carrying those concealed? He's like, oh, because we can tell what they are. Yeah, yeah just like I'm, you can tell tired. what my pepper ball is. I'm so tired. Fuck? Me too, man. Fiddler's getting a divorce. Ramsey has like five kids and 18 dogs in his house. They're miserable. And they want you to be miserable too. So. Oh, and then and then Viddler went on and on and on how he doesn't know Curtis. And what the fuck? He, you did a whole interview with them. Shut up. Yes, you did. No, um, then he told me I'm that. I'm talking about um, him. Yeah, yeah. Then he told me how <laughs> Alex the piece of shit and he's nobody and he set up the I, whole thing. I, 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 I know that. Oh, yeah. That's when Michael was asking me. Michael was like, who is this guy, Alec? I was like, he's a loser, nobody. He's nothing. Don't even worry about it. Uh, he has nothing. He's just a junkie. I'm old. I'm tired of him, too. So. Anyways. This is a fucking mess, man. It's a nightmare. <sighs> I can't believe we've been on the phone for almost 13 minutes. It doesn't seem that way. That's just crazy. Mm-hmm. I'll call you I later. Just, I just keep your phone on ring, but I got this line is fucking I atrocious. Know. I so. just, yeah, I don't know why it rejected it. I was like, what? No. I don't, that was really weird. And I tried to call it back. Of course, that didn't work, so. Can't you call, can't we call some people that we know in the sheriff's office and find out why this is happening? Do you still have I'll see that? what I can do. I, I will see what I can do. Yeah, because this is bullshit. This is, you're, you're saying I'm carrying... A concealed weapon, and you know it's in pl- mm-hmm. plain view, and you have five or six videos of me and you together, where it's in plain view with you, and you didn't arrest mm-hmm. me, and you even see yeah. on the video that you know it's a pepper ball. This is a huge lawsuit, and if something is not stopped or changed yeah. soon, this is, right. this is a serious lawsuit. And the whole dragging of you, dragging you down the highway, fuck that shit. You better find somebody. That's too much. That's too much because you drag his whole- ass. The whole gun drag, pointing in my shot. yeah, killed. the whole exactly the whole gun thing in my face. When you know right. it's a pepper ball gun, you know it. Right. And I'm yelling at you, fucking. What are you doing, Sergeant? You know it's a pepper ball. That's what I'm yelling right. at you. And you got your gun in my face, and you're screaming at me to get on the ground. I understand officer safety. I get that. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's you know what that's level attention. it is. You're over. You're overdoing it, and you know it. He's this is pathetic. Crazy. I can't stand him, yeah. This is crazy. I know. I guess the jail is packed today? You have one minute remaining. It sure is. It sure the fuck is. So. Well, um, talk more. I hope, I just, I really want you to get out of there. I'll come and get you. I don't care what time. I'm just over it. Me too. I'm just done with it. Just, um, just get that video up. Just, I'll call okay. you later. All right? Okay. Alright, then. Bye. Bye. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello, this is a free call from. Hey. An inmate at the Orange County Corrections. Hey, honey. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, your voice is very low. I'm, I'm not feeling good. Oh, yeah? My, your blood pressure? My blood pressure is at 174 over 120. Ooh, 120. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I can't tell you calm down because I don't know how to calm myself down, but just, uh, you know, leave it in God's hands. Mm-hmm. Hey. How are you? Here's Amira saying hi to you. Hey. Did you hear her? Yeah, I hear it. I hear my baby. Hey. Yeah, she's oh. trying to she's trying to, to suffocate herself today. Mm. <laughs> Again. 
Yeah. I miss you. 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 We miss you too. The dogs uh, are going crazy. Uh, Milo is going nuts. Every time he hears something, he thinks it's at the garage door. And he runs. He really, really loves you too much. I know. I know. That's definitely your dog. <laughs> For sure. You know, everybody has, you know, they say everybody has like a, an animal that really loves them very much. <laughs> That's Milo for you. Ronnie, I swear to God, I was just riding down the road doing nothing wrong. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I don't... <laughs> what time is it? Your mom is like, he's been calling you. I'm like, I want to tell her, you know, running around trying to feed that no, dog know, that's I not know, eating. I know, I know. That's, that's why I bother calling you kids. over and over and over, you know? Yeah, Amira. And then my, my mom is calling over and over to make sure Amira's okay. Amira, you know, handful. So. I just, I hope tomorrow, it just goes okay. I want to come home. I come home. Yeah, I'm just like, I don't know what I'm going to do with the appointment tomorrow. I need to go take my stables out, and I, I need somebody to be with me because I don't know how I'm going to feel to drive. And I well, can't you need to wait for the stables. The you need to wait for the stables. Can you wait one more day? I don't know. If, I know I was supposed to take it out on Monday. I don't know if waiting is a is a good thing. <laughs> you can wait. Just wait one more day. Do research. But you need to drive to take the puppy to the appointment. I don't. I know you're scared, but you have to. No, I mean I'm not scared. I'll take them. I would love to drive and take them. That's fine. I will leave the house a little early. I'm just worried that Amira is gonna, you know, cry the whole time. It's going to be very stressful. And if she does that, where am I going to go with puppies and, and Sophie and her pull over somewhere? Why like do you need to take to Sophie? Because Sophie is going to get checked up too. And because they cannot go without her. She's nursing, nursing them on the hour. <laughs> I mean, they eat every hour. Mm -hmm. I have to take Sophie with them. You want Sophie to have like a... A, f a fucking anxiety attack? She has to go with them. I I mean, I can't go inside the office. It's not going to be... Uh, we're not going to be able to go inside the office. They have to come and take them. So... I'm going to try. I'm going to do my best tomorrow to, to, to do it, you know? Yeah, don't don't miss that. And I'll take you the, to, the day after tomorrow to do your staples. I, okay? I keep telling myself I should have done it on Monday. Mm -hmm. I should have went on Monday. Things, listen, I'm not trying to be a dick. But this is one of the things I keep saying to you. We need to stop putting things off, and we need to stop putting our marriage off. We yeah, but we had so many to things to do on Monday that I, I didn't, like, prioritize myself. Mm, we need to start doing that. I didn't know you could do it Monday, or else I would have made you do that. Yeah, he told me a week, and that was uh, exactly a week, and now it's, like, nine days. Or eight days. So, we're pretty crazy. I miss you. Oh, there is a puppy that's so cute. I'm watching a movie that's all puppy. Well, Mocha is uh, getting a little bigger, but I don't know how. Like, what else do I need to do with her, honestly? She's doing fine. She's just going to be small. So. Yeah. She's very, very small, but she's not as small as, you know, she was born. So she's growing, but I'm sure she's way below 
Can't wait. I'm sure that's yes. Yeah. But she, once she starts eating dry food and she doesn't have to nurse, she'll she'll start eating on her own. You know. Yeah. So. Anyways. I'm sorry, Rania. I'm so sorry. That's why I kiss you goodbye every morning when I leave. I don't know if I'm going to come home. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Hey. Anyways. Hey. I had a feeling this morning. I was like, where are you going? It's so weird. You know, somebody And then I was like, when I got up, some guy was like watching over our house. Like, he was standing on the side of our house in somebody's driveway, like, and he's looking straight at our house. Hmm. I don't know if uh, he was looking at our house or he was just standing there being weird. So it was really creepy. This whole thing is a fucking mess. Such a mess. Such a mess. I'm just going to work just to do my job and I'm being harassed. I just can't. Every day it's the harassment on the internet and the phone. Somebody texts me at 5 in the morning that I was going to go to jail today. And then all of a sudden I go to jail today. I, I don't think that's a coincidence. I think they, yeah, uh, it wasn't a warrant for somebody to. No, it was not a warrant. It wasn't a warrant. He was just following you, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Where do you think he followed you from? My office. Because he oh, said yeah? in the report he found he saw me at um, um, I four and O B T where I get on from the office. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, she's so cute. It's okay. I know. So. <laughs> Alright. So. It's a fucking mess. Anyways, I just miss you. I miss him. I so know. did you did Amir say everything is gonna be okay or he's not? Yeah, he's or? he he's not worried about it at all. He's like, you'll be out of there tomorrow. He said he might be able to get them to drop it tomorrow. If they get them to drop it tomorrow, that means I beat my first case. That means I'm going to get a lawyer to start suing. Drop so. what? Hmm. What? What do you mean? What, what, what do you mean get him to drop it? Oh, it's not going to be just a bond? Well, they have well, to drop it. They, they, he might get a bond, but, I mean, he's thinking that he might be able to get the judge just to drop it because there's no proof. There's no there's no crime. There's no... I didn't commit a crime. I, 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 I'm wearing my pepper ball just like I always have for six years. So... Anyways. Yeah. And if they drop it, that's me beating a case. That's me being charged with something, arrested for something, and harassed for something. We'll see. But if not, I just will be a bond and have to deal with that shit later. Yeah, but they, there's a chance they won't bond, or bond you out because you're already No, they'll bond me out. I didn't commit any crime. So there's no way that they can't violate, that they're, they're going to violate my bond. There's just no way. Yeah. I didn't commit a crime. I was riding to work, wearing my wet, my standard uniform, like always. Oh, no. The same uniform that he, Sergeant Vittler's, yelled at me and talked to me at the park. Uh, you know, we've had conversations standing there. The when the when the deputy hit the off duty deputy hit me with the truck, me and Vittler stood in the park for three hours with me dressed that way with my weapon, and he didn't arrest me. He didn't even he even told the other officers because I thought I was going to jail and I called Amir. 
I have it on video. I called Amir, and I was like, I think I'm going to jail. And Vidler comes over. He goes, no, 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 you're wearing pepper ball. You're not, you're not breaking the law. So why today was I breaking the law, but a, a year and a half ago I wasn't? And he knew. It, I don't want to talk about it. I want to talk about you. I miss you. I miss you. Oh. I miss you. Yeah, I miss you too. I miss I'm you. Sure I'm here. I miss you. I'm sure she hears your voice now because she's yeah. talking. She wasn't talking before. All right. Hey. Tell her thank you for waking you up at 10. So. Huh? Oh, I yeah. Tell her, yeah. Yeah, the crying, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways. What did your mom say? Your mom said that your bond is 5,000. Like, I mean, it's going to be like, what, 500? Yes. If I get a bond. Well, I have the bond, yes. Yeah, you have already a bond. Right, but they just have the hold on me. But if the bondsmen, you know them, they'll just pay it, and then I'll have to pay them in a couple of days. I just don't know where. I don't have any money. And guess no, what? I mean, I had six hundred and listen to me. Listen to me. I had six hundred and twenty dollars in my wallet and when they checked my wallet in, okay, there was four hundred and twenty dollars. They the two hundred dollar bills are missing. I don't think the cops will take money from Rania Rania Wallahi on my son's soul. I had six hundred and twenty dollars in my wallet. And when and I was on my motorcycle, they arrested me. I saw them take my wallet out of my motorcycle, and then we went to the jail, and they handed it to the guy at the jail. And the jail guy uh-huh. counted it, and he said it's four hundred and twenty dollars. I said that's wrong. It's supposed to be six hundred and twenty. Wow. Wallahi on Saif. on Saif, Habibti. Wallahi, I wouldn't lie to you about two hundred fucking bullshit dollars. No, what I meant is, is you don't think one of the guys or like... No, no, the cops took it. I was laying on the highway. I was laying on my belly on I-4, and I watched them take my wallet off my motorcycle. Yeah. So, no. Anyway. Yeah. Mama, are you hungry? (laughs) Are you hungry? Why your stomach is bloated? <laughs> oh, she drives me nuts. Ooh. Anyway. Well, that's a good thing. One of the stables is moving. That means the uh, the swelling went down a little bit. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway. Um. <coughs> You have one minute remaining. One. Can you call again? I said uh, two. There's um, a very long line, but I'll try. Yeah. I promise, okay? Keep your I phone mean, on no, ring. I mean, no, I mean, there is like a long line and you don't have to. Just keep your phone on ring. I'll get in line, okay? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, I mean, you. if you want to. If it's of too course late, I but... want to. Of course I want to. I love you. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you for using Global Telly. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hey. Hey, babe. How's it going? Uh, people are talking a lot of shit, but it's up and there's like 2,000 something in like 45 minutes. Uh, what do you mean they're talking shit? Well, some people, a lot of people were, before the video went up, they were, you know, talking shit, laughing, ha ha, whatever. You know, he's been arrested. But then, you know, some people even said, you know, I do like real world. I do, I do like their drama and shit. But even I know that, where, you know, wearing a gun on your holster on a motorcycle is the definition of open carry. Right. So. <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Definition of open carry. Yeah, you can't get any more open than that. It's in plain view from any direction you like, look. Yeah, I was like holding it in your hand. Like right. I don't know how else you could right. do open. I don't know. I don't over it. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then some people said, well, no, two people said that I talk over you, but that's just something I do to everybody. I don't you mean talk to. Talk over me. Do I talk over you? Yeah, all the time. You <laughs> put your voice on the videos. Oh my god! Oh my break. god! 
Come on, John. <laughs> also, you know what else I forgot to tell you? Oh, no. So, when I got on the motorcycle this morning, I put my wallet in my motorcycle. Okay? I had $620 cash in my wallet. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. They brought me to the, J- the Ramsey and Vittler-, Vittler took my wallet in his car. We went to the jail, to the j- sheriff's office. Then they talked to me. Vittler was gone He's forever. Gone. And then they transferred me to the jail. The jail guard here took my wallet. I watched him from the minute he took my wallet to when he counted every dollar. There was $420 there. The $200 mm. bills are completely missing. Mm. I swear to God on my son. It wouldn't surprise me. I'm su- I'm shocked. What the, what's surprising is that he didn't take everything. I'm shocked about that. I, I don't know what to say. I just... I wish I would have been there because I could have taken everything. No, they wouldn't have let you near, just like they made Choke lay down on the ground. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, after the fact, after you were, as they say, secured, mm-hmm. maybe they, I don't know. Did you read the statement? I haven't read anything oh. because there isn't anything online yet. It just There's just a court, like a date, uh, a court case number. It doesn't I hope Amir can do like what he's saying. And that's what are you worried? Dismissed. You're worried now? No, I'm worried he can... I, I hope he can get it dismissed tomorrow. Like, just dropped. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because the judge can look at it and be like, there's not enough probable cause for this arrest. And that's what Amir said to... he's going to file mm-hmm. for or work on tomorrow. Yeah, we that's... just have to... We just have to get um, a really good... Um, mm-hmm a really good um, judge who's fair, but we'll see. Well, it's always the same bond judges. So it's always the three. It's either the guy or the two ladies that I know that I don't know <laughs> that I've yeah. been in front of before. So I know. And Amir just has to try. He's good. He always does really well, but. I know he does. He seemed upset when I called him today. He he wasn't upset mm. with me. He was upset about the situation. He's like, this is bullshit. Of course. And I of was course. Like, Wait, do you see the statement? He's like, don't tell me. I was like, and then I did I did kind of explain a little bit on the phone because he's like, don't talk. And, and, of course, I'm talking to you. What the fuck? But anyways, you know, I explained um, him. I was like, completely different. <laughs> right. No, no, no. I mean, explaining the situation on the phone, you know. Oh, and, and yeah, yeah. And it's like, but there's nothing to hide. I'm not hiding anything. I mean, yeah, but we were don't, driving we're down talking. the road. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. You know, I wasn't wearing a jacket. I wasn't hiding it in any way. I wasn't concealing it in any way. Even Channel 9 said, um, was arrested for a concealed weapon, but we have sources that say it wasn't concealed. So was it concealed or not? That's what she said. So, mm-hmm. I mean, Greg Fox, I, 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 I don't, Amir will hate me and fucking kill me if I do that. I want to talk to him about it, and he'll probably tell me no, but. Yeah. So, what else is going on? Um, my blood pressure is 175 over 128. Mm-hmm. What did they give you? Nothing. They're supposed to give you something. I have a serious headache and I'm very dizzy, but hey, who cares? It makes okay, it a lot but easier. You, oh my god! So, Stop with the drama. Did you tell them that you want of something? Of course, they came and took my blood pressure just now. That's how I know what it is. And they're going to give you something. Well, whether he does or they not is, is, you know, what you want to believe. I mean, they took my blood pressure when I got here eight, ten hours ago, or whatever it was, and I was one sixty-nine over one thirty. And now I'm 175 over 125, 28. So. Mm. And it's always when I get arrested. I'm sure my blood pressure is like this when I'm yelling at you guys, too, you know. But. Right. Uh, it doesn't help to be dragged a foot or two down the highway of I-4 for no reason. I know. At gunpoint. <laughs> I just... I don't know what to say. You need to get something for your blood pressure. That's number one. I know. I don't even know if you'll be able to sleep. You have to try to at least four hours of sleep. Is that possible? Mm-hmm. 
I don't know what to do anymore. Well, what's so going we, on with... Mm-hmm. Go ahead. What's going on with what? Mm-hmm. No, I was just saying, like, I don't know what's happening with... I can't, we can't talk. We can't mm-hmm. talk about exactly. something. Exactly, we can't. So. so we're at 2,000 views already in 45 minutes? It's like 2,500. Well, it's been an hour now, hour or you, so. You think now. it will go up? I don't know. I've got a ton. I, yeah, maybe. <laughs> What's the picture in the background? You know, the whole real world police doing it? You know how they just put the picture in the background <laughs> and then just, just edit the the vocals? No, it's just um, it's just a picture of Orange County Girl. Oh. What's hard to spot, all right? <laughs> That's boring. Nobody knows. You're that, boring. Yeah, but nobody then sees that Villa already seen that. Yeah, yeah, I gotta find all that shit. I don't have time for it. Come I don't have to on, lazy ass. What do I pay you what, for? What is Vanya doing again? Mm. She's following up after you. What the fuck? Yeah, she, after she everything called I've a done, mirror yeah. after you. Then she called the bondsman after you, and then she called my mom after you. Great. Yeah. A plus plus. A for effort. <laughs> so literally, that's what everyone's saying. So. Hours later. <laughs> Anyways, so. yeah, the boss, the lady, she was nice or whatever. I just told her what happened, and she was like, "Oh yeah, we know about our situation." And she was like, "Give you a call and let you know what the charges are." But I, I, I found out like maybe five minutes before she called me, I, and then I just uh, emailed the mirror about it because I'd already talked to him a few times, and you know he doesn't like to talk a lot, so. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, our friend, he, I don't want to say his name, but, our, you know, our little, what do you call him? Our little detective or whatever. Mm, mm. Um, he, was, he was, yeah. <laughs> um, he was upset. He was very sad about it. He's like, I'm so angry and this and that. He's like, tell Jeremy that, you know, I'm, he can call me when he gets out and all this other stuff. So. Mm. Now I got double O goat's trust. I can call him. <laughs> I had a felony charge to get his trust. Anyways. Yeah. Well, I don't know what to say, dude. Seriously. I, I don't know what to say. It's, I, I, you know, the thing about jail when you can't bond out is you sit here and you just run everything through your head over and over and over. And it's like, and I'm sitting here thinking to myself, okay, what did I do wrong? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? You know, where did I go wrong? And I guess, you know, everyone's like, you shouldn't have been carrying the pepper. No, 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 you know? no, 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 no. Like, we're not doing that. Yeah, but we're yeah. not doing that conversation. But see, we're the thing is, is, like, it's like... Okay. <laughs> our uniforms have been our uniforms for years. Okay, but we can't... Right. Go ahead. Go ahead. And the judges... And even cops at the police, uh, head cops, lieutenants and, and uh, the 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 Major Kranz, when he was the major before he became chief of Castleberry, said we could carry it. Well, why all of a sudden today? I just don't get it. Is it because mm-hmm. they don't have anything else to fuck with me on? So they just... <sighs> How long do I fight? Stop it. Okay. Just just wait until tomorrow. You uh, Damn, you haven't even had your first appearance yet, and you're already yeah. throwing in the towel? Just wait. Not, but, dude, I'm not throwing in my towel, but do you realize between bond, if, if Amir can't get it dropped, and, and, and towing and everything, we're like at a grand. Okay. Here's my thing. I keep telling you that you need to get out of the state or out of this area or whatever the situation yeah, is after all you. this is over. Yeah, after it's all over, if you haven't noticed, it's not over yet. And, uh-huh. and, and it's like, I have to keep working to pay for the lawyers and the house and and and, 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 and shit like this. You know? Did you talk to Chokey Choke Choke? Nope. I, I don't have the patience. Maybe tomorrow. I, I don't have the patience right now. I just don't. He pissed me off. You don't know what he did. He really pissed me off. Mm-hmm. He was upset. So. Upset about what? I don't know. <laughs> oh, getting okay. A, getting a gun drawn on him and ordered to lay on the ground, although he did it very well. 
so I can well, assume that he hasn't already. done it. He's probably done it once or twice before. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I I was talking shit to Miller. I was like, what are you fucking doing? You know it's pepper ball. You know, I'm just, I'm talking shit to him. You got to get that body camera footage. And he's like, turn around and just get on the ground. You lay down. Don't touch your gun. And I'm like, it's not a fucking gun. You're so full of shit. I said, it's not a fucking gun. You're so full of shit. So then I'm turning mm-hmm. around. Choke's already getting on the ground. <laughs> I'm like, damn, I. <laughs> he's already mm-hmm. laying down. I'm like, okay. I'm like, yes, I'm yeah. going to lay down. Mm. That's a no. And like the first thing that comes up is the Wesh thing. I don't know where the fuck you are, but Ziller is like holding you, and there's another cop, and you're like going, I don't know where you are. It looks like you're on a bridge or some shit. Yeah, that's where we were. Somebody got a picture from the bridge? I don't know. I don't Holy know. Shit. <laughs> Holy shit. I mean, it was all set up. The media yeah. was all, I mean, they knew it was way too fast. Mm-hmm. No, Viddler told him. I guarantee you that. Of course. Of course. He's such a piece of shit. Mm. So. Um, so, did you talk to Leanda or just your mom? Just my mom. Mm. So. Okay. He seems Do you sad. know what time it is? Yeah, 10, uh, 10.41. Oh, my God. I know. I'm exhausted. I'm very tired, but I have to get up early in the morning, take care of some stuff, and go to the office. Um, maybe I shouldn't even say that. Um, but there's just things I need to... Well, I won't, I'll tell you later. I Do you remember my one. cat that we were talking about? Your what? My cat we were talking about? Sure. Yeah, can you schedule something with them... Tell them let's meet on Friday or Thursday, and they need to use me. My cat sure. needs to come over and let me pet them. Mm, is is yeah. it fair? Yeah, I know. So. Damn, I just didn't even. Never mind. I can't even say it on the line. I'm so mad about that too. Yeah, that's a problem. That will. Oh that will. God. It won't matter what. <laughs> you have that one will. minute remaining. Can you call back? No, I can't. The fucking line is through the fucking cell. It's ridiculous. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck's going on. The motherfucking yeah. county's taking all these people to jail for dumb shit. Yeah. But I'll get back in line and try, okay? Okay. All right? All right, hon. What are you posting tomorrow? Uh, I don't know. We'll uh, see. Get to work, unpaid secretary. Shut up. Mm-hmm. I miss you. I miss you. Bye. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. This is a free call from... Hey. An inmate at the Orange County Corrections. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hello? Hey. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? What's wrong? Nothing. You sound like you're running or something. No. I had the music for me to sleep, but then I didn't want her to wake up. Mm. Because the phone went from music to ring them. Mm-hmm. So. Are you listening to our music? Yeah, the, I wanted to make her sleep. I mean, she slept a very good. She took three naps today. Mm-hmm. But, you know, she was like really tired. And I just fed her, so I'm like, yeah, I could eat. Mm-hmm. So, I changed her diaper and all that. She was good to go, to sleep. I said, um, mocha. I mean, it was a lot, like, five times a day or four times. Oh, yeah. I can't remember. So many times. And I made her first formula and put it in the fridge. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm literally even running around myself holding. I know. Like, I know. crazy. And she looks really good mocha today. Mm-hmm. She's still 
not catching up with the other ones, but she's getting bigger, mm -hmm. for sure. And I was trying to feed her from the actual bottle that you bought for her, because it's a slower feeder for her. Mm -hmm. um, you know, whenever I have a chance, I, I actually let her eat from that bottle, so I don't contaminate the other one all the time. I just take some from the other one and put it in this. <laughs> uh, and then whatever she didn't finish, I threw it away. So, because, like, bringing the same bottle is just contamination. And mm -hmm. I'm just trying to avoid that at least the first one. <laughs> so, she did good. I think she only had, like, a cliff lip. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the palate, but I see only cliff lip. Mm -hmm. Like, she has a whole one and a partial one on the other side. Right, right. I don't think she has cleft palate. Well, then she'll be okay. She'll grow I up I don't okay. think so. We'll see. Because, oh, cleft lip only needs a couple of stitches when she's older. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, the palate is, like, hard right. way on. You know, like they have to put, like, stuff, you know. To bring it together or stable or whatever it is in the doggies mm -hmm. in the world. But the lip is, is, is very easy. You're just gonna give her a couple of stitches or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then they will, you know, come back together. And, but what I think is that she's a, just a, she's gonna be a mini dog. A mini dog? Yeah, she's going to be a small dog. Mm hmm Like, you know. Uh, you know. Mm hmm How's it going over there? Oh, <laughs> well, you know, we go out, hang out, go to the bars. Oh, it's going okay. I'm still really dizzy and my head's still killing me, but... Did you eat anything all day? Mm-mm. They didn't give you lunch or dinner or anything? They didn't offer anything? Of course they did. I just didn't eat. Yeah, but not eating is not going to help your blood pressure. Mm-hmm. So... Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I ate my pizza. I ate the leftovers that was in the fridge, except your pizza is still in the fridge. And, mm -hmm. you know, your sandwich, you have, like, a sandwich there. And you have your pizza and stuff. And you start trying to clean up whatever in the fridge that's old. Yeah, the sandwich is buffalo chicken. You can eat that. Mm, I mean, I already had my, my food, so... Mm -hmm. That was fine. You know Milo. Well, I gave him some of my pizza. and so mm -hmm. You know, they have to eat some human food every day or they will just be miserable. I guess. <laughs> yeah, they will be so sad. Now they're sleeping. Everyone in a different area. The puppies, if you follow on Sophie, you know Sophie sleeps. She doesn't like blankets under her. She gets hot, so she sleeps on the very hard area, and then they follow her to eat. And then because they can't see, they can't go back to the warm area. So after she feeds them, I see them shaking, so I move them in between the blanket, like in, inside, like I make a pocket for them. Mm. And I put all of them, and they all, like, around each other, and they go to sleep. So I'm just going to try it here and there. <laughs> so that's why I'm like, I don't know. Tired. A little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what no, the whole tomorrow? breeding thing, the whole, I don't know if I need to take them. The only time I need to take them is to know their gender or whatever. But it's just going to be a mission with the baby. If somebody will watch the baby... I can take them because I want to make sure they're all okay. 
but with her crying in the back, it's an hour and, and I don't know how long. And then we have to wait there an hour until they check them or maybe more. And then an hour back. It's like three, four hours. Mm-hmm. With, with her being in the car, I think I will set up myself for like a disaster. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think if I didn't, you know, find a solution or somebody watching her tomorrow, I don't think this appointment is just going to be good with her with me. It's not, you know, she's not that old yet. She she needs to be like a two or three years old for her to understand that we're here, take the puppies to the doctor, we're waiting for the puppies. And, but right now, she's just going to be fussy and, and, and you know, want to get out of the car. And, I, you know, with Sophie and the puppies, I don't know. Mm-hmm. You yeah. could always just leave her at the house. Who? Amira. Shut up. <laughs> I mean, I took her to get the meal today, mm-hmm. even though she was asleep in her bathroom. So I got her up, and the meal box was like right down, like r- right there. Mm-hmm. Got up, brought her in her stroller. No, I actually didn't put her in the stroller. I was carrying her. Mm. With me, and we went to get the meal, and then she was trying to eat the meal on the way back. <laughs> Seriously, she was trying to put it in her mouth. Mm. And I'm like, no, and I, I just too much, like too many junk stuff in my hand, and she, I don't know where to put it, and I don't want to move it too much, so I won't drop something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, my long cook would not want to go out. I'm like, no, I'm not taking the dogs and the baby. Mm-hmm. No way. Crazy, right? <sighs> the male eater baby. They're all, uh, they're a big responsibility. And now, now with the puppies, too, they're a very big responsibility. Mm-hmm. So... Crazy. Maybe I will move their appointment next week. Mm-hmm. So I can, if you're not out, I can rearrange something with somebody. Sure. And, you know, we'll go from there. But the other ones are healthy. I just wanted to know their gender about. Mm-hmm. We can know their gender like in a week or two. It's okay. Right. So she seems okay to me. She's not like last time breathing heavy and, <laughs> and all that. She's not doing that at all. Right. I mean, once in a while, but she's not like that. Thank God. She's fine. She's up and around, running around. She's, yeah, she's, I think her body's bigger now and her face is like ha- handled it better. Mm-hmm. When I'm watching her, I'm not, like, worried about her. Mm-hmm. I'm feeding her so much routine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm trying. But she's not, like, doing whatever she was doing last time. And if she does it, she does it once in a while. So I'm not worried about her, like, her you know, thing. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, anyways, so we're talking about everything, so. Yeah, of course. I miss you. I miss the baby. I miss the house. I miss the dogs. I miss my I know. Mom. I know you do. And he does miss you too. He's already, he's very sad. It's, yeah. it's so weird how, how my Lord, happy my Lord, not happy today at all. So, Sophie and Coconut, they're acting okay. They're, they're okay. Sophie follows me everywhere. You know, when I go to the bathroom or whatever, she's, like, following me. But she's got to follow so, someone because Milo's got a shadow, so she's like, well, I need to follow somebody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, she's following her mommy. She's mm-hmm. loving me. Mm-hmm. 
awesome. And she knows I'm taking care of her babies. And, uh, I keep them warm, and I try to keep them together. Yeah. And they seem like they love each other, even though they can't see each other. Right. It's amazing. Mhm. It's crazy that they're they're just so cute, and yet you know, I, they were cuddling her the other day and stuff. You know. Yeah, yeah, they're amazing. Like I had, like they try to smell and follow each other, but it's very difficult. They see two here, two there. Mm-hmm. And then the little one is like trying to climb the carpet that's under them. Because Sophie makes it like mountains in there. Yeah, you see. Every there. time I make it even, she just moves it. Like, yeah. So when I have a chance, I just take them out and then put them together. Mm-hmm. And then they stay together until they get hungry and so on and so forth. So. Wait. Hmm. Well, and so I'll be home tomorrow. We'll just be okay, and you know. But we'll see what's gonna happen. I mean, I'm here. Just I mean, if you want to text me or text whoever, and then whoever texts your mom and. They can let me know. That's fine. Whoever texts my mom. What are you talking about? That person that contacts him. Oh, joke. Honey, I was sitting right there on the highway when I did it. I did it. I just was yeah. in handcuffs. I was telling Choke what to type. No, I mean, handcuffs. you know, whatever. I'm here. Whoever I'm here can text. He can text your mom. I don't know if he has a phone number. Oh, yeah, she yeah, yeah. He's, he's not going to text me. So whatever. And then she can let me know. Yeah. He hasn't texted you at all? No, he's not going to. Yeah, because you yelled at him last time. <laughs> I I yelled at him? <laughs> You're like, I have a baby, I don't know, I'm not a secretary. <laughs> yeah. I mean uh, I don't I don't I don't I can't stand bipolar people. I know, Seriously. he's bipolar. You have one minute remaining. <laughs> No, 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 seriously. I can't no, stand I... all mental issues, but this person that's been in bipolar, mm-hmm. I don't know where, just freaks out. I'm like, oh, no goodbye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, no, no. I only have few uh, cells in my brain that I, I need them. Thank <laughs> you. Well, listen, I love you so much, honey. I love you. I need to go get some sleep. Hopefully I will get some sleep. I will, inshallah. And I'll call you as soon as I can tomorrow, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. I love love you. Bye. Bye. Please hold. Hello. This is. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hey, what's going on? Hey, I miss you. (laughs) Miss too. Nervous? Mm hmm. Oh, me too. Yeah. I don't know why. It's because it's a new charge. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like a new arrest. It's like I just don't even understand it. So, anyways, I was wa- I was watching the morning one, and she's been okay with some people. There's been a lot of. I guess those were all the domestic violence cases, but mm. uh, you know, some other people are getting no bonds. But that's because they've been like stalking the woman or whatever for a while, and mm. she's. Uh, I don't. I can't tell if that's the woman that I was in front of. I can't tell. I think it is. Mm-hmm. What's her name? I didn't even catch it. I I didn't catch it. Um, White lady, brown just, hair. It's probably I. I. They don't show her, but mm. it sounds like her. Mm, probably. I don't know. Anyways, I don't know either, man. This is just, just crazy. I just I don't even um, know what to say. I couldn't even sleep last night. I got, like, two hours of sleep. (laughs) This is not right. you got to record all this, too, you know? I know. I am. Especially if we get out, or I get out. That's my little globe. (laughs) You better have my fucking globe on that video. Well, what's the plan? Because is the news going to be out there? Probably. They, they, They were on the news. I was on the news last night again. Okay. 
So what do you want to do as far as like... Well, I don't I have any clothes. Be- they took all my clothes. All I have is boxers and a t-shirt. So they're going to give me these nasty-ass fucking used clothes or some shit like that. Do you want me to just grab something from the I, office? I was thinking if you could grab one of my shirts and a pair of pants in my size. Yeah. But, yeah, I'll do that. Um, there's a pair of um, dress-style cargo pants in there. And then okay. I'm... Get me a larger medium motor gray and then okay. a pair. I'm a 33, 33, so, so 32 or 33 waist long. Right. And then I don't have any shoes or anything, but they'll give me, I guess, flip flops or something. They took uh, your shoes too? Yeah, they took my boots and everything. Oh they my caught, God. They seized my boot. They seized everything. They, He's like, <laughs> we have to have provide this for proof of the evidence. I'm like, what? what evidence? You're getting me for carrying a concealed weapon, which wasn't concealed. What does my uniform have anything to do with a concealed weapon? And you look so nice. You were wearing your nicest stuff, too. I know. Too. And they took... <laughs> and I, you know, I was just thinking, I was like, I shouldn't have fucking transferred all that. I took all that off my class A and put it on that so I yeah. could go to that meeting. I just... Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. I know. I am... Um, I, I hope... I just... You know, I have faith in Amir. I trust him. Have you talked to him at all? Have you... I talked to him yesterday, and he said he was pissed that this was happening and that he was, he would definitely be here and I was going to go home. That's what he said, but he's never really said before I was going to go home, so that's a good sign. But, you know, shit can always go sideways, you know? I know, but I have so much confidence in him. I don't know. I just think he's really good. Well, we'll see. What I'm confused about is, is it, you sent him the email, and I'm going to talk to him about that, too. Because sure. I was reading mm-hmm. the, the statement again, and the statement's like, he's saying, I was concealing my weapon because it was in my holster. It's like, <laughs> right. what? What? It's in, right. what? Just like you said, somebody said it, it couldn't be any more plain view on a motorcycle, mm-hmm. on your hip, on the road. You know, yeah, it's like it's fun, yeah. <laughs> the definition of plain view. I right. Mean, like, where else can you? Where else do you put it? Right. Do where you else just can I put it? it? To your motorcycle. Like, what yeah, do you like, do? Tape it to my helmet or something. I mean, <laughs> I mean, well, I don't get it. So. Oh God. Yeah. I mean, I I'm just I. So it, it starts at one o'clock, right? Yours starts at one p.m. That's what they say. That's what the when the session starts. What time is it? 1043. They'll probably come get us soon to make us go yeah. sit there for an hour. So. Um, and then just, I mean, if everything, the plan is if everything goes well and you're released, just call me after and then I'll just go to the office and get everything. And Well, you'll know if I get a bond or not because you're watching. I know. So, I know, but I'm just, I know, I'm just, I can't, I, I, don't, I don't even want to think. Mm-hmm. They're going to take me to that other side, where that other side, it's, the phone's not free. So, if I'm over there. What? Yeah, one, even if I. Oh, if it, it goes wrong. Because it takes so long to let me out, you know, they'll move me to the other side, and then I don't have a phone that's free. So, if, 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 if you know, mm-hmm. if, if, um. They don't take me over there, then I'll call. But more than likely, they will, and you know, I'll probably be out around ten or eleven. So. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, just like last time. Okay, so I'll just. I mean, I'll have my, I'll have my cell phone this time. They didn't confiscate my cell phone. They actually. Yeah. At least he didn't take that, which was good. But. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, because you don't remember numbers, really. Nope. Nope. So that was good. Um. I'm just everything has been going good with the uh, with YouTube and stuff. I guess that matters. It yeah, sure. I was gonna matter. ask you. It what's doesn't going matter. It, it's been great, but it doesn't matter. I mean, it's just I don't even care about it right now. I am just focused on on you. How's the numbers? And that's it. Though? They're good. They're better than they've ever been. So. Really? <laughs> yeah. They just want to see me in jail, dog. Yeah, and then they're leaving me nasty comments and saying, Jennifer, you don't really love him. You're just doing this for hotels. I'm like, have you caught up at all to what's happening in my life? <laughs> don't respond to that shit. No, I don't respond to it. Well, I will say I will say that I was I was talking very highly of Scott the other day because they were saying, Ramsey and Middler were straight up saying that I was running that website. 
And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? They're like, only you had certain information. And I'm like, what? Yeah, I had that information, but I gave it to the internet, to the website. I'm not fucking running away. I don't have time to run a website. Yeah, so... Why does it, well, I can see why Vidler cares. Ramsey shouldn't give a shit about it. Oh, great. So. What, what's what going on? Hold on one second. Hold, let me call you right back. This guy's got to use what? the phone. This gotta, he's, he's leaving or something. Just give me a second. All right? All right. All right, bye. Thank you for using Global Telling. For English, press 1. But Espanol, for a collect, please enter. Please enter the area code and phone number you are calling now. Please hold. Please wait while your call is being connected. Please hold. Hello, this is a free call from an inmate at the Orange County Corrections. To accept this free call, this call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Thank you for using Global Telling. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, don't ever do that again. (laughs) What? I said, don't ever do that again. Mm, Well, anyways, so... (laughs) What did he... What, he was... I thought they have free phones. I'm so confused. It's only this one. They don't have a free phone outside anymore? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. What's going on? What else? What, what, so what were you saying about the views and everything? Oh, my God. Shut, they're fine. I don't care. Unless you want... What's it at? What's the numbers at? I don't know. The last time I checked, that was like two hours ago. Um, it was like 7,000. Oh, my gosh. So... I know. It's going to be another... Get ready with me. <laughs> yeah, because I wrote it. It's better. It's better than it's better than the BB one. So, mm-hmm. and it's been that way. Not surprising at all. And it's just you putting the the audio, right? And it's just some bullshit. I didn't even do it in like the right format. It's like in three, two, or some shit, whatever. But it's not even in the right format. And yeah. Uh, so. I was thinking we should put that email on the internet. I know, but I want to do that after you get out. Mm-hmm. After you get out. Because it doesn't matter what we put on now. It matters what happens today. Yeah, right. Right. I just I need a mirror to just show up. He always shows up, but I really need him to dig in today. No shit, right? Yeah, because, yeah I'm just, I mean, I'm so nervous. this is ridiculous. I mean, I missed an escort and everything because of this, man. This shit. No, we missed the, oh shit, sorry. I gotta go talk to them and see if I can. They were not get... happy. They sent emails and everything, but I talked to the. I don't know who it was. Some I can't remember her name was Erin or something. Anyway, okay. she she was she had like a little attitude, like mm-hmm, okay, all right. She what did you say? I mean, I said the same thing I told the other people. You know about the emergency and something happened, and I apologize and um and it's hard for me because they're they're kind of like why isn't he calling? You know what I'm trying to say? Right. I'm just right. trying to explain the situation. Um, so I, I would try the best I could. I, I'm going to tell you them can. the truth. So it is what it is. Um, I'm going to have to go. <laughs> what? Nothing. Go ahead. <laughs> Probably Thursday. I'm going to have to, if I get out to, tonight, mm-hmm. tomorrow's Thursday, right? Yeah. No. What is today? Yeah. Tuesday was the Wednesday? escort. I don't, huh, I got Today's like two hours. Okay, yeah. I got two yeah. hours of sleep. I'm I'll have yeah. to I'll have to try to get out on the road tomorrow and go see them and, and see my cat. <laughs> and see if I can because <laughs> you know if I yeah, do, we have get a lot to do you if I if I do if at one o'clock if everything goes well, could you please schedule something for my cat tomorrow? Well what time? Mm, three thirty again would probably be best. Okay, I'll do that. I just, I don't know why I'm so nervous. I, I, I wasn't even this nervous. Somebody is calling me. It looks like from Orange County. I'm not dealing with that. Anyway, um, I was, I'm just, I haven't even been this nervous. And I don't know the last time I was nervous like this. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it is. 
because it's a I wasn't even, charge. Yeah, but I wasn't even nervous, you know, during that last thing that happened. I, obviously, because we weren't moving forward with that, but I was just... Yeah. I don't know. The other I'm really thing is married. I need to figure out who do I report that $200 cash is missing from my wallet. Yeah, I guess we'd have to contact the jail. Or, no, contact... No, not the jail, because I watched the guy count every single yeah. dollar, and I saw him put it yeah. on the counter, and I was watching him, and I, he it never left my view from when the when we came in to the jail mm-hmm. and Vittler brought the bag in <clears throat> to when um, they counted the money I watched. So the only time that it was out of my view was when Vittler took it off my motorcycle and put it in his car. And then when we got to the the jail or to the sheriff's office, then he brought in the paperwork with a bag with my wallet and stuff in the bag. Mm-hmm. And that was like an hour and a half later. So, yeah, that's the only time it ever left my sight. And then it was in the officer's hands. And then mm-hmm. he handed it to the jail guard and the jail guard counted it right in front of me. Right. Okay. I guess internal affairs, but that's, it's just like, what, what are they going to do? Right. <laughs> Who's going right, to, I mean, right. Right. Anyways. 90%. Sorry. I'm kind of out of it. Like I said, I didn't really get a lot of sleep. So mm. I'm just and then Fiddler's like mm-hmm. trying to tell me, Oh, I'm not starting a funeral escort business. I just spent <laughs> $750,000 on, on construction trucks for my construction company. What company? That shit doesn't <laughs> exist anymore. But he said he just invested seven hundred and fifty dollars in construction trucks. So okay, I'm not even gonna ask where he got it from. Anyway, um, so you guys are just sitting around having a chat. I don't understand that at all. Um, yes and no. Yes and no. Mm-hmm. We were waiting for him to type up the report, you know. Ah, <laughs> he did that on purpose so you could talk and talk right. and talk. Right, but like I didn't answer you. any questions. <clears throat> I really didn't. The only time I was mm-hmm. talking to Ramsey was about, and I kept saying, please describe to me how it was concealed. It's in mm-hmm. clear, plain view. It's in my holster. And he's like, well, mm-hmm. you have it in your holster, which conceals it. I'm like, what? I know. We talked about the, I know. It's stupid. It's dumb. Um, he tried. He talk- tried certain things, but then I was like, no. Yeah, no, we're not talking about that. But that was great. Great try. I would and then love I was like, to hear those things when you get out. <laughs> Do what? I said I would love to hear what those things were when you get out, because mm-hmm. I'm sure it's some bullshit. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> oh, yeah. So. Hmm. Um, did you talk to anyone else you called home and stuff? Yeah, not today. Today, this I just got to the phone. Um, the line has been that long since this morning. I wonder why it is. They didn't really have a lot of cases today. So, I'm really, I mean, for the morning part of it, obviously. They didn't have a lot. Maybe they have a lot of felony stuff going on today. Probably. That could be it. Probably. Did that guy say why he was in there, the one from the last place? Um, he went home, and he got pulled over for driving on a suspended. They let him go, but then when they let him go, they told him he had a mm-hmm. warrant in Florida <laughs> for armed home invasion back in 2017. Oh, oh that's funny. He came back. He turned, yeah, he came back and turned <laughs> himself in. I was like, oof. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I don't know. I just, we'll see what happens. I i don't know. I'm nervous. I shouldn't be. No. I should, yeah. Me too. And I'm going to tell Amir he needs to try to get the bond down too. I, want, I don't want to over make the judge happy, but mm-hmm. come on, man. $5,000 bond. For, for nothing, I'm not even, I wasn't even doing anything. I'm, I'm literally just going down the street, man. Come on, shit. I'm, I'm, this is, the money's ridiculous. Right. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? So, do, as far as, like, the bond, and, um, can I say the bond, the bond name, or no? Mm, all, you mean the company? Yeah. Yeah, they already know. So, okay. what about them? Um, so all star, like, how does that work? I mean, I talked to the girl. As but soon as, as soon as the the judge says I'll keep my bonds, um, then they'll come bond me out, and then I just have to go in the next couple of days and pay. They've always done okay. that for me. So oh, okay. Um, okay, I thought it was like a situation. Not, I mean, mm-hmm. what? 
Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. What? Try not to what? <laughs> Nothing. I just try not to, you know, I don't know. Just forget it. Forget what I was going to say. It was a stupid comment anyways, because you got a call, so it doesn't matter. So. Mm-hmm. Um... Oh, the oh, the situation and her calling me. Hmm. It is what it is. I didn't tell her anything. Right. So. Um. Your yeah, for I just thought, today. It's what? I said you're an assistant for a mirror today. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Anyway. Um. No, but I was just I thought it was gonna be another situation where we have to wait for the guy to come to the jail. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. I guess well, it is. it is. It is. It is. That's mm-hmm. why. Um, and then they have to clear all the bonds, and then they have to make sure I have no warrants, and God only knows if that will happen soon because, <laughs> you know, they took my property. So now it's only a matter of time before they get a warrant and then do certain things and then maybe try to come and charge me with new things. You understand yeah, that, right? But there's um, nothing. We'll talk about that later. But. Oh, my arm. Um, so. I know that you. it's fine, though. So, right? What? Just everything that they have is fine. Right? I don't know yeah. anymore. I don't know what's fine anymore and what's not. So. Okay. So. I don't know well. what's fine anymore and not. It's just ridiculous. Uh, I've been wearing the same thing for fucking six years, you know, and they're mm-hmm. saying now today it's illegal. It's like, come on, man. Come on, man. How many times have you seen me face to face, you know? Right. Rams, I, I, I mean, <laughs> Reeves just, yeah. I mean, Reeves was just there the other day and I was asking him on I-4 while I'm sitting on the ground. I'm like, you just saw me last week on a traffic stop. Mm-hmm. And told me and to go away. Go you away, told me to go away. You didn't say anything about my weapon. And he's, right. like, he's like, I'm not the one making this traffic stop. I'm not the one that make. that's what they keep saying. I'm not the one making this traffic stop. I'm not the one making the arrest. Who was the one who was saying I'm controlling the traffic stop? Was that Vidler who was saying yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I was trying to figure out who was saying that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> that's, what it, that's what him and Ramsey keep saying. I'm not the one doing this arrest. I'm not the one that pulled you over. <sighs> it was a nightmare. It's, it was like the worst possible spot for you to be. And yeah, you said there's guess, somebody has a picture of it, of me on the ground. Oh, yeah, it was like, no, it was you in uh, in handcuffs on I-4. Like, what the fuck? So somebody took on a I-4. picture? On I-4, yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, of course, obviously, they called the media, obviously. But uh, this is a mess. It's a wreck. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Copy that picture. Download that picture. Well, it's on Lush. It's on their YouTube. I didn't even, you know, I don't look for that shit. I just went on there, and it was the first, it's always, like, the first thing that pops up, so. Well, still, let's get that picture downloaded so we can use that later on down the road and say, look, man going to work and being harassed by police for something that they were already emailed to leave him alone about. I think Vidler knew that that whole um, misdemeanor, whatever bullshit traffic shit is coming up, um, it was not enough. Um, so he just needed more. Yeah, well, that's what it is. That's what I'm worried about. Now that they took my uniform and my helmet and all my gear, I'm worried that yeah, they're going to try to do more off. charges again. Yeah, that really pisses me off. I just, I mean, I can't see it on the phone, but there are just certain things that, um, I'll tell you later. I don't want to see it on the phone, but there are certain things that I were taken care of yesterday. So, as far as the equipment and stuff, so I'll tell you later. I I just want you to come home. You said you took care of. I'll tell you later. Okay. And um, so I just want you to come home. I don't care what time you call me. I'll just go get the stuff and then come get you. Mm-hmm. So. And I'll bring you a diet coke. <laughs> <laughs> well. All I would ask is if you could try to get all that stuff before, so that way when I call you, I don't have to wait for you to go to the office to get that and then come here. You know. What yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, yeah, maybe, yeah. I'm, I'll wait until after this is done, and then I'll just head over there um, this afternoon before I get started. You're right. That's just yeah, my idea. No matter what, 
they're going to try to release me by the 11 o'clock shift, so, you know. I I hope so. I mean, they wouldn't keep you overnight, would they? No, they can't. They can't? So okay, because I know... Okay. The judge okay. releases me an all-star immediately. If all-star immediately releases me, or mm-hmm. bon- pays the bond, um, which they're right across the street, so it would only be a few hours, then I should mm-hmm. be out by the 11 o'clock shift. Okay, and I don't, you don't think I have to talk to them or anything? You have one minute remaining. You, you can call them and say that it went through and see when they can post it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um, yeah. So, and go from there, all right? Okay. Will I talk to you before, or this will be the last time? It will be the last time before court, or after court, mm-hmm. so, all right? All right, honey. All right. All right, I'll talk to you. Keep an eye on it and record all you can, please, because I'm sure Amir's okay. going to talk shit, so. All <laughs> okay. Right. All, right. All, right. all right. Bye. Bye. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello, this is a free call from... Thanks. An inmate at the Orange County Corrections. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hey. Hey. <laughs> you, you know what's going on? Yeah. They dropped every fucking thing. Yeah, they dropped it. Where did you see that? On the, on, um, what the fuck is it called? The Vimeo, Vimeo Nice. Okay, but you recorded it? Of course I did. Oh, listen, the, listen. The judge, go ahead, go ahead. I need you to write a couple of notes. I need you to call uh-huh. Amir's office right now and talk to Ismarie and tell Ismarie she needs to tell Amir right now. I want my fucking shit back. They exactly. Took, they seized my uniforms, my helmet, my camera. All that needs to be returned to me because I don't okay. need them to get their hands on my camera. I need yeah. all that returned to me right now. That's okay. not evidence because that was an illegal arrest. Um, right. And then we need to find out what that means about my tow truck because they tow truck they towed my motorcycle. So do I get okay. my bike out for free or do I have to go pay? Right. Um, we need to find then, a civil attorney or something. That's the next crazy. step. I was just going to say this I need is, a lawsuit attorney that's hungry. Right. We need to find him and we need to explain it to him that it's a long ongoing process. But here we are. And this this is, is this yeah. is the first case that I've beat. Yes. So. And there'll be many more, especially the one that's coming up, that fucking misdemeanor traffic shit. We Those also need to get, job. We, need to put, we need to put a request in for their body cameras now. Are you good? Oh, okay, Are you good? because I, I told Amir how he dragged me down the street for a, feet or yeah. two, for a foot or two while he was taking my helmet off. And he's like, right. if you have that on camera or they have that on camera, it's done. So, exactly. So. Um, I know. I already requested it. Okay, um, good. He should lose his fucking job. I don't understand how this is allowed. How can he keep his fucking job and he continues? People said in the comments that you should get a restraining order against him. That's He's what everyone keeps crazy. saying. But it's like, if I just restrain him, Fiddler, I mean, Ramsey or, or Reeves is just going to do it for him. You know? No, you have to Fiddler, get a lawsuit going. A lawsuit going mm-hmm. will be where the sheriff's offices did not touch me or talk to me or look at me at all unless I've committed a crime. We should, yeah, we'll talk to someone. I can't... Yeah, Amir, I mean, he was amazing. He didn't. He said, like, maybe 20 words. The judge, I guess, threw it out before it even really started. Um, oh, he went the in judge, there? They didn't even call he me in. in. There. They didn't yeah. even call you in. Yeah, it was a new judge or whatever, and then Amir was talking. And, and what was he, he saying? Judge, this is fucking but, bullshit. Well, I don't remember I exactly. My client? Pretty much, yeah. But I don't yeah. remember word for word, but yeah. Right. I just, I couldn't believe it. And, of course, I updated everything, and, and everyone's quiet as fuck. Right. They had so much shit to say when you were in jail. Cricket in the comments. Right. Right. Nothing to fucking say. Right. It's maybe, fucking harassment. Uh, the thing is, I don't have any clothes, but maybe when you come pick me up, you should record me coming out of the jail, uh, walking to the am. car. And of I'm course, gonna, you know I'm going to talk. If the Channel 9 and 2 is not here. But boy, if Channel oh. 2 or 6 is here, I'm talking shit too. Channel 2 contacted us uh, via email. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name. Channel 2, Wesh. Oh. He asked. To, uh, for permission to use no Wesh, but not Fox. Ma- I mean, Mark uh, or Mike? Uh, Greg Fox. Greg Fox. Not Greg. No, it's oh. another guy. I have to. I have to look him up. I'll tell you later. Anyway, so he was emailing and he was asking um, for if he could use audio clips from what I uploaded yesterday or last night, and I said sure, that's fine. I said, but it needs to be properly quoted, and you have to give us credit. And he said yes, right. of course, I will credit the YouTube channel. So I said okay. 
All right. Well, thank you. What? Yep. So now you need to text Greg Fox. Do you have his phone number? Um. Yeah, I think I do. Mm-hmm. I have it right here. Are you ready? Okay. Hold on one second. Yeah. Yeah, I'm ready. Four seven four zero seven. Uh huh. Seven. Uh-huh. Call him and tell him that you're calling on behalf of Mr. DeWitt. They dropped his okay. charges, and he wants to do yeah. an interview with you. And if you want to talk to him and find out how he was dragged across I-4 and then at gunpoint mm. in his face while he's being arrested right. Ill- illegally, uh, what right. would you like to report? Yeah. So, and people are saying, people are saying, well, I just see a couple comments where people are saying, if it was a concealed weapon, how did he see it? How did he see that it wasn't? Right, Do you exactly. see what I'm trying to say? Right. I don't know how right. to explain it. I'm just too excited. I'm so happy that you're. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Yeah, it's amazing. Are you okay? Fall. I know. This is this is wrong though. They're putting you through this. I know. You should receive money for this shit. This is stupid. Yeah, this one. That's why I said we need to find a. Uh, we need to. We need to call that one female attorney that sued him once before. Yeah, if she's I will. I'll and reach then out if not, we need to get recommendations from somebody that's willing to do. Right police harassment suits and wrongful arrests because this is yes. now a wrongful arrest. Yes, so absolutely. We just went to the yes. next level. Now it, this is what I'm going to focus on. This is what we've been waiting for. This is exactly. this is what's going to put the pressure on them and all the other shit's going to fall apart. Right. So I knew he would fuck up. I mean, he's, all, he's already a fuck up, but I knew he would really fuck up one day. And this is it. Right. Yep, this is it. This is Is huge. it okay in there? Is it crowded yeah, okay. in there? Okay, I got friends. They've you all seen me on YouTube. Them. Oh, I, oh, okay. I want to be yeah. your friend. I want to be. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I told I told our our little double O goat. I told him he was so fucking excited. So. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. He was excited. Yeah. Let's schedule well, that appointment for three thirty for uh, my cat I too. Yeah. I know him. So, so and if I have time, I'll swing by Loomis mm-hmm. and talk to them. But. Um. Do you know yeah. what time you may come out? Oh. Yes. Oh, I gotta go. They're calling me to go. They're calling me to go. I think. Hold on. All right. Bye. Okay. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank you for using Global Telling. Please hold. Hello. This is a free call from an inmate at the Orange County Corrections. To accept this free call, press zero. To refuse, this call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. What are you doing? Hello? What are you doing? Jeremy, I tried. That's why they waited so long. I tried. What are you doing? Jeremy, please don't do this. What are you doing? Jeremy. I tried. That's why they waited so long. Cops are doing their fucking making fun of me and they're texting me and texting and taking pictures of me. What? You're embarrassing me. They're taking pictures of you? Why are you doing this? Jeremy, tell me what is going on. What do you mean, what is going on? You I would never do that. something like this to you. Jeremy, I would never do picture. something like Who just sent that picture? What picture, Jeremy? You're in jail. I don't know what you're talking about. A picture of what? I just sent a picture to Rania. What? You just sent a picture from your phone to Rania. This is my phone. Listen, I can't... But how do they have my phone? Did you call him here? No, I didn't call him here. Why not? I didn't know what to do. They wouldn't let me talk to you. Were I you, kept trying to talk to you. They you told me the if office? I went over the... I'm not... Ho- I, I went to the... O- I, Did you I, park the cars? I, Did you lock the cars? Did you lock the office? I locked the office. I, I'm going to move the cars at four o'clock, 5 o'clock in the morning and have my alarm set. Come on, you can't do that. I'm going at 5 o'clock in the morning, Jeremy. I, I didn't know what to do. I tried to go, every time I tried to go over there, they told me I was going to get arrested. I couldn't talk to you. You need I told to tell I don't them you're that. They told me you wouldn't write a statement, but they, they still... Exactly. Exactly. I wouldn't write you a statement. You said you were my girlfriend. No, I didn't. Did you tell them that? No, I never said that. I said you were my employee only. Right, exactly. And I said, and so they asked me how long we were dating. I said, it was just on and off. It wasn't that long. It's, they were trying to get me to say that we were dating for a while. And I, I didn't say that. Jeremy, I didn't, I, I swear to God, I should have recorded. I, I, that's why you sat there for so long. It's not because they were, 
if I would have said, yeah, he did it, take him away, you would have been gone. They were sitting there trying to figure out how to build a case. Yeah, they're saying, arresting not- me for de- dating violence. <laughs> what is, they, what, is that different from the last? And no, it's basically the same thing. What do you mean? You have to be here tomorrow with a mirror. They're going to revoke my bonds. What are you fucking talking about? You're not... I don't know what to do. I can't... Oh, my God. Okay. If you Can aren't we... telling the truth and you ain't telling them that the door hit you and you were just overreacting, dude, they're going to take... They're going to revoke my shit and put me Jeremy, in I can't even fucking... I, I'm, honey. Jennifer, I, I, you have to move the cars. You have to square the office away. And you I have to get a mirror on the phone. I, oh. You, you oh. did this. Jimmy, I don't want to say what's happening on the phone. And now my wife got a picture of you in our What are you talking about? You just said you got a picture on your phone of me. My wife her. got a picture of you. Where? In my house today. I never said anything. That's a fucking lie. I've been sleeping. That's a fucking lie. I swear to God, she put it in my phone to my mom, my brother, and everybody in my family, including Papa, saying that Monday we're going for a divorce because it's your picture in our house. Wait, I'm so confused, baby. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. You just said it was on your phone. The cops had a pic. I'm so, what is happening right now? Ronya, text me a picture of you in our house. She texted everyone in our family and said that you were in my house. And that picture that she said you sent her in the group text to all... What the fuck? I didn't get her shit. And somebody did, Jennifer. Somebody where would that picture be? Where would that photo be? Where would that photo come from? What is the photo of? You standing in my living room. Doing what? what wait, I want to see it. What am I? I'll I don't have any pictures of myself. Out. Oh my god! I can't. I can't. I'm so sick. You have to I'm call so- a mirror right now. You have to wake him up. I don't care. I you have I'm to scared. call him. You're seeing the judge tomorrow. I thought it was done. I thought it was. I thought it's too late to the judge. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You need to call and find out what's going on. You, you put me in put, jail, Jennifer. I didn't put I you in you, jail. I told you not to call. I told really? you. I told you that if you call, they're just going to take me to jail no matter what. And they made up a charge. That I can read. You can read I, 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 it. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. Oh, they said that you. you said this and this and that, and I said that's not true. That never happened. She's just a contractor. And then she said, Detective Smith said we're dating and that I should go to jail. I uh, she did tell me that Detective Smith was on the phone with her boss. I said Detective Smith. I said doesn't I, and I explained to her that Detective Smith is just trying to you know uh, to get that arrest. And I kept explaining you and I. Uh, you know, we uh, date sporadically. We don't live together. We don't have children. We are not married. I said, we've done this. I said, this has happened before um, with Detective Smith, and he tried, and it was... Yeah, well, they're all- arresting me. You need to send emails to everybody right now, Jennifer, and tell them that you refused to write a statement because we didn't fight. We didn't do anything. That- right. So the fact that I refused to make a statement... That doesn't they never matter. Should... You said what? on 911 that you were scared. Oh, and they're using God. that for me. <laughs> this is know. bullshit, Jennifer. Jeremy, I can't talk to him. Maybe he's going to fucking kill me. I don't know what to do. I don't care who you talk to, but you are going to get my bonds revoked tomorrow. I'm not. Jeremy, I, I, I fought for... Listen, uh, listen... I Jennifer, can't. We can't talk have, about what happened. Yeah, no shit. You but mirror. This I is gonna ta- be all over the internet. Cops are texting and taking pictures of me. It's going to be all over the internet if it's not already. I don't. This I don't is know. This ridiculous, I'm, Jennifer. I just beat the whole Vittler thing, and now I'm I here know, Jimmy, for I, lies. Don't say lies. But I listen, Jennifer. Jennifer. Stop. I can't say Stop. what is happening Stop. right now, Jeremy. You, you know it's... 
You need to stop. You need to Jeremy, stop. you Jennifer. have to stop. We can't discuss this. You need to call him here and get the squared now. Call Why? Him I thought you called him. I, I didn't know what to You say. need to call they, him. They told me, okay, I, I didn't know you, okay, I didn't know you wanted me to. They kept telling me you were mad at me and you didn't want to talk to me. I'm not mad and at you. I, I wanted to talk to you. I, I wanted to talk to you. you. Well, I wanted to talk to you. Hurry up before they call me. They, you, listen to me. You have to okay. call Amir, and you have to take care of the vehicles tomorrow. Okay. You oh have to move the vehicles, and you have to keep the office locked. It and then the guy's, I the guy's coming from, he's coming from the airport. He's going to Uber. You, oh. <laughs> come on, Jen. Jeremy, Jeremy, yeah, I'll you, you. I'll you shouldn't have done this. I don't that. I'm sorry. I, I, Get I on the phone with Amir please. now. Get on the phone with Amir now, please. Please. Okay. Please. I don't. I don't know. I have no idea what's going on. Please. I don't. I Get am on the call phone with him. Amir. I am. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello, this is a free call from. Hey. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hello. Hey. Hey, what's going on? What do you mean? I don't know anything. Mom, she didn't even write a statement. She refused to talk to the police. She refused. She refused. I watched them. She refused, and they still took me to jail. She mm. told them I didn't do anything, and she refused to do anything or write anything. I'm looking at the paperwork, and they still took me. And what are the charges? Dating violence. Dating violence? We're not even dating. Well, I'm just, you know, I mean. Okay, well, I don't know why they did that then. What What are they saying? You no know, the judge in the morning? Yeah, but she she didn't write anything. Okay, well, I know nothing. You're the first phone call after I talked to you, and, you know, now you're talking to me again, so I haven't heard anything. So... I mean, it's in the middle of the night. And this is ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, if she didn't press any charges, and there's she no... But she didn't press any charges. She didn't write a statement. And they're only using body cameras and statements that were told things before. Statements that were told for things before, like what? Like, we, we, me and her knew each other from years ago. You know, yeah. that's they're pulling that from the information that they have on file. I, mean, I, I don't even know. I fucking touched this button. They're going to okay. revoke my bond. Right. And I saw Rania's text, and that was a fake picture. I cannot fucking get over this shit. They took a picture, and they sent it to her, too. And she told me they put they took her picture off of something else, and they, they fucking copied it onto our house from the video of my house. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I'm pretty sure it's a fake picture. I, I, and she's not... <laughs> Well, she has it. Rania has it. She just texted it to everybody. But it's now. not real. It's literally. I, okay. It's, <laughs> okay, you need to get a hold of yourself. Mom, I'm done. I'm done. I'm telling you now I'm done. Okay. No. Everything's explainable away. You'll probably get out tomorrow. I'm done. Just because they're saying there's no bond, if she hasn't, she didn't file a police report, she didn't do anything, it's, it's, in the morning, you have to be... You have to go in front of a judge. Then what is there? What is there to to do? They just they brought you in because of who you are. Right. But who called the police? She initially called because we were fighting. Because I was telling her she needed to leave. Because she was trying to explain things to me. Because of the picture? Yes. And I was fucking livid about the picture. I was over the top. Wow. Well. And she's swearing up and down and she was explaining to me that she didn't send that. That it's not real. She showed up in the office and I was losing my temper. Well, 
Well, she was there to try to explain to me it wasn't real, that she didn't do it, that's not real, that she doesn't even know how that's possible. She has a picture, she has pictures of her from wherever the fuck. (sighs) And somebody copied it and put it on my video. And then I guess they screenshotted her. I don't know how they do this shit. I don't know either. I was looking at it, but you can tell that it's... um and you can tell, like, the, the blinds and all of that in the background are not, it's not a real picture. <laughs> and she was trying mm-hmm. to explain it to me, and I just lost my shit. I can't. I, I, I'm done. I can't. I, I just, I can't. I don't have, I, I just want Ron get back. Okay, well, that's not going to happen when this shit's going on. And I told you early on you needed to give it a few months. And you wouldn't listen to me. And you keep I pushing did listen it to you. I wasn't pushing. I was giving her time. I was staying okay. away. I haven't okay. called. I I literally texted her pictures this morning, and she didn't respond, and I let it be. Okay. And that, that's the way it's going to be. It's got This stuff's got to resolve itself first. It's too much stress on her. And it's too much stress for everybody. It's got to just resolve itself. You've got to give it some time. How do you resolve itself when we get into it? I'm talking argument? about getting the, all the charges and all of that dropped. You're just going to say that I'm beating her up. I just... I just don't get it. I don't get it. I didn't touch her. I didn't go near her. I didn't even fucking put my hands anywhere near her. Well, but obviously she, you know, there's there's something there with her for her to even get to that point to pick up the the phone and call the police. No, I was screaming and I told her she couldn't have a ride home. <laughs> and she was started walking away and she called the police. <laughs> I have it on video from when she started calling the police. I showed them the videos and everything. They were like, well, you didn't show us before that happened. And I was like, before we weren't arguing. <laughs> Well, obviously, you called the lawyer. No, I can't get a hold of him. Can you write down this phone number, please? Just please. Huh? Can you write down a phone number or no? I know you're um, in bed, probably. Yeah. I should have just fucking stayed at the house. I was. I just got to the office, and there she was. How did she get there? Who the, because she I fucking called car? the police and reported the, police, the the cars being vandalized, and it's on the yeah. internet. I reported the cars being vandalized this morning, and it was on the okay. internet. And the, so, how talked, did she get there? She drives one of your cars. No, she drove herself there, or she Ubered there, or something. Um, like, can you put this phone number? I mean, he's probably just not answering because it's in the middle of the night, Jeremy. Yeah, well, if he's not here Go tomorrow, ahead. they're going to revoke my bonds. Four zero seven. Four zero seven. Three. Nine three. Nine three. Just call him in, in the, the morning. I'll just text him that. Text him right now. Text him. Yeah. Tell him that. that he, tell him that the, you're trying to reach him. And it's urgent. And it and I'm in jail. And I'm going to be at first appearance tomorrow. And she didn't write a statement. She didn't press charges. She even told the police, and it says it in the statement. She said to the police that I didn't touch her, and I she wasn't violent. She wasn't charging me. She wasn't making a statement against me. She even says that. Well, yeah, the, they don't like the, to be called out, you know, and then people re- resend, you know. So I don't know what that's all about, but. Yeah, so they already have Rania's phone number, so Cause she got the she got the picture. I just and changed sure her phone number. I know, but I'm sure she didn't go out and look for it. Did she? What do you mean? I'm sorry. Did she go out and and look on websites for pictures? I don't know, mom. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. Maybe it wasn't a text. I don't know if she texted to us, but I could tell that, um... Just please text just, her. Text her and talk to her. Tell I'm her not to texting wait. her right now. I'm not getting into that. I need to get some sleep. Okay, I You need you. to just chill. 
and you know, I'll text them here in the morning. And text, you know, now or text them now. I'm not going to text them now. It's two in the morning. So what? He'll have it when he first wakes up. Just text him a long text out of here, and if he's not here, I'm fucked. And she didn't write anything. She told the police no that she didn't. She only called because she got hurt. She hurt her foot or something, and we were arguing. But nobody ever hit her, and she even says in the statement, "I don't touch her." Exactly. This is ridiculous. Right. And that's what they'll look at the statement in the morning. I will text him early. I'm not texting him right now. Okay. If you want to keep trying to call him, you go ahead and do that. But I'm sure his phone's off, so he's not going to get any text or any phone call. So. All right. Okay? All right. I love you. All right. Call me in the morning if you can. All right? Bye. I love you, too. Okay, bye. Thank you for using Global Tele. Please hold. Hello. This is a free call from... Hey. An inmate at the Orange County Corrections. Thank you for using Global Telling. Hello. What's up? Huh. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me, please. You have to listen to me. Vanya, Allahi, with all my heart, on Saif, on Amira, on the dogs. Vanya, that picture's not fucking real. And that's why I'm here today, and I can't talk about it. You have to believe me. You have to believe me, that picture is... When are you getting out? Because I am filing divorce. I don't care about what the fuck you're saying. I I don't care about what you're saying right now, but I sent it viral to everybody, and you deserve where you are right now, because this is... Thank you for using Global Telling. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hello? Hello? Yeah? Did you try to reach him? Yeah, I texted him and I sent an email. Hello? Yeah. Jenny. Jennifer, how did my wife get a I picture at 1 o'clock? How did she get a picture at 1 what o'clock? The- are you talking about listen to Jeremy, me? Listen I've been to me. I got hope. Listen to me, Jennifer. Jeremy? It's if you in your pink uh sports bra in your pink dress standing in the middle of my living room. That would only be on my Snapchat. What? That would only be on my Snapchat. Well, how did that get out then? Nobody knows my Snapchat like that. Only people I've known for it. Go ahead. How is does she have it? I don't, Jeremy. I don't even know. I don't, Jeremy. It's literally. Look, you're literally call. I, I. You woke me up. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I came home. I got home at like eleven oh nine, and 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 I don't. Even, I got my kid ready for bed, and that was it. I haven't done shit. I went straight to bed. I don't know what the fuck she's talking about again. I don't. I, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I'm. I don't know what the fuck is going on, Jeremy. Jennifer. Listen. To, I'm reading the report, and everything is. There's no report because I didn't fucking make one. So whatever bullshit they put out in there, they're never. You're never gonna get a report from me. I never wrote a report. I don't give a fuck what they said. Detective Smith says that me and you are in a relationship. Detective Smith can suck a dick. He wasn't even there. He wasn't even there. I never spoke to him. He can't speak for what we... I can't. I... I don't know what to do. You said you're pregnant? I never said, what the fuck are they talking about? They said that... Who? Who did I say I was fucking pregnant to? The officer says in the report that you said that you were pregnant. That's a fucking lie. It says Burton gave... uh, What? What? uh, Uttered he was detained. He was yelling that I gave... What? 
He said, I gave that you doesn't... a baby. I never said what? I gave you a baby. You oh said that? God, my wife... Oh, he's gonna divorce me. It says it says that you said you that said that you it says that you said you were pregnant and then they are fucking making this shit up. They I, asked me. She asked me if if there's a possibility I'm pregnant. I said no. And then you said Duet so didn't thinking, know why Burton claimed that they were dating and she was pregnant. And then Duet mm-hmm. spontaneously what? uttered he was detained and yelling that I gave you a baby. That's a fucking lie. No, you didn't do that. That's a fucking Burton lie. refused to answer the question whether she was pregnant or not. That, that's Stop a lie. lie. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? You didn't say that. Of course I didn't say that. Dude, oh my God. Who, how long are they going to believe that the cops are lying, Jennifer? <laughs> I can't believe they said that I said you were pregnant. Jeremy, I fucking... What are you talking about? Stop, okay? I'm just going to make you shit up. What the fuck are you crying about? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know either, Jennifer. They charge me with dating violence. There's no bond. Within the past six months, they say the nature of our relationship was categorized as sexual. I never said it was sexual. She kept asking. I said no. It says relationship as witnessed by Burton admitting that it was on and off and on and on again for the last three years and that it was sexual within the last six months. No, she asked me that, and I said no. She's a fucking liar and a cunt. I never said that. Well, I'm telling you what they're saying. They're fucking lying. I never said that. It straight up says, it says that, it says prior to our arrival, Jennifer Burton was in a loud verbal altercation with her boyfriend, Jeremy DeWitt, and you screaming, get away from me, multiple times stating she was attempting to get into her vehicle, and DeWitt slammed the door on her foot. Burton stated that DeWitt was following her down the street, and he had been aggressive with her in the past. DeWitt has overheard telling Burton to tell the truth. She is lying repeatedly, to which Burton responds that she's not lying, and DeWitt knows that he did not. He did, and then states that he does not know what to do. She does not what, know what to do. Initially, Burton stated that her and Jeremy have been in off and off again for th- over three years, and that stated that her and Burton were dating in a relationship, and that I stated that you were only a contractor. Duet stated that he had never been uh, going on dates together. Duet then didn't know why Burton was claiming they were dating. I said that we weren't dating. I don't understand. It, we're not dating. And although Doet spontaneously uttered that while detained that I gave you a baby in front of Officer A. Gross, Burton refused to answer the question of whether she was pregnant or not. That's not true, and I know you didn't say that. I, I don't know what to do, Jeremy. I don't know what to do. This is so fucking lies. What do you mean? What are you going to do? You're going to tell the truth. Of course I'm going to tell the fucking truth, You have truth, to be Jamie. at the courthouse tomorrow for first appearance. You have to What time? Your... I don't know, Jennifer. You have to call and find out. I don't know. I don't know anything. I'm an inmate. I don't know if I'm going to morning or I'm going to afternoon. I don't know. I don't know if Amir is going to be there or not. I know I don't have any money to pay him, so I don't know. I know my wife just texted me that she wants a divorce on Monday. We're going to the... I don't know what you, how you're seeing text. How the fuck do you have your phone? The officer let me see my phone to get the phone well, numbers out of it. I shouldn't say that on the phone. But, oh, go ahead. No, he, they're allowed to let you use the phone to, to pull your phone numbers out of it. And he let right? me read the text. Because it was a group text of my whole family. Anyone in my family. 
And the picture looks so fake. I don't even know where it comes from. But that's neither here nor there. I have to see it. I know it's fake. I know it is. I've never seen you standing in my in my house like that. So I don't I don't I don't know. I have to see it. I don't know what the fuck <sighs> And then they they said that uh she over Earlier tonight, Jeremy got, or Burton got angry because, oh, what I stated was that we got angry because we had the car, because of the car issue, and we were kind of having a a disagreement, and then you were leaving, and then I heard you on the phone with 911, and that's when um, you threw the key at me, and then Burton then began arguing with Duet. He grabbed her, but what? I didn't, oh no, before... Arguing with Duet before grabbing her belongings and going outside, Duet told Burton that if she was quitting, she was not allowed to take the vehicle. That sounds like something you say. Burton opened and slammed the door, but Duet never touched it, besides when it bumped his knee. When Burton shut the door, this time the vehicle struck her foot. Burton threw the keys at Duet before calling out. That's not what I said either. But then he said he started recording. I I don't get it. It doesn't say anywhere that I touched you or I hit you. I don't get it. I don't know. Oh my God. Oh, I never said you were pregnant. I, I don't know where that's... I know that's a fucking lie. I was wondering why she was asking me that. I didn't understand that. <laughs> then they bring up Smith. And then they're talking about Lieutenant Dillon. <laughs> who? What the lieutenant fuck does he have to do with anything? I know who he is. What does he have to do with it? I've never even he met was him. the lieutenant on the scene. I didn't even notice it. Where? The where was he? The unmarked truck. The guy in the unmarked truck. Oh. Where where was he? He was standing over by me the whole time. Is he the one that approached you? No. When they pulled up? That was the... No, 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 no. That was the guy that arrested. (sighs) Just stay on top of Amir. Whatever you got to do. Tell him whatever I need to do. (sighs) Please. I don't know. God, I feel sick. You gotta get some sleep, and, and I mean, I want to talk to you, but I can't because we can't talk about this. I mean, other than what we have, and <laughs> Jeremy, please hold on, please. Just... That it, I ran after you. I never ran after you. Jeremy, please. This is crazy. I'm Jeremy. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. What you need to do without me telling you what to do is get hold of Amir. I already did. To talk to the judge tomorrow and tell them that this is fucking lies. This is crazy, Jen. Jen, Jen, Jen. I can't believe you called. I told you when you called them they were going to take me no matter what. I told you. I told you. I'm so sorry we argued and we got into an argument. But I told you if you called, they were coming for me and they were going to take me no matter what. And even though you refused to write a statement and you refused to tell them that I touched you, they still took me. I told you. I mean, they're using Detective Smith's statement from... From, from the, they even put the case number in from way back when. This 
is really bad. This is really bad. This is really, really, really bad. Because if we can't get a mirror here, I'm fucked. Did you try to call him at all? I'm still confused by this. Why Why did you not call him? What happened? Why didn't you call him? I, I did. I've called him twice. <laughs> I've called him twice. But you know how once I get moved, there, I won't be able to use the phone very often. You know that. I, uh... So we don't have two weeks to call lawyers and state prosecutors and try to get them to drop the charges. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jimmy. I just... Because if you're not here tomorrow with a mirror, I'm going to jail. They're not going to... They're going to revoke my bonds in both counties. And I don't have the money to pay a mirror to get me back out. You have one minute remaining. I'm going to try a cell phone again and, and okay. see. But I'll call you back if I can, all right? Bye. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Okay. Hello? He didn't answer. He's probably sleeping like everybody else. Yeah, no shit. Jen, Jen. Jeremy. Listen I, to me. Listen to me. I was reading here. You need to listen to me and understand what I'm saying. I know says, what's happening, Jeremy. As we've been dating the past six months, we haven't been dating for almost a year, a year and a half. We haven't dated in almost in two years, Jen. It's saying that we've been dating and having relationships within the last six months. I never said that. Okay, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Hear what I'm telling you. The statute that she quoted says that we've been remote, romantically and intimately involved for the last six months or within six months. But we haven't been together for almost two and a half years. Three years. And that's what I told Smith, too. And that's what you told Smith. So what is going on? It, it, nowhere in the statement does it say that you said that we've been together for six months, in the last six months. Do you understand okay. what I'm trying to say right now? Yes. Yeah. I know. What's Mary's um, law? Marcy's law? Marcy's law. Burton refused to fill out any paperwork, any uh, applicable domestic violence paperwork besides mm. M Marcy's law. What is that? It just redacts all your information. So that way you won't be seen in the report? I guess, yeah. Uh -oh. That's all it is. Well, all, I, your name's all I in the report, even, so I don't understand. I understand, but if someone pulls... I, I, it doesn't fucking matter at this point, does it? My whole fucking life is online, so... <sighs> you have... Listen... <clears throat> I don't know what... I, I, listen, I... You just have to focus on getting out of there. Uh, the other shit really doesn't matter. It's falling apart anyway. You have to just focus it about getting out of there. I need you to take down a phone number. Are you ready? I'm, who the fuck am I calling now? I lost. Uh, Jen. 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 Are you ready? Go to ahead. Take down a phone number. 407? Sure. Mm -hmm. 625-7720. Yeah. When I tell you I'm going to give you a phone number, there's a reason. I'm going to tell you what it's about. Okay? Mm -hmm. This is a funeral home, a manual funeral home for Saturday. You have all of my funerals in emails except for Postel and this one. 
Postel hasn't sent me anything yet, but this one's in there. So you need to call him and tell him the phone got lost or something, but it's for Saturday also. If I can't get home um, Friday, we have an escort for you know where for four units. I need it covered or else I'm going to lose that contract if I'm not home. I can't believe it's happening. What? I can't believe it's happening. I, I know. How are they supposed to get gas and shit? Like, what, what the fuck are we supposed to do? What again? Gas, shit like that. What, what, what are we supposed to do? <sighs> um... Um... Um, I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, everything's full. All the, the motorcycle and choke, mine and choke's bikes are full. The, 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 the charger I just filled and the, and the, the Tahoe's filled and the mm -hmm. 250's filled. I just filled those vehicles because I had to get mm -hmm. gas to move the tires and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I, actually the charger's at half or, or something like that or the Tahoe's at half, but it's, you know, just let's just make it work. Let's just figure it out. Will, you, will I be able to move? Do you what? want me to? Do you want to hang up? No, no. I just. Will I be able to move the Tahoe? Yeah. Well, I got the new battery and the tires. Um, I'm concerned about something happening in the vehicles today, since they just did it yesterday. I don't know what to do. I can't keep going back there. I have to sleep. I, I have to sleep. I have to get rest. I cannot be a fucking monkey. Nobody said you were. I will go back in the morning at 5 o'clock in the morning, three hours from now. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know you're upset. I'm very sorry. But I told you if you called them for any reason, they were going to take me no matter what. Told you. And you hear it in the statement. I'm telling you, they're saying that you said you were pregnant. No, well, and they're saying you said I was pregnant too, so what the fuck is that? No, I know that. I know that. They're saying that we're saying that you're pregnant. They're saying that you said I chased you. <laughs> it said that you said you wanted to leave, but I ran. What can Amir do? Okay, we know what happened. Okay. What can Amir do? What really and truly, what can Amir do? Um, you can be there and you can sign whatever declaration page that you signed last time and you can tell the judge that these are lies. That we what can Amir do? Keep my bonds from getting revoked. I'm probably going to have to pay bond again. They're going to have to bond me out on this. But, I mean, he'll keep my bonds from getting revoked. <laughs> and if he's not there to negotiate and explain it, they're just going to revoke him. You being there will be the most important part. Of course I'm going to be there. I don't know what time to be there. I, I don't I don't know either, Jen. I, they haven't even called me to tell me. So I don't know. As soon as I know, I'll let you know if they call me and let me know. Okay? Yeah. And and we are, right, are here right already, besides the, the supposed pregnant thing. Uh, it says that we were been romantically involved in the last six months. That's a lie. So apparently this dating statue... Here, do you have a pen? Go ahead. Obviously, Florida State Statute 784 Uh-huh. Just say it. 784. 784 dot 3 15 74-03. No, no, 784.03-15. Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's what I thought, okay. And it says something about six months. I, I, that's what she says in the statement. She makes it clear that we've had... I didn't even talk to that lady. That's why, she kept, that's why you were sitting there so fucking long. I didn't even talk to that lady. Yeah, I told said I that can't. You said we were in a romantically involved, intimate relationship within the last that. six months. I didn't say that. Well then, I don't. I didn't say that at all. Then I don't understand. You asked me questions. I. I don't understand how they're lying on these reports like this. This is crazy. 
They, the thing is, is how long are the judges going to listen to their lying, they're lying, they're lying, they're lying. I, I just don't even know what to say. <sighs> you just have to try to get Amir on the phone. I Like I said, you, you called him, I texted him, I don't, I emailed him. I mean, goddamn, I mean, other than that, what can we do? Obviously, you're not going to be in the morning. Uh, I, I doubt you'd be in the morning since you got arrested at 11 o'clock. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised you're even seeing a judge today. They might not, which means I won't go until Friday, which means I won't be there for the Friday escort, which means I might, you know, I, I, I don't know any more than you. Really, I, I don't. You, you know, um, we'll talk tomorrow, but we need to make sure. Well, that would actually, that would actually, I mean, I know it's probably not what you want to hear, but it would probably give him your time if you go when on Friday. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Although we have an escort Friday, so, I mean, as long as you can cover it, then I'm okay, I guess. You know, it's for four, so uh, get Oaks and, and, and Preacher and Choke and you. And no one else to say. I, I really don't. This is fucking crazy. This is crazy. I told her on her little stupid body camera, I said, I'm, I, I'm not pursuing this. I said, there's no point, and, and I said, I, I don't have a say in any of it. I said, That's why I'm they not... talked to Detective Smith. I don't give a... Listen, I can't help it if they're fucking crazy enough to try to talk to him, to do this, to do that. It doesn't matter. It's going to be the same fucking thing. Well, I don't go through with it. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. No. I, I hear and really and truly, I I do love you, but I don't give a fuck about your wife or anything like like this right now. I don't give a fuck about it, and you shouldn't either. That's not even what matters. No, I know what matters right now is getting some tomorrow squared away. Or getting, Friday, right? Uh, right, right. For, well, yeah, tomorrow or Friday. Um, I'm sure. Whenever I, I know you're tired, but I'm sure if you call the jail, they'll tell you when I have first appearance. I'm pretty sure it's going to be tomorrow. It has to be within 24 hours. So it, even though tomorrow... I thought it was 24 to 48. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Okay. Maybe you're right. I don't know. They kept me in the car for an hour, so the hour and a half to figure out a charge. I know, because I was talking to them, and I was telling them I'm not going to do anything. Yeah. And I wanted to talk to you, and they kept telling me I couldn't go over there and talk to you because you were mad. No, that's not true. Didn't you hear me screaming for you? I, I heard you yelling a little bit, and I closed the door. Yeah, I was screaming I, for you to come to come to the car and listen and stop. I was I wasn't doing anything. I wasn't talking to them like that. If I was doing something, I would have made a fucking statement. I would have written a statement. I said, I don't want to do it. Right. I don't want to do it. And every time I try to move over there, I don't know the Spanish officer's name, but he said, if you go keep go, trying to go back over there, you're going to get arrested. Well, you need to tell so them that. And you need to tell the judge that. Because that, that just shows that they're pushing you away and they're threatening to arrest you because you're coming to talk to me. When yeah. you're when you didn't even want to charge me or have me arrested in the first place, it doesn't make sense. I can't say on the phone, but I I just was worried, you know, because of everything that's going on, I was worried about. And you know, I don't, I can't say. That's it. All we can do is hope that no, this has no bond. Domestic battery, domestic violence has zero bond. So it doesn't matter. I had to go see a judge anyways in the morning. So it's not like I could have bonded out. So. Okay.
all you can do is 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 um call the jail, call him here, find out when first appearance is, and if it's in the afternoon, great. If it's the next day, okay. But this is crazy. I didn't know what to do. I didn't. I they made it sound like you didn't want to have anything to do with me. I took a car home. I didn't even know. I thought you would call the police or something. They made it sound like you didn't want to have anything to do with me. I didn't know what to do. So I just locked up the office and I did. I just took the car because it was late and I didn't. You have one minute remaining. They're, that's fine. They're, they're, they were out here telling all the other cops that it's me. People were taking pictures. They were texting. They were sending texts. All And they're all laughing. It's so embarrassing, dude. It's so embarrassing. And everyone's like, oh, here's the serial impersonator. You get arrested for impersonating again. <laughs> it's ridiculous, dude. What do you want me to do? Are you going to call me back or no? I don't know yeah, what to do. Yeah, I'm going to call you back. Thank you for using Globe. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hey. 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 I'll be there. I, I, so I have my alarm set for 5 o'clock in the morning. I don't even want to tell these. I don't even want to say this because I don't know who's listening. I don't know. But I'm going to move it. I'm going to move the vehicles. But like I said, I was going to do it last night. The cop came to the to the office to tell me you're being arrested, and I said I, I don't I, I don't even know how that's fucking possible. I said I said I have to move these vehicles, and but he told me that you were mad, and they kept telling me you didn't want you were angry and you didn't want to talk to me, and so I didn't know what to do. So I just I locked everything up and then I just left. Oh. I turned off the lights and stuff and I just I left. I didn't know what to do. Because I couldn't talk to you, so I didn't know. I I was shocked that you called me tonight. They told me that you said you wanted me arrested, and when I that's said a fucking said, lie. I'm telling you what they said, and they. If told I me, wanted you arrested, why didn't I make a fucking report? That's, that's so what I fucking stupid. I said I wanted stupid. to see her report, and then when I I would never say that. Then they put me in the car with the woman, and the woman, the blonde lady, she kept telling yeah, me. Yeah, she's the one who was leading it. Yeah, and then she said. Um, you didn't write a statement. And I was like, well, that's mm-hmm. not what they told me. They told me she wrote a statement. She said she didn't write a statement. She right. Said, but, but Florida law says that you guys are dating. And I said, we're not dating. We haven't been dating. And she said, that's not what Detective Smith said. And because of that, who my hands are tied. Det- that's exactly what she f- told me. Yeah, but who gives a fuck with Detective Smith? He's probably at home jerking off eating cornflakes. What, who gives a f- He's not even on the scene. No, He's not, not even what? there. When I got the the police report, and I and I and I read it, I knew right away she was lying to me, and I I was waiting for her to hand me the report, and she said that you didn't write a statement, so I was like, well, then if she didn't write a statement, then right. then how am I being arrested? And she said again, you're dating, and I said we're not dating. She's only a contractor, and I was like, yeah, we haven't I, been dating in years, and she said that's not what she said. I said. Uh, I don't know what she's telling you. I said, and then, no, no, no. And then I said, then I said, she kept, she kept trying to get me to say things. I said, no, I can't answer that. I said, I can't answer that. I said, I can't answer that. And then I was, I, then she was like, you were dating on and off for three years. I said, we've known each other for three years. And then that's when she stopped asking me questions. See, she said, I know exactly what we she was dating. doing. Yeah. Yeah. She said that you said that. And it's I said, bullshit. we haven't dated. I, I would years. never. I tried to talk to you. I tried to go over there. And I did that at least three to four times. And the last time I, the first time I did it, the uh, Spanish cops said I was going to get arrested. And then the last time, they said that you were, you didn't want to talk to me, that you were angry. That's not, see? You need to tell them you're at all that. You can't forget that stuff. This is. No, of course I wouldn't. I know that. that I would never say, if I wanted you arrested, I'd be like, yeah, let me write that report real quick so I can get him out of my life. That's fucking stupid. And then I was, then, then I, I don't know if you saw me, I was across the street with one of the officers and I said, I want to wait here and see what happens to him. And they were telling me I couldn't stand there and wait. Right. Cause they were going to take me. They waited for you to leave. So they would t- so you would. Exactly. Me. I should have just, I should have just left. I should have just left. I shouldn't have waited. Mm-hmm. I waited because I knew nothing, we, nothing happened. I, I don't know what to say. Jen. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I I know. I know. I love you. I'm sorry. 
That's why I waited. I waited because I was. You I should have nothing. waited. But I didn't do anything. I should anything. have gone. I should have gone. I should have just. I should have. I should we have both should have just left. Why did we? Do, <laughs> we wait for them to do what? What? What do mm-hmm. we wait for? So they can turn mm-hmm. around and lie in the reports and say I said you were pregnant and we've been dating in the last six months. Yeah, that was crazy. I mean. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I, I just don't know what to say now. I don't know what to I don't know what to do. You know what to do. I can't tell you. I what know to what do. to do, but I don't know I don't know what Amir can do. I don't know, Jen. I don't know. You got to be screaming from the mountaintops. You got to be calling people and telling them that we haven't been dating in years, and this is a lie. And I never said you were pregnant, and you never said we were having sex. I, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I, I don't know. And I don't. You even know, know that. You know, even if you get a bond, yeah, even if you get a bond, they're gonna tell us we can't see each other. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, and I don't know how we're going to do that. And Amir will have to explain that you're a work for me. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> this is fucking crazy, Jen. <sighs> you get so worked up and you get so angry. I get angry? I know, I know. Any time we call the police, Jen, I, I, I was shocked that they didn't send a bunch of cops out when we called about the cars getting vandalized. I know. The days are over when calling the police is for help. <laughs> I mean, you're telling them the truth, and they're gonna they they still arrest me. I told you they're gonna arrest me. They're gonna make it up. Oh. It says I right here, it, hold on, wait, it says Burton originally agreed to write a statement, but then later decided and became uncooperative, declined and then became oh, uncooperative uncooper. in the investigation, and she stated that she did not want to press charges against the wet. Well, that sounds about right. I don't, I don't think I ever said I was going to make a statement, but I definitely, or write a statement, but yeah, I definitely just stopped answering her questions towards the end. Yeah. Well, what's wrong? So doesn't that... Sh- why would she even put that in the report? Said you were scared. So I gave the keys back to Burton and then began to follow her down the... St- I gave your... I gave you the car key back? What? No, the... My house keys. Okay. You gave me the car keys back to take off the car... To take off oh. the car key. Yeah, she said then I followed you down the street. I mean, so just people trying to talk like normal human beings turns into a crime. I, Jen, I don't know what to tell you, dear. I, I you know, we're over. No, no, no. We can't talk like that right now. So, you know, you you gotta keep it together. You gotta keep it together. No matter what happens, we're over. They're not gonna let us be around each other. Let, let's, that's, listen. You're my contractor. I will make sure, Amir, make sure that's clear. You work for me. You're one of the most important people I have. And I mean that. You need to stop with the other stuff. Did you just stop? Relax. This isn't the time. Calm down. We need to get this stuff done so I can come home. We'll figure out the rest later. But between the damage that is going to be all over the internet and I, the you know what? Camera, I, I, I and I and I care about you, but I fuck the internet. I'm so sick of YouTube. I don't want to hear about it anymore. Fuck that you. shit. This is a big part of your problem. Fuck right. that shit. I'm sick of it. Right. It's not even the real world. It's just stupid shit. 
Yeah. It doesn't matter. I agree. Well, we'll be able to spin our end. You know, we'll see. I don't know. We'll figure it all out. But at the end of the day, it's it's whatever. I'm sorry, I called. I, I know. I and that's what I said to her. I even said I said I never called, should have called. Even if you wait, because you were calling because you just were hurt your foot. I I I know that's what you did. I told you just doing that was enough to get the police. They weren't going to send anybody else. They weren't going to send rescue. They were going to send the police. Anytime you say my name or your name, apparently your names were at flag too for Detective Smith. Uh, yeah, I already told you that. Yeah. So, I mean, even though you were calling an ambulance because you twisted your ankle in the door, they were sending units for us. It just... Calling the police is not an option anymore. I'm scared to call the police if somebody was attacking me, because I'd probably be the one that gets arrested. Did you talk to your mom or your yeah, family? Of course. Did you tell them what happened? What did you say? I told them that me and you were having a conversation about the cars that oh, got broken. Oh my god! Did you tell them about? You said my name. Oh mm-hmm. my god! Your parents? No. Oh. I said one of my, me and my contractors were arguing about the cars that got broken into, and uh, she started to leave, and we were arguing outside, and she twisted her ankle, and they called the cops, and the cops came, and she didn't write a statement, she didn't report anything, she didn't say anything, and yet they still took me. So you know how the judge says they have probable cause because of the affidavit. Like, I don't have a report. The judge won't have a report. Right, but what how she's quoting have- is this statute, and whatever this statute is, and she kept telling me in the car that when she told me you didn't write a statement, because I was like, wait a minute, those cops said she wrote a statement. And she said, no, they didn't write a statement. Or she didn't write a statement. Mm-hmm. I said, well, then how am I being arrested? I said, did she say I hit her? She said, no. She said, I said, did she, did she say I hurt her? She said, no. She said, but you guys have been dating. And I was like, we're not dating. She said, that's not what she said. I said, I don't believe that she said that we're dating. And she said, well, she said that you guys are dating within the last six months. And I was like, what? That's not true. And then so now I'm reading the statute right here, and she says again in this, right after she lists the statute, that me and you have had significant relationship or romantic That's a fucking goddamn lie. Do I even sound like I was... the last six months. Would I, do I even sound... I don't, I don't even talk like that. Significant, romantic, that's not even some bullshit I would say. Mm-hmm. I would say like we were fucking or something. That's what, how I would say it. Well, I would assume then that's how she would... She's probably typing... I didn't nice say we were fucking. Statue. I never said we were fucking, ever. She I never said we kissed, held hands, went on dates. She asked me, She asked me, do you go on dates? I said, no. I said, I'm not going to answer that. I said, no, we don't. Then she said, you said we didn't. I said, no. She. I said, no, we don't. We don't go on dates. No. She I wonder if that's when she was talking. Talk- she said, did you I, ever go out on dates? I said, she's gone out with me, and we always go out with other people to, like business meetings and dinners. I said, you know, she runs with me to the store. We run, to, we like, we just ran to Best Buy to buy some cameras for the office. I said, but that's not a date. She's coming with me because she works with me. What, what are you talking about? And she's like, uh, oh, so you guys don't go on dates to like movies and, and, and dinner? And I was like, no, we haven't been on dates in forever, like three years, I said. I said, we've not, we're not dating. I mean, she only works for me. The call's going to end soon. Amir, Amir just has to show up and get you a bond. And that's it. And then, but after that, you already know we're not going to be able to see each other. If they do that, yeah. But I mean, if you show up and you tell the judge this is lies, maybe he'll just throw it out. I, I don't know. Like they did last time. Yeah, but that was because I talked to Michelle, who refused to prosecute. Yeah, I know. Send her an email. I can't send this lady another fucking email like this again. I don't know what to... Maybe I can't. I don't, I don't know what to... I don't, was it a misdemeanor last time? 
What is it tonight? Or now? What is it tonight? The misdemeanor. Yeah, same thing. Oh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. I know you don't want to, Jen, but if if you're telling me the truth, it's what you're embarrassing. Saying, I know it's. You have one that minute that's remaining. Just making fun of me right now. They're making fun of me. Then I'm back again, and they're joking and texting, and they're like, "Oh, motor one, motor one's out, motor one's rolling, all that fucking shit." They're talking shit. You just have to hold it together and stop. I don't know what to do. I have to get you out of there. I, I have to go over to pre-trial. Hold on, I'll call you back. All right. Okay. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hey, I have court tomorrow at 9 a.m. 9 a.m.? How yeah. is that? How? how wow. Did they I, do that? I don't know. I just, I, that's what they're telling me. They just read everything to me. So, one of the officers did say that it was a slow night. Maybe they don't have a lot of people there. Maybe. So. All right, so I'll go to the office. Oh, my God, that's a mirror may not be there. That's why you have to be here. Okay. I'll go to the office and I'll move the cars. I'll go over to Orange County. I'll get where, there at like 8. Where were you last time? How did you get here? I don't even know where you go, I, I, so I don't know. Uh, you just go to the front. You know where they release you, like at the front? You oh. go there, they call you. I'm surprised they haven't called me. Oh. If you're the victim, they call you. You go up to the elevator. They, t they take you up there in a group. And then everybody goes, eventually everybody just goes in the same, that, well, you, I don't know if you can see the room, but there's a big room where everybody's sitting, mm. and we can watch it through glass, so I don't know if it's once, I don't know. Well, I'm yeah. definitely not going to say anything on a recorded line to tell you what you need to say, but. No, I already know what to do. I, I I just I mean we went over the basis is like the whole pregnancy thing me following you all that shit's ridiculous I can't even understand how they can just write listen to me I need I need you to listen to me if Amir doesn't show up I don't let's just worst case scenario or if Amir can't get you out now he can file motions I need to if I need you to hold it together you understand that filing a motion for bond is like filing a motion to do anything else could take up to a month to two, maybe even three. It's not going to be like it used to be where you can, if you get you get a bond revoked, he can file a motion within a week, have you at court for a bond hearing. Why? What happened? Why? Because of COVID. Oh, fuck COVID. <laughs> That's why I, he, the well, whole, ever, to, all the motions. Do I need to call, mm -hmm. do I need to call All-Star? What do I need to do? I mean, yeah, you can call him. You know, or go over there. Number. I guess I can just go over there. I, yeah, I got the girl's number, or I can just go over there. Yeah. They're not going to tell me anything. They're going to tell me it's no bond, which I already know. Right, I have no bond right now. So, so we just have to wait till tomorrow. There's no point in calling them. They know. Right. So, um, right. Yeah, there's no point until tomorrow, and then, I mean, I need you to just hold it together. I, I, I'm scared. I need you to just hold it together. You're going to get out. You you know that, right? <laughs> you have to be there. Because if Amir's not there, gonna be me there. And you are the only ones that are going to be able to talk to the judge. <laughs> That's all we're going to be I, able to But I need, you to, I need you to calm, to be calm, though. I'll be as calm as I can. I'll be as calm. I mean, I, I'm looking at a statement. Jen, and and in in the midst of all the bullshit that's here, there's lies mm -hmm. after lies. The, the I understand whole pregnancy, that. the whole dating, the whole yeah, that's sexual weird. relationships within the last six months. The that's whole, yeah, I never ever said that. The whole um, you saying that um, uh, that I want you away from me, uh, it, all all that stuff doesn't make any fucking sense. No sense. No sense. I'm going to have to talk. I mean, I didn't want to talk last time. Say, uh, it does say uh, it should be noted that throughout this encounter, Invert Burton was very concerned about with keeping the incident as private as possible. She stated her entire life was on the Internet, and she wanted to protect yeah. Jeremy and his privacy. Burton was also concerned about Jeremy's bonds being revoked. Right. So what's wrong with that? Uh, nothing. I, I mean... That's exactly what I said. I said to her, she said, why, why are you, no, somebody asked, why are you protecting? I said, I, I said, I protect myself and I protect him. I said, that's 
That's all I care about. I said, I because she kept saying, well, I, I have to do my job. I said, I understand what you signed up for. I said, but not to be rude to you. I said, but all I care about is him and all I care about is myself. And protecting him and protecting myself. That's what I told her. Mm-hmm. Well, you need to say that tomorrow to the judge. I, I mean. I need you to hold it together. You know, I need you to hold it together. Calls and go, like you said, jerk off with a bunch of cornflakes while he's listening to him. You know, I know. <laughs> he keeps telling everyone we're dating. I, I can't fucking get it. I, I haven't we, talked to him since October. We both told him we haven't been dating in years. I don't understand why this guy keeps <sighs> saying this shit. Why he's even involved? He's not on scene. I know. It's because he's got our names tagged. <laughs> So he's the Viddler of Orange County, of OPD. Apparently. And whenever we, because we got, a, or I got away from him, he feels, uh, mm-hmm. I mean, he's, literally she says, and it mentions his stuff about the incident from before, and it says that we said we had a relationship and case involving the prior and then put the case number. I'll be there. I have an alarm set. I'll set two of them. And then it says that you you, they took pictures of your foot with his body camera and you wanted him to Oh, my God, because they kept fucking asking. First of all, I don't want anybody looking at my feet. My feet was disgusting. I haven't painted my nails or anything. They're like, oh, let me see your foot. I will... They, they, when they're literally putting a flashlight to your foot and then taking... Now, you can't stop them. Right. I'm like, I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't... What the fuck? That's a goddamn lie. The only thing they did was they brought out the, uh, was it firefighters or whatever? Mm-hmm. Just to see, they like, well, just see if it's broken. That's what, and the guy did a five-second test where he's like, lift your foot up. I did. Lift your foot down, twist your ankle around. I did. I took my blood pressure. I refused to go to the hospital. I had to sign something saying I refused to go to the hospital. That was it. And they were on their merry way. They were there probably five minutes, if that. Very short. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't broken. That was it. Yep. They didn't, and those guys didn't ask me any fucking questions about what happened. No, I don't want people taking pictures of my fucking feet. They're going to be on the goddamn internet. No. Stupid, that's embarrassing. Yeah, that's all we're going to be able to do is tomorrow explain that. I just have to talk to the judge and explain it. And I need you to just be calm. I'm not worried about me because I know that I can make it clear. I need you to just shut the fuck up if Amir is not there. I don't. I hope he is there, but you don't know what Amir has scheduled. You don't know what Amir. Right. You know what He's I mean? Got, he has another. He has other clients besides me. Every five seconds, fucking calling him. <sighs> I, I, I just, like, I have to hide in a building and just stay put for fucking the next six months. I can't even go out. It, it's 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 ridiculous. I mean... See, we both stood there because we knew we were telling the truth and we weren't lying. We had nothing to hide. We both stood there. We should have just both left. Have left. <laughs> we should have both just left. But we stood there because we weren't doing anything wrong. We're having a discussion like adults do. And I'm in jail because of it now. <sighs> This was crazy. We keep telling everyone. I don't understand it. We keep telling everyone we haven't been dating in years. In years. We're telling everybody that. And yet they keep saying we're dating. (laughs) 
I need to set this alarm on this other phone. What? Um, no, I'm setting an I'm trying to set an alarm on this other phone. I have my Oh clock okay. I had a alarm. I'm going to go to the office and then I'll just go I'll just go to Orange County. Okay. The only thing I can say left before we hang up is text the mirror and tell him it's 9 a.m. That I found out it's 9 a.m. That's all I can tell you. I, I, so at least he knows. And maybe he can, maybe he can't, maybe he'll send John, maybe he won't. But if they ask for a thousand dollars again, it's gonna be interesting. I'm sorry. It's I'm okay. sorry. And that's what I told you, Jen. I know you were gonna say you're sorry. I told you when you call. The police, they're going to take me to jail. They're just going to find a reason. You're calling because you hurt your foot. You're calling because you're worried. I already told you. That doesn't matter. That's why I was telling you. They're going to they're gonna just arrest me and revoke my bonds. That's their whole mission. The whole mission. It's not, yeah, yeah, it's not just Vittler. It never has been. Yeah, Vittler is the, the main part of it, but ultimately, it sounds so conspiracy. It, it, it's the whole thing, and they all just want a piece. Every fucking cop that was in there was laughing and te- texting and taking pictures on their cell phones. Orange County deputies, Winter Garden cops, actually, no, those two Winter Garden cops, they didn't do anything. Uh, the two Okoe cops, I mean, the one guy was like, oh, there's Jeremy, you know, three deputies, they were all just laughing, they think it's funny, one of them's like, Motor One's moving, and then the bitch out in the Sally Port, she's like, yeah, Jeremy's in there, yeah, Motor One, YouTube, yeah, all that, she's telling everybody, not not the girl that took me in, no, she was actually mm-hmm. really nice, and she said, or I have to do this. I was like, I don't understand how you're doing this. She said, Florida law says I have to take you. And I said, for what? We're not dating. She said, that's not what she said. I said, I don't believe that. I said, we're not dating. We haven't been dating in years. Just because Detective Smith said that doesn't mean anything. I don't know what to do. I don't know either. Because, I mean, not that I would have been able to get out anyways. It, I mean, then the the most they could have taken me was on simple battery. Oh, no, they couldn't have taken me on simple battery because you refused to write a statement. <laughs> so they couldn't even have taken me on simple battery. I just should not talk about that shit right now. I need you for a lot for the company. I need you for that. You know that. It doesn't matter what these people are saying. What does matter is that we need to control our upset. You have one minute remaining. We both need to control our upsetness to where it doesn't turn to an argument. Mm. You know, just because you don't agree with something and I don't agree with something doesn't mean we need to argue. 
I mean, at the end of the day, you're my contractor, and I'm the owner, but because I respect you so much, we're, we're not, we don't, obviously we have different rules, but <laughs> I don't know what to say. You know, you know I care about you so much, and I, I just, and you help me so fucking much. And I appreciate everything you do for me. But, you, I mean, for, I guess from now on, from the very beginning, we need to say we're not dating. I don't know what else to say. I, I, I don't, this is what I was telling you about putting yourself at all on the internet. Because they were... Well, thank you for using Global Telling. Please hold. Hello, this is a free call from... Thanks. An inmate at the Orange County Corrections. To accept this free call, press zero. To ref this call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Um, um. I know I'm keeping you up and you got to sleep, so I don't know. Well, it's fine. I mean, I, I slept a little bit. Like I said, I, got, I, went, I went to bed at like 11, I don't know, 11, 20, 11, 30, and I was just knocked out. And then you called, and I was well, happy you called. I thought you didn't want to talk to me. That's because they're lying to you, and they're lying to me. So we wouldn't communicate because, mm. because... I don't I don't know why because but I mean, I mean I know why but I can't really explain it on the phone but mm -hmm. they're trying to keep us from talking to each other because they know that they're full of shit and they don't want you to show up tomorrow and they don't want you to tell the truth so the bond doesn't get revoked so the bond gets revoked they know what they're doing they know what they're doing they know what they're fucking doing And any time I'm in front of them, any time, they have the opportunity to arrest me. I'll be there today. You know that. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. They, they can't revoke your bond. I didn't even fucking make a report. What the... F they can't do that. Well, they they enacted the dating violence. I guess that's what they're going to argue. We just, we'll, right, they, we'll just have to. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to talk to the judge and tell the judge. And they say there's a supplement report. I don't see a supplement, so I'm assuming that... We'll it must be her bullshit. Well, no, it, it, it says C. Officer Goss Supplement, which is the Spanish that officer. And... He's the one that says I said you were pregnant. I don't know yeah. what I don't know who was with you. They I I couldn't see over there. Uh, all I know is she said, "Well, will you?" She said, "Will you sign a dating violence whatever?" I said, "No." She said, "Will you?" Um, there's something else. She said, "Will you sign something?" All of it was about dating violence, violence. I said, "No." She said, "Will you sign Marcy's law?" I said, depending on what I read or how I read it, I know I know what Marcy's Law is. I said, depending on what's on that paper, I said, I will sign that. I said, that's the only thing. He said, will you take a victim's pamphlet? I said, no. And that was it. Uh, you'll have to explain that tomorrow. you have to explain it in detail. I, you should make take notes because you don't want to miss something. Because no, no. you, you should even bring up the whole thing with Detective Smith and how... They twisted the words there, too. And we mm -hmm. didn't even do anything. <laughs> I don't know, Jen. I don't know. My only concern is Amir will not have time. That's my concern, too. Yeah, not only is that my concern, that but then he's going to want another $1,500. Yeah, I don't care about that right now. We can figure that out later, Okay. That's not important. We'll figure that shit out. If we have to take fifty dollars here, fifty dollars there, we'll figure it out. Yeah. You gotta stop picking up the phone, Jen. 
Diavolo. You gotta just stop fighting with me. We gotta stop arguing. But you know, the, just because we argue doesn't mean we're committing crimes and hurting each other. I don't get. I don't get this. Uh, anyways. They said you called 911 too. No, 911 called me and said, "Are you? This is this Metro State?" And I was like, "Yeah, that's me." And they're like, "Because you must have said that you were at the office or something, or you must have described." Yeah, I never cars. ever said Metro State. Well, then did you give him the address? One zero two Drennan. Who the fuck knows that? They do. They were even talking about the cars vandalized. They were talking about the cars vandalized while they had me in handcuffs. They're like, we were just here for the cars being vandalized. So 911 called me and said, um, is this Metro State? Is there a female there or is there a male there fighting? I was like, I'm Jeremy DeWet. I said, she called 911. I said, she got... Uh, uh, she she's walking away from me and she's walking to the street. I can't hear what she's saying, but I hear that she's on the phone with 911. And they said, okay, well, just calm down. We'll have units on the way. I said, well, for what? And they said that she, they said she, they said that you said that you needed police assistance and you were in trouble. And I said, that doesn't make sense. We're, we're, we're having a discussion. We were having an argument. Nobody, nobody's done anything. And they're like, well, that's not what she's saying. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. I said, I'll say on the record, I never touched her. I never put my hands on her and I never hit her. What are you talking about? And she, and the guy said, you just need to calm down. And I was like, whoa, whoa, so what? You, your units, can you just show up and then take me to jail for no reason? <laughs> and I hung up. So, at that point, I should have gotten in the car and drove away. <laughs> uh, I, instead, I come over to try to talk to you and <laughs> find out what's going on. <laughs> like an idiot. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm going to do everything I can tomorrow, to, well, today. Do everything I can. Yeah. And I wish they could pull these calls before we go to court, but they won't. They'll hold on to them and and they'll try to use them later against me. You know, but <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, I called. I just didn't know what was going on. I, I get it. I get it, Jen. And I'm sorry that we were arguing, and I'm sorry that everything happened. But you can't just pick up the phone and call the police. Even if the house is, or the, the office is burning down, you can't call the police. They're going to come and arrest me for burning the place down. <laughs> They're sure the fuck going to come and arrest me if you're saying on the phone that you're worried and you're scared and, and we're arguing. <laughs> I heard the 911 call. She played it in the jail in front of the other six officers that were sitting in there. Heard mm -hmm. everything. I mean, you even say, and I say to her, I was like, you even hear her say on the 911 call that that you didn't do anything, and I'm I'm not going to file anything, and I'm not going to write anything. And then you hear me say, well, then hang up and let's go, or I hang up and what are you doing? Something like that, you know. I, you know what's funny too is the lieutenant stuck his face in the window and it was Dylan and I didn't even fucking realize he's a lieutenant now I should have if I would have I would have told him congratulations but I didn't even notice he was a lieutenant mm -hmm. I didn't even notice Dylan it was so dark and I said mm -hmm. to him, I said, I have more video. Uh, you guys aren't even trying to see the video that we're not fighting. I was talking. Yeah, to I don't the understand that. They kept, then they told me, yeah, you were taking video of me. Outside? Yeah. 
yeah. What? I started recording when I was on the side of the street trying to talk to you. You recording me? On on my other phone, it was recording, but it was only it wasn't recording you. It was recording the call that I was on. Mhm. Because you were in the dark, I couldn't even see you. Yeah. The only reason why I knew you were on the phone was because you kept talking when you mm-hmm. weren't talking to me. And even the witness guy told the police that I didn't do anything aggressive towards you and I wasn't rude to you or mean to you. I don't, I don't get it, but they don't put anything of his information in the report. I I just This was crazy. I'm sorry I called. I never should have called. I never should have called. Yeah, but Jen Hun, you said that last time too. Well, but I don't want to talk about it on the phone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get it. I'll be there in the morning. I don't, I don't know who else will be there. Yeah. Maybe Amir can... I don't know what he can do. I know he's going to tell you never to talk to me again. Well, Jen, you just need to explain it to him the right way and explain to him that you were telling them everything that Amir will hear. You know, you refused to write a statement. You aren't writing a statement. You told him we weren't dating. You told him we haven't dated in years. You told him that um, where you there, you were pregnant. You not, aren't pregnant. Where you work for me, and um, uh, you refused to fill out any paperwork or statements or anything like that. You didn't even write a statement. And then they arrested me for dating you within six months, and you told them we weren't. So. That's all he needs to hear. I, I don't know what else to say. I really don't. I really don't. The only issue is sooner or later these judges are going to stop caring. They're going to stop listening. I just don't understand how it always seems to escalate. I don't know. I don't know, and I sure the hell don't understand how when somebody won't even write a statement or doesn't even tell you. I I said that she'd give you a verbal statement, and she said no, but we just used the evidence. And I said, what evidence? And then she said, from the things that she told us and the things that we heard on the 911. And I'm like, what? Uh, Okay. Did she say that I hit her on 911? She's like, no. I was like, but then she didn't answer anything else. I'm like, I don't get it. That doesn't mean anything. If I didn't answer, it means that you don't have an answer. So how can you draw a conclusion from someone not answering? I don't I I want to stay on the phone with you. I don't even want to go to sleep, but... Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh, You're going to move me soon. What does that mean? We can't talk? No, I mean, wherever I go, I can talk, but I don't know how much, you know, because if there's lines mm-hmm. and stuff. There's a line? No, here. Oh, if there's a line. Yeah, oh, if there's a yeah. line. I'm just, I just have to, I guess, fight for you to get out. You're good at fighting. I'm good at trying to get my point across. Well, tomorrow's the day. I mean... They're going to tell us we can't be around each other. I already know that. They're going to tell us we can't be around each other. I already know that. Well, if you explain it to to the judge the right way, (laughs) then there's not enough probable cause for this arrest. So I don't... 
I mean, you have to be the one that stands up and explains that in detail. Yeah. You know, and tell them that nobody is... You have one minute remaining. Are they going to move you now? No, I can call one more time, but I, not that it costs money, so it doesn't matter. I'll just hang on. But, you know, okay. you just can't, you know, you got to make it clear that nobody's forcing you to do anything or say anything. You're doing this on your own fucking accord because what they said in the report isn't even what fucking happened. I don't... Anyway, it's a clear book. Okay. Please hold. Hello, this is a free call from an inmate at the Orange County Corrections. This call is from a correction facility and is subject to monitoring and recording. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to be going there and fight. I don't know how... Uh, I don't know. I don't know if they'll believe me. So I, just... uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll explain also that, you know, it's a business relationship and I need to be able to work. Right. Maybe they'll say, like, no hostile contact or who the fuck knows. Maybe they'll just drop everything. Right. Well, I mean, you need to make it very clear that we haven't dated in years, almost three years. You know, it, it, it's, mm-hmm. it's ridiculous that because they're listening to Detective Smith because she kept asking me there. if we're... Right. She kept asking me if we're dating. I was like, I keep telling you we're not. And apparently now that I'm talking to you, you keep saying that she kept saying the same thing to you. You know, Mm because she was like, oh, she's saying that you guys dated. I was like, that's not true. We haven't dated. Well, I don't know. I completely shut her off. I I started saying I can't I can't answer those questions. I can't talk about. I'm sorry. I can't give you a statement. I can't. That's what I was doing, because I'm not going to I don't want to I didn't want to get caught. When they were telling me I was going to get arrested for going over there with you, I didn't want them to be like, well, we're going to arrest you for not telling the truth. Mm-hmm. So I just started saying, well, I'm not going to answer that. I'm not, I can't answer that. I'm sorry. Well, that's what I, I mean, I literally told her we haven't dated in years, so I don't understand where they got that. But then she was like, oh, well, you, you said that you kept calling me your boyfriend or something like that. Hold on, I'll read what mm-hmm. she said. She said, um, prior to that, this complaint, Burton was loud and alternate with her. Yeah, she said her boyfriend, Jennifer Burton, was loud with in a verbal altercation with her boyfriend. She stated that it was Jeremy DeWitt. So. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. Um... Initially, Burton stated her and Dwight have had been in an on and off, on again, off again relationship for approximately three years, but referred to him as a boyfriend throughout the majority of the encounter. No, in fact, on the 911 call, they asked me, "Oh, is that your boyfriend?" I was like, "I, I was like, no, I, was like, I don't know what he is." That's what I said. <laughs> Say that tomorrow. I don't know. I gave you a baby. Dog, that's going to be all. You would never say some stupid shit like that. No, I, know. I already know. You don't even have to tell me. I already know. I already know you didn't say that. Yeah. I already know. So. Uh, I love how Duet spontaneously, although it's just like Ramsey. Just like Ramsey. Duet spontaneously uttered while he was detained. You think they did that on purpose? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. This <laughs> is. What spontaneous? I do a lot of fucking spontaneous talking. You ever notice that? I spontaneously tell my address. I spontaneously say that you're pregnant. I spontaneously say. Uh, oh my god! It's the internet hears that shit. Forget oh it. I mean, I'm over it. Oh yeah, it's I'm done. Saying. You know it's going to be all over. They're going to get this. Oh no, you signed some victim thing, so maybe they won't. I don't know. Not victim. Kaylee. Mm-hmm. Kaylee's whatever. Marcy. It's the same thing. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, if Real World would post it, you can sue them, right? Well, I'm going to do that anyway. Right. Because you signed it before. or you? I mean, you signed it. So. Right. I can't even sleep. I mean, I probably will go back to sleep for like an hour, but I can't even... I can't sleep. I just have to focus on... How are the, how are the COs treating you? I'm telling you, the CEOs are talking shit. 
Oh, that was them talking shit? On the cops and the seals together. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. Only, only two or three of them are actually really, you know, they're all right. They're just doing their job. The rest are talking shit. The one that at booking, she was real stupid. She just kept going on and on and on. I gotta go. I gotta go. She kept saying that I'm the serial impersonator. And she, like, every deputy that would come in, she would be like, oh, you want to meet somebody famous? I could hear her saying it. So, wow. Yeah. And then they would laugh and they would take pictures from outside and then they would text. And, uh, anyways. Are you serious? Uh, do you have to go? Yeah, I have to go. They're going to move me. So, all right. Can try you to, call me back right now? Yeah, I'll try to call you back. If not, I'm get some sleep, all right? All right, I will. Oh, well. Okay. Yep, yeah. yeah, bye. Bye-bye.